Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John. I'm Claire. That's Ted over there, <laughs> and welcome. Pff, Claire over did it there a bit. She, she, she went a bit too far. Well, that's because... Claire, Claire, Claire lunged into that one, and she pushed her throat too hard for the first seconds of the, of the, of the stream there. Had to dial it back a little bit. This is many a true nerd. And welcome back. I do, I do it all the time. You just, like, you don't know. Like, the thing that, I, that takes me the most takes... What I'm doing a video is, you have no idea how many times I do the intro to get it just right. Like there's, there's so many, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, good, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, octopus, oh, that's, that's not right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I, I do it so many times, over and over and over again, till I get the cadence and the pronunciation and the spacing and the timing just right. Like, over and over again, for hours. So I, I, I really, like, you know, I'm inside 17 extremely thin glass houses right now to well, toss that also, stone. Also, the thing is, normally I have a trick for the live stream so I can match your kind of like, your cadence and your... and your. Oh, well, hang on. Your... Hang on, we've got problems with the audio apparently. Mm. Oh. Okay. We've got problems apparently. We've got crackling. Okay. Interesting. Let's see if we can figure that... Figure that out. Hang on, give me one second. I'm going to, I'm going to go silent for a second as I just see if I could. I'm just going to attempt to fix this. Okay, I've tried resetting it. Various people saying they thought it was okay. Other people, but enough people said it simultaneously. I thought I'd give it a go. Oh, that's true. It's possible you're hearing the game audio. Is it that you're hearing? Because because there's just the whoosh in the background. I think possibly. I'm so sorry. I think I may have actually just like sort. Is is that? That's much worse. I'm bits in fact. Okay, hang Vegas on. Crow, are you t are you pulling our leg? If I just do this, <laughs> does it suddenly disappear? Does does that just disappear? Because now I've got rid of now I've got rid of the background waves. Yeah, the game soundtrack. It started with a crackling, but it's better. Okay, I think we're fine. I think I think we're fine. There we are. It's still barely crackling. Hmm. It's when you talk loud enough, it's possible. It's, it sounds like it's peaking. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Hang on. Give me one more. That's exactly the same setup as I already do. A little worse. Did, Did you it... move the microphone? Could you have touched something? I mean, it's possible. Do you need to wiggle it back into place like we did for the torch last I'm try night? I'm tr doing a little bit of wiggling. Doing a little bit of, <laughs> doing a little bit of wiggling. Hang on. Well, it's still there, but it's not a huge deal. The problem is it's a huge deal to John. It is. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not accepting this. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Da, 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 da. Some people are saying yes. Some people are saying no. It's definitely not. Hello, I'm saying things exuberantly. Oh, gosh darn it. It's actually getting worse. Bit quality. No, the bit quality is... Hang on. The zero drop frames or anything. Oh, no. Oh, this is a problem. Okay, okay. What we're going to do is I'm just going to disappear for a second. Like, properly. Like, full-on black screen. I'm going to restart everything. Not like the computer, but like... All right, folks, we're going to turn the stream off and on again. Not not quite, but like, okay, we're, we're going to go dark. Okay, everyone prepare. We're going to go... It sounds like low bitrate. The bitrate's the same as always. And there's zero drop frames. This is really weird. Okay, this is fine. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to. We're just going to turn the stream off for a second, or, or rather, it's the stream's going to be on, but everything our end's going to be off, and we're going to see if maybe that fixes it. Okay, it's going to be fine. Then, if that still happens, uh, 
We're going to think it might be YouTube side. And then Okay, hello. We may be back. Hopefully we're back. But there's, there's, there's now no game. There's no game. Okay, how are we doing? Does that in any way sound any better? <clears throat> Excuse me. Better? Sounds like the wrong mics. There's literally one. Well, there's no other mic in here. Yay, John. Sounds better. Sounds better. Try to be louder. I'm being louder. No crackle. And... I mean, I could actually, I could just... Okay, sounds clearer, loads better. I'm going to get... It sounds better now. Okay. All right, apparently I've got to try talking as well, as much as uh, you dislike that. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. now it could be the game. Someone's point out it could be the game. That's true. Sometimes games interfere with audio. Like there's Mr... Who remembers Mr. Shifty? It was a game I played long, 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 long ago but it was so it, it, it knackered the audio when i turned it on so much so i had to record the audio on a separate laptop because it was messing with the audio recording um and to this day it, it, it caused crackle it caused a crackle on the audio track to this day whenever i do a test recording every time i'm playing a new game i turn the game on i start recording the audio and i i do what's called the the mr shifty crackle test I, ch I checked for Mr. Shifty Crackle, and then I... I, I didn't I actually remember that's what yeah. it was called, the Mr. I Shifty Crackle then I, then I closed the game down, and I play back the audio to check whether Mr. Shifty Crackle is crackling or not. And it, it's happened in, like, three games of the channel's history. Some games just mess with audio, and I'm wondering... But Dave the Diver recorded perfectly, recorded smoothly. So we're now going to... Pippa Funnel didn't affect audio. Pippa Funnel just bricked an entire PC. It was different. So now... We're going to turn the game back on, and we're going to see if that in somehow, like, messes. We're like, I'm going to say the ter I'm going to say the words audio drivers. Those are words. That's words. So that's, that's fine. And we're going to see what happens at this point. And we're going to see if, if everything works. So yeah, Mr. Sh Mr. Shifty Crackle, this is what we do. Every time I, I do a recording, I do a sound, volume, echo, and Mr. Shifty Crackle test. That's what we do. That, that we, we check that the sound is recording, that the volume is acceptable, that the echo, there's no prominent echo, and that there isn't a Mr. Shifty crackle. So Mr. Shifty, that that game none of you remember, from a video like five years ago. Like, uh, it's, it, it lives on, it lives on in, in, in the record, beginning of every uh, recording, the bit you don't hear because it gets edited out. I always refer to Mr. Shifty crackle. So, okay. Yeah, and uh, as Jack says, it does sound uh, Mr. Shifty Crackle. Does sound like a, a villain from Mary Poppins. Yeah, definitely clearer gremlins are gone. Well, uh, <laughs> someone just said the crackle is. It's like that's, that's... Yeah, but they had just said gone for me. Yay! Like, two, two above. Excellent. Thank you, Kay. So there we go. Ho okay, sound seems good. Okay, we oh, fixed it. I literally just people... turned. I just turned OBS on and off, off and on again. This is, oh, I love Mr. Shifty. Mr. Someone remembers Mr. Shifty. Mr. Shifty does not play well with Audacity, which is what I use for my voice recording. Not not right now. Right now, we're just using OBS. OBS just does everything in the live streams. But normally, the, my voice recording comes through Audacity, um, which is a program. They're just, uh, it's just a recording program. Uh, and it does it just doesn't play well with a certain very small number of games that I think are all in the, um, the Unreal Engine. And I don't know what it is, but just some games... That, that's happened again. So yeah, the game is now open. The game is open. You might be able to hear some slight noise in the background. So yeah, it was it was, it was, was just a thing. So there we go. And also, thanks to the magic. The magic of, of, of games and, and save points. We can... Game. Game. Come on. Come on, game. Game. Oh, yeah. Yay! Okay, there we go. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Try the amp. Hang on. Hang on. Thanks to the magic of how we've set this up. Look, we can transition from from that straight into a very similar, but not quite not quite the same thing. <coughs> Excuse me. So there we go. That's that's absolutely fine. So yes, we, we we're back with Dave the Diver. Before we dive into Dave the Diver, though, hey. yeah, I've been doing that multiple times. It's like the fourth time we've done that. Yeah. We 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 do have to. Claire and I did agree. We 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 have to cover the serious news of the stream first. <coughs> um, we have to we have to um yes like uh, get that, which is. The other day, Ted started exhibiting some unfortunate symptoms. So, two days ago, 
we took him to the vet. And we received what we've been told they're, they're a very confident diagnosis of Ted's condition. And unfortunately, therefore, we are... We have no choice, you know, it's the right thing to do, because, otherwise, you know, we don't want to hide it. Don't, we don't have, let we... him see too much, John. It's about a dog. <laughs> they care about him. We have to announce that Ted has officially been diagnosed with hay fever. This cocky dog has hay fever. We Apparently, 10% thought... of dogs have hay fever. 10% of dogs can have hay fever. John, it was too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has hay fever. Like we he had, he was slightly pink around the eyes, and we thought he might have like conjunctivitis or something, or you know, or something, or like a bacterial infection in his eyes, or something, something, something. And it turns out he's just got hay fever. Some dogs just have hay fever, and he's not doing well with pollen, so his eyes are a bit itchy. And as a result, he's scratching at them a bit, and it's making him a bit sore. So we, we're slipping antihistamines into his food. We're, 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 we're slipping antihistamines into his food. And when he gets back from his walks, we're just gently rubbing his face with a damp towel. So to get like the excess pollen off. Yeah, he's not, um, he's not uh, happy with that. But yes, we think he is most likely allergic to grass yeah. indeed. Grass pollen is indeed possible. Because he likes mm. running out into our garden and like rolling in the grass and rubbing his face in the grass. We think he's literally making himself itchy and sneezy. So there we go. That's that's what's happening. Uh, Ted Ted has hay fever, which was hilarious. And in the same vet visit, he was also there just to get his vaccination. He was a very brave boy, right up to the point when the vet pulled out the needle. At which point, the moment he saw the needle, he jumped behind me. He hid behind my legs, working under the assumption that I would protect him from the needle. But then the ultimate heel turn occurred. And it turned out I held him still so the vet could stab him with the needle. And he hasn't, I, did, I don't think he'll ever forgive me. I'm not sure, he, I'm sure he'll, he'll ever forgive me for that. So there we go. The dog has hay fever, which is ridiculous. But there we go. I did indeed betray Ted. So Ted has hay fever and we're working on like, you know, just maybe mowing the grass more often, hoovering more often, giving him a little mop down with a with a damp cloth to get the excess pollen off. He's getting antihistamines, and we're going to see if that calms it down. We've, uh, we've already uh, laundered uh, all of his... Uh, we've already washed all of his um, yeah. blankets. He's got all over everything that Hilariously, he sleeps on. Hilariously, yeah. Like, it's not really a hay fever that's the problem. It's that it's making him itchy, because for dogs, hay fever isn't just, like, you know, sniffly and, and runny eyes and whatever. It makes them itchy all over. So they end up scratching and, like, you know, chewing at the their own body just to kind of like try and deal with the the itching and then that uh, that irritates them and causes them to eventually like you know just uh irritate their own skin and like make little scabs and it causes more irritation and it make, gets even worse and eventually you know they'll start like breaking the skin and you'll see like, little red patches and stuff like the problem is they get stuck in a in a cycle of uh, i'm itchy so i'll scratch myself but that makes it even worse so, but it's not really that he's, the hay fever is the problem. The hay fever causes him to be itchy and then a cycle of itching and scratching is the problem. So we have to deal with that. We're trying to interrupt the cycle right now with Ted. Poor, so he's a poor little itchy baby right now. That's, that's what's happening, which is, which is very sad. So yeah, <clears throat> we're going to have to, uh, we're working on that. We're working on that right now. That's that. So I would like to um, lodge a complaint from the chat. Yes. Um, when you make this kind of joke, you're not yeah. actually allowed to make them about a pet. Oh. When you get them going like just that. about Claire. Some people got it. were very worried. Just about Claire. Got and it. You, okay, that's fine. That's just fine. about people, not about pets. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Some people were really worried. I'm sorry to the people who were worried. So yes, there we go. Let's let's dive on in. Dave the Diver. So, okay, just a quick reminder, just in case you're like, you know, you, you, you caught the video while you were watching three other videos on your mobile phone or something, or like, you know, you haven't actually caught the video yet, but you just enjoy the streams. Uh, Dave the Diver is not actually about diving. I mean... Despite the fact there's a diver on screen and I'm controlling and the word dive is on screen. It is about a man, it's about a diver. That's true. But it, like, diving is just kind of, like, one of the many things he does. This guy is, like, the I, I just love how he's, like, pure protagonist. Like, he's absolute pure doormat. This is, this is, this is not Dave the Diver. This is Dave the Doormat. Put John in the cone of shame. I, I clearly do actually, uh, 
exactly do deserve that. That's fair. Like, he's Dave the Doormat. So basically, a huge number of people, like, everyone in his in his phone, you can, like, call various people up. And, like, they've all got stupid jobs for you. And he'll just, and they'll be like, hey, go and get this. And be like, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. I'll, I'll get right on that for you. So Dave the Diver is, is, is in fact, he's just Dave the Protagonist. He's lovely. Uh, he's marvellous. He's, he's just, I, I just love him how much he's... Uh, like, you know, he's not like yeah, emo or true. sad. Sushi Chef is the main hero. It's true. Sushi Chef is the big, is the, is the big badass. And he's the least badass character. Like, you know, other characters, like, you know, they're cool and they do awesome things. And they get really cool cutscenes. Dave's the only character who doesn't get an awesome badass cutscene when he does stuff. He just does his job. Uh, and he's not like, you know, happily enthusiastic about it. Or really grumpy and reluctant and emo about it. He's just like, mm, okay. I mean, someone's told me to do that. So I guess I will. I kind of love him. He's wonderful. So yes, but like the core of the game, I suppose, is uh, that sushi restaurant in the background needs a supply of fish to stay in business. You sell sushi, that's what makes you the money, and the money, like, crucially pays for everything. Like, you know, new weapons so you can fight bigger creatures underwater, or like, you know, better diving equipment. So, you know, I've got 500 gold right now, I'm gonna be needing a, a level 3 diving suit sooner or later, as it's the only thing I've got at level 3 right now. So screw it, there we go. New diving suit. I can now go deeper. Though I'm pretty sure to like get like a torch or something. I can't go that much deeper because it's too dark. So like, you know, you need money to upgrade your thing to go deeper and deeper and deeper. And everyone's constantly giving you stuff to do. Together with like, you know what I really like, by the way? There's 10 million things to do in the ocean. Like you can gather junk to craft. You can gather like um, ecological stuff for Eco Watcher. Claire's just gone over to hug Ted, obviously. You can like, you know... There's, uh, you, you gather ingredients for the restaurant, but while, and you can check all that here on the boat, but the moment you're underwater, you can't access your phone. So you've kind of got to, like, go into the water thinking, I'm gonna do, like, this and that, and then, like, you just sort of remember other stuff as you're going along, which I kind of like. So, like, when you're in the water, it's really unoptimized, you're kind of just, like, going about and, like, you know, seeing what you happen to find, because, like, the, the underwater's a bit semi-randomized, and the fish are a bit semi-randomized, randomized, the junk's a bit semi-randomized, so you may or may not find what you're looking for. So you're just kind of like, you know, right now it's the afternoon shift, I can go for a dive. Like, time is frozen, you're only limited by the amount of oxygen you've got. So, like, you know, it's the afternoon shift, I'm, I can do one more dive before it's time to go to the restaurant. If I want to, I can just, like, skip time, I can skip time if you want to. So, like, you know, Eco Watcher, I'm currently, yeah, like, ten points away from getting an Eco Health Bracelet... Don't know what that does. It might just be a bracelet, but I kind of want it. So uh, all I need to do is like do literally any of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if I just like kill three of the stupid annoying titan fish with my gun, then I get myself points and I'll get a bracelet. Or I can uh, research this stuff. So like little red plants or orange starfish. Find some fossils. Uh, remove loads of jellyfish. Absolutely fine. There's loads of them dotted around. Uh, kill the big fish. All fine. So kind of, you know, I'm thinking, okay, this dive, I'll do that. That's what I want to do. I'll happily go and do that. And if I happen to see any good fish I want to, like, you know, pick up, that's fine. I'm happy to do that too. So that's all absolutely fine. I can just deliver that. Just deliver you guys too. Sure. Hand that over. Uh, yeah, so I can just kind of, like, I'm looking for, like, you know, jellyfish to kill, those creatures to murder, like, little red plants to pick up, and maybe I'll get some fish. You sort of move you around, you sort of see some... Whatever, whatever strokes you fancy. So we just like dive into the water. And everything just like, everything just like is, it. I can't figure out how randomized it is. Like, down underwater, the big things are in roughly the same place. But like little bits of the sea, like the individual platforms seem to be shuffled. I think? It's like, it's, it's, it's tricky to figure out what's going on. Like, definitely there's not always a platform straight below you when you dive in. And there's definitely not a way down over here every single time. So you can just kind of mosey around. Uh, auction down in the bottom left. So, uh, yeah, kind of like, you know, you're just moseying around. Obviously, that's the limit. And, excuse me. Hi, 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 hi. Don't mind me, buddy. Don't mind me. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. And... Go! Uh, oi! Oi, oi, Excuse me. No. Bang. There we go. There's the triggerfish. Honestly, I didn't really want to pick him up, but I picked him up by mistake. Oh, there's no health bar in this game. When you take damage, it's purely um, a question of uh, you lose a bit of oxygen. But that's fine. So that's fine. And yeah, saucepans contain ingredients, which is all A-OK. -okay. You've got your gun, which works underwater. Apparently guns do work underwater. Someone in the comments let me know that. Just not very well. And you've got your harpoon, if you want to, like, catch some fish. Uh, but yeah, obviously these fish are a little bit basic, so we don't necessarily want these fish. Now you, buddy. 
I'm so sorry to this fish, by the way. This fish gets murdered a lot by me because he's just... He's so big and he's, you recognize him? He's so big and he's very easy to recognize. And just keep keep shooting him. No, no, no. You're going down, buddy. And he's also really slow. So you need to sort of like stab him with your knife. And there's not really much you can do about it. There he goes. He's dead. And he's just worth such a huge amount of meat. And you can, you can harvest him twice. And that's like so, so much. It's so like, uh, yeah, like straight away. I'm just going to toss away the, tri the Titan Trigger fish because that isn't worth very much. But like that's, okay. that's five portions of meat in 1.8 kilograms. That's so efficient. Yes. Uh, next gen says the fish and world in general are semi-randomized. Yeah. They are, there are pre-made maps that are being drawn from a deck to make to make each run uh, uh, different. Yeah, that makes sense. That feels about right. Just slightly upgrade on my harpoon. You know, you find, oh, there's so much stuff down over here. So yeah, that's an auction capsule so I can keep going for much, much longer. Should I wish to down the line. You know, you can find new melee weapon, <coughs> new melee weapons, uh, improved harpoons, etc, etc. So yeah, there's just lots of stuff. And like every single just run down into the ocean is a little bit different. And bang, oi, bang. How did we... Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Bang! I said, right, we need to kill one more of you. And I do have spare oxygen. You, buddy. Okay, you're coming for me, but that's absolutely fine. If I want to, uh, yeah, I can go faster. This is just bonus flame damage here, which is ridiculous underwater, but that's how that works, apparently. There's even more oxygen. So, honestly, uh, yeah, I'll take that and I'll use one of them straight away because I'm pretty sure it's about 50, give or take. So, all right, we've got spare oxygen. That's a big, scary fish. So, potentially, you know, one that if I do feel like the fight can be worth a lot of bits and pieces. And, yeah, there's just, like, you know, little plants that are worth, like, you know... I think you need these for the kitchen for making the, like, wasabi and variants thereupon. Like, I think they're ingredients for other bits and pieces. There's some turmeric right there. Yeah, I find it hilarious that it looks like the turmeric is at the bottom of the ocean in a liquid day and you don't pick that up. It, oh, hang on. You guys have got... Okay, the flame one has a different mini game. It's a different one. Actually, you're right. The, the Le Creuset should be worth a lot more. So hang on. X and B. Also, you're not just taking flame damage, which is delightful. And, but is it X and B it wanted? No. Oh, okay. This... this well, this mini game's tougher. It wants to Y, y and B. Okay, it wants me to just push the exact thing. And Six kilos, though. Yeah, that, you're right. That is worth a lot. No, don't, don't, I don't, I don't really fight with that guy. That felt like, hang on. You can just go. Because, actually, no offense, red line fishes, it doesn't generate extra money, but it generates happiness. But honestly, I, I'd rather save the weight. So, hang on. You well, buddy. yeah, because you kind of need to figure you're out right. something Th to specialize every other day. Yeah, three, three portions of meat for six kilograms. I mean, this is why we hunt, hunt the parrotfish. Yeah. The parrotfish is just great. Okay, there's some auction over here. And there are also different fish at different times of day. Yeah, so I'm Thank not really cut it. Okay, that. stay away from the spikes. This is the limestone cave down in this direction. The limestone cave has the problem that, yes, there's uh, strong tides in it. Let's just get to you. And that's just literally an auction thing, so that's fine. That's just more time underwater. But that's the basics. Like, you know, and you can spend... Uh, if I, you know, a functionally infinite time underwater because there's just like oxygen barrels. There's like, you know, one right there. Like I'm probably not going to come this way again, so screw it, why not? And you know, I, I've got like two oxygen canisters uh, right now. It's like, I may, uh, you know, I can just use them whenever I want to as well. So, you know, there's just like so much until I'm not sure I've caught you before. Oh, why are you, buddy? And uh, a cloud. Uh oh, Ooh, okay. No, 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 no trouble. No trouble. No trouble. No, okay, I think he's on me. I think he's on me. I think he wants me. I think he's I think he's hunting me right now. I think he's hunting me. So, okay, get out of the way. And... Bang! Bang! And then he... Bang! Bang! Oh, hang on. Oh, my thing's out. My thing's out. Take flame damage. And... Dead. Alright. Kind of run out of ammo there. The, the squids are just... Actually, I'm curious now whether potentially the squids caused him to miss me. Because I feel like he completely went the wrong direction and there was ink around. And I wonder if that's even a thing. Could be, you know. Could be, be under the circumstances. I think I'm going to dump the, the really heavy that. Like, six kilograms? No. That's going. Because I, I don't, like, want it for anything. And the, like, sharky one with the kind of saw thingy, like, how much was that? Uh... Did you not pick that up? I definitely got both of them. I got all the ch chunks out. Like, it's heavy, oh, but it's... Okay. 
Six point five, but it's five dishes, and I Fair like enough. the big fish. Generally, are just worth a lot in terms of like the dishes just uh, pay more. Yeah. Gun enhancement, just better gun, brilliant. So all right, this just this is what you do. You just you just you just have a lovely time bumbling around under the ocean. Claire is entirely correct that the Lacrosse will be absolutely worth more than anything that comes out of it. But instead, I'm like, oh, black vinegar. It's no vinegar black. No. I guess there's white vinegar, but that's a cleaning product. Well, yeah, but there's also, like, apple cider vinegar, rice vinegar. Yeah, but that's not a colour. It's still, like, they're either black or white still, right? Well, no, apple cider vinegar is, like, more of a yellow. It's true. Hmm. Fair enough. And, oh, tranquilizer. But level three... You know what? I'm not enjoying the mini game for this. So, okay, this is the put the fish to sleep one, which I quite like. So, I'm just kind of put. None of it makes sense. None of this makes any sense, but I'm okay with it. Right, put you to sleep, buddy. And uh, now he's asleep. And now I can just, like, stab him. Except, oh, hang on. When he was asleep. Wait, 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 wait. Put you to sleep. So, this isn't going to catch you, but it is going to put you to. I thought it was going to put you to sleep. Yeah. Excuse me. Hi. Put you to sleep, please. Put you to sleep, and you know I'm happy to catch a cuttlefish, but I, I was hoping you'd fall asleep. I think sleep is like a random chance to some degree. Also, I'm pretty sure we just caught him. I didn't actually want to. Didn't really want to. Can I? Can I arrange? Can you just arrange by heaviest? I don't think you can arrange heaviest to lightest. That's mildly inconvenient. I'm happy to let you guys go. Four kilograms for two portions of not even that good food. Uh, yeah, that's fine. But to be honest, I mainly just wanted to put a fish to sleep. Just wanted to put, just want to put a fish to sleep. Why? Because I, because when you put a fish to sleep and you hover over it. Oh, oh, oh! What's, what's that in the corner of your screen? That is, is the shark? first shark that you used to make the uh, yeah, ooh, yeah. long distance underwater scooter. So okay, now I'm fast. Yeah, that's right. That's nice. right. And now, boop. I don't even want to capture him. I, I don't want to capture him, but didn't want to. Oh, you know what? I just, I just actually killed enough of the annoying little guys that officially. Officially, oh, I've now completed the invasive species. Yeah, exactly. It's okay to murder fish as long as they're like bad fish that no one cares about. And more orange because I need those guys for research. So if I see an orange, that's kind of good. So all right, I'm just kind of moseying around. There's some jellyfish that want to die too. So I'm happy to just hit them with my knife. I'm pretty sure, yeah, if you, I kill three. Wait, do you need to murder the jellyfish? Are they invasive? They're involved. Everything's invasive if like I decide it is. Sure. This is fine. That's like, if I get questioned by like the sea police, I'll be like, it was invasive. It was invasive. Oh my goodness. Um, hey, shout out to Fun Sam Gaming who gave us 50 uh, pounds. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, and since I've been watching since 2016 uh, with Fallout 4 Survival, keep up the great work. Thank you for many years of enjoyable content. Oh, thank you. Survival was such a fun series. There's so many good moments now when we were especially when it was right to the start of Survival, so we didn't know what the rules were because the game itself was a bit on the sniper rifle. <laughs> I'll take an underwater sniper rifle. Thank you. And apparently to find, yeah, if I find more of them, I will be able to, uh, yes, potentially uh, do some lovely, lovely, uh, be able to craft them and start keeping them full time. I mean, to get rid of more of that. Survival, yeah, like, like, I think there was, one of the rumors I heard about survival was you set off your own minds. So you've got to, like, when you, you lay your own minds, you've basically got to run for it straight afterwards. That turned out to be not true, but it's kind of delightful that we thought it was true for so long. I think that's that's just that's just perfect. So I only get three shots with this thing, but bang, thirty-two damage. Not even enough to kill this guy. And I think he's. I don't even want to capture you guys. To be honest, I think we're close by to the edge of the um the limestone cave, because yeah, we're seeing those guys. So I'm pretty sure we were supposed to kill three of them. That's fine. We've yeah. now got the sniper rifle. Uh, unfortunately, Next Gen points out that, uh, weirdly, weirdly, the sniper rifle is one of the weakest ga guns in the game, in uh, their opinion. Yeah, that's what they say, but if I used it to kill the shark, who I definitely saw up here, presumably it's a long-range weapon. That's all. Yeah, I'm fast. I'm fast. I'm fast. I've got a sniper rifle. You can't get to me, boy. You can't get to me. Bang! And now he's coming at me. Oh, hey, he's fast too. He's not actually that fast. Or rather, when he does, he's stuck traveling the straight line. Bang! 
There he goes. He charges, but he can't. He can't get it, mate. Now the problem we do have, I will admit, is um. What do I need to get now? Hush dart level one does no damage, but puts them to sleep. Well, my sniper rifle's out of ammo. So basically, yes. And where's where's the hey 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 hey? I didn't say you could go. I didn't hear no bell. I didn't hear no bell. And bang, and he's still not asleep. This is doing no damage. I'm not sure whether this guy even can be put to sleep. Like he's a shark. He's quite big. He's quite big. But like, big things do need to sleep too. Well, yes. Bang. But it's more like he probably needs a higher dose of tranquilizer. Bang. Okay, I'm feeling like this this isn't working so well. Just stab him. Stop. Okay. No, no, no. What I need to do, what I need to do is... Whoop, bang. That's... Uh, that's also tranquilizer. Okay. No, no. There's ammo up here. There's ammo up here. No, no. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Go and get my sniper rifle back. Go get my sniper rifle. Oh. Go get my sniper rifle back. Ow. Get my sniper rifle back. Now go to the ammo supply over here. And go to the ammo supply. Don't mind me, buddy. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just need to get my sniper rifle back. There we go. Okay, now we're back. Now we're flipping back. Now we're flipping back. Now we're flipping back. Bang! And... None? No. One dead shark. Meaning now I can, yeah, harvest that for meat. And also, I think it's head. Yeah, I think you get mul... Yeah, the widow you seem to get multiple servings per head, even though this clearly has the head on it. Yeah. But there we go. Um... By the way, you should never, ever tell your mom about this game. Because uh, she will hate the fact that you're murdering sharks. Can That's you true. Can you come swim down? There was a starfish. I think it's a red one. I don't think it was oh, an orange. Okay, red, red ones are way more common and not as interesting. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, it was definitely a red. Well, I mean, yeah. That's yeah. just... I guess I thought it looked orange, but yeah... No, 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 no. This, this, oh, this well. time, this, my, my particular type of color blindness is fine on this. Mm -hmm. So okay, let's get to here now. Presumably, I can. Hang on, bang! Oh yeah. Nice. So that's what the sniper rifle is good at. Though it's weaker, you can just basically say, "Lol, I'm gonna shoot through everything," and the range is like stupid on it. So, bang, dead. Um, but also, oh, I'm that's an orange. That's an orange. So naturally, these stupid condor eels. Yeah, they sort of hide. And now I'm going to try and bait him out. I'm going to try and bait him out a bit. I'm going to try and bait this guy out. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Wait. Bang! Okay. The, the stupid big eels. They, 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 they're vicious. And I don't really want to mess with them, to be honest. I'm fine without them. So we're just going to mosey around. See what we stumble Ooh, into. A, um, I'm kind of full up on everything at the fish. minute. I'm kind of full up. I'm kind of so full up on everything. I really can't take much at this point. But yeah, there we go. That's that's kind of, you know, that's the basics of the game. Or like this bit of the game. Because like obviously the game will also routinely just say to you, hey, go do this, go do that. Go, go do some real bad archaeology. Yeah, go do, do go do incredibly ill-advised archaeology, etc, etc. Like, you know, just start exploding underwater ruins and so and so on and so forth. That happens all the time. So that's absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, like, I'll probably be given a mission tomorrow. It's like, hey, go and do this particular thing by multiple characters. So it's not like just this. Like, this is just your day-to-day -day right here. And if you're lucky, you'll just kind of come across giant piles of... I like the sleepy mallow. Because it makes a squeaky noise. There we go. You have to get the, the mores at night. I don't think you even could go out at night. If you just completely ignore your restaurant, can you just go out at night? Fascinating. I guess maybe when you hire enough staff, you can. Yeah, actually, you know what? That's true. Now I've got staff in theory. They can just do the restaurant by themselves. And that's just a basic underwater rifle, so we don't care about that. But I feel like, yeah, we're probably fit to mosey on towards the surface. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed, Cheddar. Also to Jay Rester, who gave us $50. Thank you very, very much, Jay. Uh, and says, hello, John, Claire, and Ted. Yet another game that I'll be picking up soon. Have a great one. It's a good one. Also, when you charge up the baseball bat, the crowd of a baseball stadium starts cheering. That's so stupid. It's so dumb. This entire game is catastrophically dumb, but in a very sweet way that uh, I kind of appreciate. The game lets you apparently dive at night later as ah. part of the story. Yeah, you'll need like a torch or something. Ah, uh, yeah. I need a torch to go down to the deep, to, to get down as far as I'm allowed to go already. Like, I already can't go down as far as, like, I might like to do. So, yeah, we've kind of taken out the two, like, big boss fish that were down there. So, you know, that's going to lead to some good stuff in the restaurant this evening. So, there we go. 
We also made progress towards the hush dart and the red sniper rifle. So yeah, once we get those and we've got the materials, like, you know, wood and scrap metal from that we were picking up from the bottom, we can start getting those too. So that's the basics. That's like how it oh. all fits together. Yes. Agilfax says the squeaky hammer made a ham dog jolt awake like oh. wet, wet toy. <laughs> ham dog who's a good dog. That's adorable. Oh, ham dog. You're cute. That is adorable. So, okay, we can... Nope, the shop is not open at night. We'll have to do any shopping tomorrow morning. So, yeah, we can right there. We can only go to the sushi restaurant. So, uh, yeah. You, the, the basic day-to-day -day is you do that. You get the fish. Then you go to the restaurant. You decide what the menu's going to be. And then you work on that, though. Oh. Obviously, other stuff just happens, too. A VIP just appeared. Vincent. Okay, this is Yui from TV show Star the Chef. Come to a seaside sushi bar that's all the rage on. I've got 20 followers. That must be deemed a lot by, by these standards. Okay. Uh, the sushi bar famous for its exotic sushi. We have as a legendary sushi expert. All right. So, how would you define sushi? It's a very simple dish. Rice, vinegar, wasabi, and the fish that goes on top. Everything hinges, hinges on these ingredients. However... Simple, it's not been easy. Listen! How good the ingredients are, how they were stored and aged, how they were cut, how the rice was cooked, how it was molded. All these things matter in the arts of sushi. Yes! I see, in that case, what do you think of the exotic sushi that Blanco Sushi is famous for? The ingredients for sushi have long been similar. The king of fish, the tuna, and particularly the belly. Below that, the olive flounder, the amberjack with white and red meat. All verified ingredients. You understand? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of doing my best with the uh, the exact choice of bold and italics. I, I hope we're getting Vincent across here. It's all fine. So, okay. Obviously, he's going to want a very particular dish. And I'm not sure we've caught any tuna yet. So, we can't serve him. And hilariously, he will just hang out in my restaurant for days or weeks until such time as I bother to make the dishes after. Amazing. Which is amazing. So, okay. What do we actually... What, let's, let's figure out what we're actually wanting here. So, uh, what, what's the actual thing that he wants? We're just continuing to interview our chef as well. He's a badass. Just do some of your, like, anime shit. They'll love it. So, uh, what food would we be trying? Uh, not interested in the food of a place that's so focused on appearances. Uh, your name. Let me take a look at what you can do. Let me see. Bring me something to surprise me. Okay. Give me two days. I'll be sure to shock you. Okay, I'm guessing he's going to give me the task to go and hunt a particular fish. So, all right. We'll see what that is at this point. He's wandered off. Okay, two days. What are you going to do? Doesn't run from a challenge. He gave me the ingredients. Sea grapes. I literally just got those. Uh, nice. White spot jellyfish. I think I literally got both of those today. I think I've got both of those. Though possibly the white spot jellyfish I, I tossed aside. Although, oh no. To catch that, you'll need a trank gun or a net gun. Okay. Do have a trank gun, don't you? No, I found a trank gun, but I can't keep it permanent. I need to find it again. Oh, yeah. But maybe that was a different type of but jellyfish. But, like, as I was in, killing. you had it today, and didn't you use that to kill the jellyfish if you still have the jellyfish? I think it was a different jellyfish, because he was saying you need the net fish to, to catch that jellyfish, and I got that jellyfish without and without using the trank gun. I just hit it with a knife. Oh, fair enough. So, I know where the limestone cave is. That's fine. So, we need to get the trank gun, then go in there tomorrow and find a particular <laughs> jellyfish. <laughs> Yes. Shout out to To The Games who says, uh, John, you made me order sushi with the first video and I'm thinking of getting, uh, of ordering in some again now. You know, I felt a bit bad because I saw someone when I, when I tweeted out the, the original video. I was like, oh, well, finally we can find out, like, what sushi John's into. It's like, no, that's not the video at all because I don't like sushi. I'm sorry. I don't like the the consistency and texture of sushi. I can't be dealing with that. So I, I, I don't enjoy sushi at all. So I'm very sorry about that. Uh, so there was, there was none, there was none of that. So, okay, I've got, no, I do have the white spotted jellyfish. But I definitely didn't trank it. So. You apparently get a higher quality with the tranquilizer. Ah, but I got enough anyway, because I just yeah. brought the corpse home. Though. It's like, okay, I didn't do the thing you told me to do. Instead, I just stabbed a jellyfish with a knife. Here's the tattered remains. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so, okay, that's, that's very unfortunate. Um, okay. So we can do that. Now, next up. We've also got, uh, yes. Do we need to research that dish? Boiled yellow black, yellow uh, fusilier, uh, agar, seasoned kachimi. 
Okay, so all of this is, I don't know if any of this is particularly merged with agar, could you mix with... Do I kachime? Also, I'm going to mispronounce everything, so I do not eat this food. Claire, you step in if I mispronounce anything. Yeah, I don't know either. Kajim, kajimi. I'm going to say kajimi. I'm, I'm assuming kajime? Yeah, kajime. Quite possibly. So, okay. Yellow black, yellow back, fusilier. Um... I think I've seen the yellow back fish. I may as well just research. Not least because if you research, this happens. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So he just does he just does an awesome thing. So okay, we've now got a new re a new recipe, but we don't need to do that. I probably should get new kitchen staff. Um so okay, I've got no staff right now, but we definitely need to get some staff in so okay hang on we are indeed hiring i would like us to hire so flyer recruit staff at current cook star rating level for 50 or okay hire but that costs more money i can only afford a flyer ad right now so get that happening so okay i think tomorrow we can have new kitchen staff because last yeah the last like um evening like evening shift we were struggling the kitchen was struggling to keep up with the number of staff so that's the problem. So tomorrow we can have kitchen staff, which will be very, very necessary to keep us going. Then I've not got much money to do interior decorating right now. So now I just need to set the menu. So I can have five items on the menu. And I think last night, I think I had like, in the final session of the video, I had like 15 odd dishes and it really wasn't enough. So, okay, let's find, let's find the good stuff. And in particular, yeah, um, arrange by price as a starting point. So yeah, I can serve like one whole roasted shark head. I've got one head, and I can do that. And it's what, five portions? Or you can serve it to only one person? Well, that's the thing. Normally, that means 12. But, like, I think it's... Even though there's one head on the plate, I think there are five portions anyway. Uh. Like, I think that's true. Like, and I don't mean whether you get, like, you order the, the shark head, you get, like, a fifth of a head. I think that's true. So I'm going to put, yeah, that one on the menu You're because... You're apparently able to change the menu mid-shift if you run out. Oh, I did not know that. But I'm not sure whether it pauses the game, possibly yeah. it freaks out a bit. But yeah, it says five out of five. So even though the, the plate clearly shows you get a shark's head, you seem to get, like, I've got five shark's heads out of my one shark head. So I'm not 100% sure about that. So yeah, we've also got, yeah, the giant trevely. We've got the, yeah... This one's just reliable because I've upgraded this one to level four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah. therefore, and I could do it again. In fact, that would take ten to do that. Sorry, I'm not going to do that. So, like, I'm happy to just basically put, like, all of, like, I'll put, like, ten of these on the menu. Because these are easy to get. So, we're going to put ten of them on the menu. So, we've got ten portions of that. We've got five portions of that. This is this is good stuff. It's making good money. The giant trevely is, like, super easy as well. Uh, For only, yeah, six fish, I'll upgrade that to the next level. So, I'll enhance that. It's a ridiculously badass cutscene as well. <laughs> I love this cutscene in particular because we just zoom in on a horrified fish. <laughs> <laughs> They're just a fish suffering from existential horror, witnessing sushi being chopped in front of them, which is marvelous. So, that's, that's, that's that. What's the other level four recipe that's like at the top? Uh, that's the that's the long nose, uh, the oh, long nose yeah. shark. So I wanted to put like maybe it's I'll put seven. Let's put six portions of that into play. So we've got like twenty one portions right now. I will put uh, that will be that'll be ten portions to improve now. So that's fine. I'll leave that be. I'll put five portions of the shark in. So it's like 25, 25 odd portions. 25 odd portions is fine. And then maybe on top of that, I'll just kind of clear out the, the squid, which is fine. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll clear out the coral, the coral trout. All of that can just go. Yeah. yeah, we'll just basically clear that out. That's it. That's uh, that sh I think that that'll be enough because I think that's all the kitchen can keep up with. Yeah. To be honest, the kitchen cannot do more than that. So I'm happy with that, which is great. Um, so that's all lovely with the interior ingredients, staff, etc. Yep, so in which case, open the thing. But yeah, the problem now is going to be because I've got one waiter, so delivering the food's not the problem, but she won't work on the wasabi over on this side and she won't do drinks. So drinks are up to me. So I just need to keep an eye. Yep, there we go. 
There's people. Just like pull, pull, pull the thing, pull the thing, pull the thing. Should be about right. Oh, nailed it. It's fine. I'm, I'm getting to you as fast as possible. It takes time. Okay, and yeah, some of the... She'll handle some of the McGibbling. But I need to help out a little bit. But yeah, it's going to get... The number of people in the restaurant right now. She's going to struggle. Also, you need to remember who ordered first. Because otherwise, people are going to start getting angry. Uh, and it's going to be fine. I think you were here first. Pretty sure you were here first. More sharks heads. Goats, fine. You are... Yeah, you are here next. This is... Everything's going to be fine. It's like, yeah, look at this. The kitchen can't keep up. The kitchen can't keep up. You, you are going to have to deal with that. That's fine. I need to pour drinks. And we've now got to the stage where the wasabi is actually getting... Sorry, that was a little bit too full. The wasabi is getting a bit... A bit much. So we need to top that up too. Because that's also my job. But... Uh, wait, I know, I know. I'm so sorry. Like, you you handle that. I'm really sorry. I, I'm going to pour the... We, we need another person in the kitchen. We need another person in the kitchen. Just pour a drink. A little bit low, but apparently it's good enough. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You get that. I'll get the next one. Go and deliver to the person at the end if you can. And we just got them there. You have that. No one's actually... Has anyone walked away in disgust, Jax? I don't think they have. That's good. And then I can... Also, this other waitress doesn't clear tables. That's just my job. I just have to clear all the tables by myself. And I think we just kept up with that. And... Okay, nobody had the... What was the blue one? I think, the, I think the expensive stuff sold. I think the expensive yeah, yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, sold. Yeah. Okay, apparently a couple of people did leave. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? We made more money than we've ever made before. I'm still going to call it a win. I'm going to call that a win. And we can increase our rating in Cookstar. Very importantly. Okay, we need, yeah, we need more people in the... Meanwhile, in the cave of the mer people. I don't the speak... people, John. I don't speak mer people, by the way. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no! Why do we get the feeling that guy's immediately going to come to Dave the Diver for help? Because you're the protagonist. There's mer people, by the way. There, there, in case we didn't mention earlier, there's also mer people. There we go. So I'm guessing, yep, it's Dr. Bacon who's who's got the... I, I like that he's called Dr. Bacon. Because, like, you know, normally you would expect, like, in a game in a game like this, like, you know, the C Professor would have an appropriate C name or something. And Dr. Bacon would be, like, you know, the pr would be, like, on a, on a livestock farm or something. He's the Doctor of Abattoirs. But no, that's... This is... He's Dr. Bacon, but he he's a stu he studies the sea. Which strikes me as delightfully subversive in a very wholesome way. Dave! Yes, Dr. Bacon. Dave! Do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? Good news. You're the positive type. I studied the bracelet. It was from the sea people. As I expected. It's an ancient artifact. And it's imbued with a mysterious power. Here, you can wear it. He's... I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm the human guinea pig. There might be some frightening sea perk people cursing it. Here you go. In any case, you try it on first. And I just oh, will. I absolutely will. But I'm guessing it might actually let me speak sea people. And it's aid breathing. breathing. Survive for a certain period of time after running out of oxygen. Yeah, I'm happy to equip that. I feel some kind of new power inside me. Glad to hear nothing bad happened. I love how Dave is just... He's, I don't think I've ever seen a character in a game that's this much of a doormat. Like, in games, very often the game's writing aggressively makes your character have agency. Like, you know, even if it's, you know, even if it's like, oh, I'm going to sneer at the video game trope, but then do it anyway while rolling my eyes. But Dave is just an absolute doormat, and I love him. Not enough games that you just be an absolute doormat and say, your character is just this doormat who will agree to anything anyone asks of him, and that's why you get drawn into all these quests. And I love it so much. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, Fairfox says the waitress can do drinks. I'm not sure if it's training or a setting somewhere, but she can definitely do drinks. Oh, okay. We might need to dig into that at some point. Okay, yeah, yeah. more great news. I was able to find a very strong signal in these ocean depths. This was the right place. The objects just didn't float over here. Have a feeling the great blue hole that suddenly appeared is serving as a conduit to a sea people site. So, okay. Where do you want me to go? And, yep, a deep sea headlamp. Deliveries have stopped right now. Getting one is out of the question. Maybe Duff will have one. And all right, try counting Duff first. That's my weapon trader. I, I, I just buy guns from, from him. It's marvellous. So, okay. That's there, that. So, we've got charm. And on top of that, do not forget 
that over an eco watcher, I can get myself another charm. So, yep, I've murdered enough fish. Boom, 20 research points. Level up! And that gets me a bracelet. So, I've got a second bracelet. Oh, exciting, sexy stuff here. Um, so, okay, what's my next reward, by the way? Eco poison resist bracelet. Nice. Okay, so if I run it, if I'm running into like lay loads of jellyfish or something, could be useful in a different bit. So okay, hang on. My where's my loadout? Where's my how, where do I manage my loadout? Is it an eye diver? What's an eye diver? How do I set my things? I mean, is it going to be in management or? I think management's the restaurant. Oh uh, yeah. I think the game just told me, but then I missed it. Also, I need to upgrade Cookster. I am ready to rank up. I am now a silver Cookster member. And... Wait, I need to go to the sushi restaurant. No, I don't want to go to the sushi restaurant. Would you like to... No, I don't want to go to... Okay, well, I'll do that this evening then. I don't want to do that now. Or maybe I'll do that like... What, because you think it might skip the day? Yeah, I don't want to skip the thing. Okay, well, let's, let's just see. Chapter 1, Trace of the Sea People. I don't want to level up, but I'm hoping this doesn't skip the morning. Cook's the rating. Yeah, but also... It won't skip the day you can come back. Okay, good. Good, good, good. And it's the crate on the boat for your loadout. Yeah, it's, it's the, the crate. Boat. Okay. I like how Cook's just sends someone round. To, like, verify you're good enough for a thing that's purely a function of how many followers you have. It's just delightfully dumb. Okay, moray eel. Striped red mullet. White tra Ooh, white trevely. Wait, which was the trevely we had? I thought it was the white trevely. I thought it was the right trevely. And menu slot, serving snaff, wasabi max, cooking slot, and additional interior. Okay, nice. nice. So that's that done, which is great. Also, do have we have... a cat. I do have a cat. You can just pet the cat. Good. It goes meow. Its name is Momo. Oh, Momo. Or possibly Moo Moo. And it also doesn't always say the same thing. It has a variety of different meows. Sometimes it just stares at you. Mew, mew, mew. I like how it is semi-randomized. It's, it's quite delightful that it's kind of a bit semi-randomized. So, okay. The research is... Yeah, I feel like the one thing... That we definitely know is, yeah, the uh, flibbly jibble, the white traveling. So I'm gonna so get. So that makes people happy. That and makes. Also yeah, it's expensive. really people happy. Yeah, I think we've. I think we know white travelies everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. confirmed in chat. So yeah, we've seen you. Ooh, they're doing a big stretch. They're doing a big stretch over there. So okay, we definitely have you. And honestly, I feel like this might be important. So research you. So that is, yeah, we'll check that. Apparently we'll... you can find cat food and feed the cat. Holy shit, I did not know that. Yeah. Well, that's quite significant, isn't it? And yeah, right now the staff aren't showing up till the evening session by the Luke CFA because the hiring is still in process uh, officially. Check the management, by the way. See if I've got the... Yeah, so there's clearly there's stuff you can maybe do in the management app for the, uh, the staff. But we're like, you know, the restaurant's moving in the right direction. It's yeah. moving in the right direction. All right, back to the boat. And now we know how to check the loadout. It's on the crate on the boat, which is good. So, okay. Crate. There we go. So, charm number one. So, see people charm. Yeah. And presumably, my eco health bracelet reduces damage taken 10%. That's actually pretty good. So, put that in there. So, okay. I've now actually got a full proper loadout mcjibble nice. so that's actually pretty good i'm happy with that so when it says storage does that mean that you dive you've already got some weight on you huh no this is stuff i've picked up before like trash i've picked up oh, on previous yeah, dives yeah, yeah, yeah. it just gets stored here ready to like when i need to like craft guns or whatever cool, 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 cool and cool, speaking cool. of which yeah this guy will also uh, sell you items if you want to so just like you know Extra bits and pieces to carry the you know, like extra weight if you want to carry that out. And it'll also buy random trash off you too. Though for the most part, you want to keep it in case you need it down the line. Though sometimes, yeah, like I think anything that's like an animal-based thing, you don't need. He'll just buy that for a pretty good price. It's like the spotted jellyfish tentacle. He'll just buy them for a bit of money. And that puts me over a thousand, which is good. Because I suspect over an eye dive for a thousand is going to be worth something good. Yeah, that's a huge increase in carry capacity or a big increase in gun. You should do carry capacity, though. I feel, I, I agree. 
I think carry capacity is the way to go. Like 28 to 42 feels like a huge increase. Seriously. That's a huge increase. So yeah, now I can bring a lot more out, which is good. And I need to call up Duff. Because they were saying he was the guy to speak to about a diving helmet. So Apparently animal stuff is super helpful for crafting and you shouldn't sell it. Right, don't sell that in the future. Never Lol, mind. Sorry, guys. Lol. Okay. Okay, okay. Everyone's upset that there's no deliveries, but I need the okay. deep sea headlamp. Got one of those in my safe no. storage. I can't give it to you free. No. There's a condition. No. Find my Lay's Chan figurine. It's in a pink delivery box. You'll know it okay. when you see it. I request a special care of the package. It shouldn't have been washed no. away. The ship carrying it sank. It's like to be somewhere nearby. Well, okay. It can't be down below. Sunken transport ship. Which will logically be towards the bottom. So I need to find, yeah. Today, my main thing is I've already got what I need for, yeah, the gourmet challenge. So my main objective is find a pink delivery box near a yellow delivery shipwreck. And find a figurine for this guy who will trade that for the lamp we need to get further down. So yeah, we can basically, um, yeah, uh, go down, find any fish that are in the way. We've got plenty of carry capacity. And yeah, find some good guns, etc, etc. Investigate delivery shipwreck. Down we go. So that's my main objective. Basically, we are fishing and we're trying to find that oh. shipwreck. Yes. Uh, Kay points out that uh, items that are purely for selling for money will be labeled oh, as they're marked. to be sold. And it'll tell you to whom. Uh, and yeah. Okay, fine. And oh, I hear loud noises. When you say from over there, define it over there. Oh, it's the cocking pirates. They're bullying the dolphins again. And also they've got guns. Why'd you keep bothering these dolphins? You're the one who keep interrupting our plans. I can tell just by your silhouette. You need to be taught to let- Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Get Okay, I've got a gun too. I've got a gun too. Why are the dolphins leaving? The dolphins, I was still gonna scare them. Now I have to just defeat them. Defeat the pirates. Okay, gum. Bang. No. I mean, there is ammo for guns right underneath. Bang. Too. Bang. Okay, and you've got the sniper rifle. Bang. Oh, we shot each other. And then we ran out of... Nope. I'm going to have to harpoon him. Right, he's been harpooned to death. There's one more to go. You can see there was ammo down there. Yeah. Yeah, good. That's what we need. And wait for him to take the shot. Because, yes, fortunately, he lines up his shot. Bang. And I don't want to waste another shot. Bang. Done. Right, I've murdered three humans. No, never mind. They're fine. Okay, good. I, I'm don't. My, Dave doesn't do murder. And the last time these dolphins handed me a solid gold bar, I expect diamonds. All right, I'm not saving you for pittons. All right, I'm saving you the monsters of the sea that dolphins are, purely because I expect to be paid. Okay, otherwise I'm on team pirates. And also that one doesn't seem to be swimming away. Oh, never mind. Just figured out he's supposed to be swimming away. Hello, I expect diamonds. All right. And you're dolphin, so I appreciate they're probably blood diamonds. But that's fine. No, not cuddles. Definitely not cuddles. I'll accept cuddles from Ted, not from dolphins, not from the monsters of the sea. And... Yes. What are you doing? Better have got something good. Rusty dolphin necklace. Okay, that might be useful down the line. All right, so we sorted them out. I would have loved that in high school. Kind of slightly took care of. Yeah, cheap Japanese sword, which is not that powerful, but it gets me the reach. And I'm pretty sure I saw an orange McJibble uh, starfish over here, which I need for Eco Watcher. There's just, in this game, there's so much stuff happening at the same time, which I find delightful. There's just like there's oh, always like there's a Le Creuset down there. There's a Le Creuset in there as well. This this feels very similar to how it was previously. So that's absolutely fine. No need to bother causing trouble for you. I don't think we need to murder you guys today. The one I don't always have to go for the Le Creuset. Like uh, they're not always they're not always uh, worth grabbing because uh, I've got so much. I've got plenty of cooking ingredients. It's not something I'm lacking right now. If this guy decides to cause trouble, I will shoot him. Yeah, I spent a so yeah, it's just go to the bottom and actually properly scour the yeah, bottom. Yeah, go to the bottom and see what we've kind of got going on around the bottom. I've got plenty of O2. There'll be plenty of oxygen around as well. Don't cause trouble for you. 
help myself to all of this. But yeah, we'll just mosey on down so we can... Did I just bump into the... Oh, no, oh I think it's a spiky thing. I think, like the, a, a sea or I think there's a spiky thing down there that the camera didn't let me see. Well, that's just dickish. Hilarious. That's going to be absolutely fine, I'm sure. We'll just keep on keeping on. And yeah, try and find a little bit of oxygen. There's some and spare grab oxygen this guy. right there. Grab you as well. Uh, grab this fish over there at the no, top. No, 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 I don't need him. I'm not, I'm, I'm not fish hunting right now. I'll get back to fish. Right now, I want to focus you on... You have the... 42 kilograms, though. Flame a torp... Flame a harpoon. Not torpedo. Torpedoes are different from a harpoons, like subtly. There are certain differences between the two. Like it is extraordinarily subtle, but I, I'm an experienced angler and I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. Boom! Screw you. Right, don't know. I didn't want trouble with you. I didn't, but if you insist, you have to die. Okay, you know what? Three more of them apparently is I also need to keep killing them. Like, the game just never gets bored of me killing those guys. Also, there's a real lack of oxygen here. There's the sawfish. So now we're down. So I think this is like officially mid-ocean we're in right now. And I think, yeah, if I keep going down too much further at this point, I'll reach the dark region I can't do anything with. Uh, just some salt. You do indeed get salt from the ocean. Story checks out. That's true. But yeah, I, my gun's not really in a good place right now. I don't really want to tangle with the uh, the big fish fish. Yes. There we go. Oxygen canister. That'll do. Very nice. Kind of needed that. That was a bit of a lack of oxygen I've been running into so far. And I'm definitely about to have to do some crafting with uh, some gun upgrades for the sniper rifle, etc. So may as well grab scrap metal because I'm pretty sure that's what that does. Okay, uh -huh. limestone cave. Except, no, limestone cave only was going into because that had the, the jellyfish in it. But, like, I've already got the jellyfish. So let's just get my boost down over here. And then, no, no, no. Get you. How much I should need to be in here? A golf club. Excellent. I'm pretty sure that's more damage than what I've got right now, even though it's like a golf club versus, you know, a sword. But yeah, 8 to 10. There we go. I've now got a golf club. Beautiful. But I'm pretty sure I don't need to be in here. Uh, this, this was for, like, getting the ingredients. I'm just going to get out of here in a hurry. The, no, people are saying the boat is around there. Oh, the boat like, might be around here. For, for this guy. All right. Fair oh, enough. Yeah. Just get down over to here. Get down. And I've got plenty of O2 for the time being. So if you just stay out of the Spiky various heads. currents, yeah. you're fine. This dumb, incredibly dumb golf thing. No. 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 No, no, out. Okay, that, that the whole staying out of the, the whole staying out of the thing didn't work very well. Okay, wait for this to go away, and then we'll just zip over to the, zip over to the safe spot over here, which I can use as a launching off point for getting up a little bit. All right, stay up here. Assuming there's any reason to be over here. Is there, is there anything up here at all, or is this literally a dead end? Just a dead end. Okay, that's fine. Just get down over here. Also, I've used up my, my thing now, but that's fine. Just keep on moseying down. Wait for the thing to go past. Then check down the bottom. Though I think it looks like there's nothing in here. I think this, this feels like a dead end. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Right, I need to go deeper. We need to go deeper. As soon as this goes away. And that'll be enough to get me there. Can you kind of you can use it a little bit. Mosey on down deeper. There and go. there we go. And my precious least Chan, bring it to me. Finish your mission. Oh, I feel like. So uh oh. No, no. The Kraken also wants the anime figurine. Okay. She just spit into the unfathomable depths. Some form of giant life form. Please go and retrieve her. Besides, the doors of the ship are all locked. I can't get inside. Uh, Okay. I'll provide you with my secret weapon, the gas cutter. Come to the boat, will you? Okay. So uh, he's now given me the option to cut some new stuff open, which we will do, but only after we've caught our fish for the day. Now that we're down here. Sniper rifle! That's the second sniper rifle I found. So just one more will get me what I need. And are those guys the white travelies? Time to find out. Yeah, yes. white travelies. And those are the ones I want, right? Right, yes, because you've uh, upgraded the, the recipe. Yeah, the recipe. Uh, bang! And uh, YX. You know what? It's literally just a, a check to make sure you get the thing. What are you, by the way? 
much if I've got you guys plus. That's yeah. a white travelly right there. Yeah, while I'm literally passing by, I'm just going to go white travelly hunting. Because there's no reason not to. And why, why? Lovely. You don't even need to be in the right order as well. You can just do it in any order. Which yeah, is you don't nice. need to, like... Uh, you don't need to be hammer. Ooh, that's a big, big shark. That is a bigger shark than I'm familiar with. Oh, oh that looks like a mean shark. Well, it certainly does look like it's got a lot of teeth. I feel like I don't necessarily want that gold chest that much. I'd like it to go away. I'm just like I'm just gonna keep it very much in the corner of the screen. I'd like it to leave. I'd like it. Do you don't, I don't think it's it's not coming for me though, obviously. It's definitely not coming for me. I mean I would hide more, but I mean I've got a sniper rifle. Do you have a sniper rifle? <laughs> Go away, buddy. Oh, I think he's going away. I think he just wandered off. Oh, oh. Bye, 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 bye. I saw you now. No, no, it's just, just me. Just, just a La Crozet. Hide in the La Crozet. With the turmeric. Turmeric? Why is the R not pronounced? Are you asking me to explain the pronunciation of things in English? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lure him into this cave and then I'm going to outwit him. Bang! Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's outwit right. Outwit him how? By sneaking past him. There we go. Because, oh, there's ammo in here. Okay, wait, Am. Bang! Go! Bang! Oh, completely missed. Bang! Bang! I'm out of ammo. Because you missed. Yeah, but he's wanted off. Look, look, he's running. Look, he's running. Who's the cocky king of the sea now? It's me, as it turns out. He's running. He's own of mind. He's not running. He's not running. He's not. He's not running. 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 No, 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 no. Hit him. Hit him with a thing. Hit him with a thing. And what? 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 Did you punch him in his nose? But, what the hell was that? I don't know, but don't mind me. Don't, I just no, 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 no. Just uh, I'm just trying to. Okay, he he hurts. He hurts quite a lot when he hits. I think I've decided to, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I've decided I don't want to mess. But yeah, you don't have like a health meter. And uh, just oxygen. So, it's so just much, oxygen. Yeah, as long as you find more oxygen somewhere else. And I have some spare oxygen. But there's more there oxygen we go. Over there's here. more oxygen right here. I just here. need more gun ammo. I just need more gun ammo. And then you can come back. And then I can uh... just come back and mess him up. Just, just if, I, if I could just find another ammo box, that's the that's part of the limestone cave because the color changes when you go yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the limestone cave. I just need to find another thing of ammo. Then we come back and we mess him up. All right, that's that's all we do. That's the plan. There's an orange. Uh, there is an starfish. orange, which is nice. I think we, we must be getting close to as many. Yeah, that's go. all the ones that we needed. Nice. Unfortunately, we're lacking a bit on the old ammo front today. You can definitely, yeah, you can get down to the to the dark level on, I think, the far right or the far left of the level. That's an oxygen top up over here. Like, you'd think a clam would give you pearls, or at least video games tell me that's true. But no, oxygen. They, they just contain oxygen. Feels weird to me. That just feels wrong. But apparently... And just more no, oxygen, unfortunately. Two. No, there's just there's just no ammo. No ammo. It's just oxygen. So the shark gets to live. Uh because I've chosen to allow him to live. I am no other reason. I am kind and generous. Like naff off. Naff naff off. Naff off. Naff off. Naff off. Naff off. There we go. I killed a great barracuda, which apparently I'm supposed to do. Because Tennis racket. Strong knockback. Damage 10. You should uh, test it on the shark. There we go. Ammo, 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 ammo. <laughs> okay, that was very funny. Okay, so you can just basically say, hey, 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 you're, 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 you're a puffer fish. Never mind, now I'm... Now I'm... Go away. I quite like that. Do you have a poison resist brace on? Oh, no, Not that's... that I can put on. Well, now I want to put on... Now I want to go and hit the shark with a tennis racket. Now that you've got ammo as well. Yeah, exactly. 
And where was that oxygen I saw a second ago? It was further down than this, wasn't it? I swear I saw another. There it was. Oh, when you see that white crescent, uh, like, uh, that was around the shark before. Yeah. Uh, what did that mean? Yeah. Yeah, you should move it until it gets small and becomes a quick time event prompt. Move it how? Like, just wiggle it around? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. That's what Kay said. When John sees the white crescent, he should move it until it gets small and becomes a quick time event prompt. Just keep wiggling it till it till it shrinks, Apparently, and eventually when yeah. it shrinks, it becomes okay. Oh, there was also ammo right there. There was right ammo right there, which is fine because that means bang, bang, and dive out of the way. Bang, missed. That's fine. That's fine. Well, I don't actually want to waste a good ammo on you, to be perfectly honest. I'm just going to go in with a tennis racket. Bang, bang. Get around you. Bang, bang. Yep. Yeah. That's right. Well, okay, he kind of... You know what? I feel like just let him go. Just let him go. I've got the oxygen. Swim on. Where's my shark friend? My shark friend where's was... Where's the big boy? Yeah, where's big chappy? Hopefully he's and not... And did he replenish his entire health bar? Bang! And bang! Oh! What? Awesome! Ba -ba -ba -ba. King of the sea! Nice. That's my oxygen. Right, I'll just be helping myself to the great white soup as Tiger, tiger Shark. shark I feel like a Tiger kilos. Shark's that big? I don't know, but uh, hey. you should check your inventory because I'm sure you've picked up some heavy stuff. Cause, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm quite, quite, quite overweight at the minute. Uh, I might be just dump the trigger fish. That's never that useful. Those two are never that good. But okay, we got obviously we want the Trevely, though. I'll dump the Trevely I shot. Because that's got like nothing in it. Oh, the barracuda. The barracuda is seven kilograms for one portion of food. Now the tiger shark is fifteen a go, but it's five portions and it's got to be good shit. Yeah. Like surely that's the good shit. Yeah, that's fine. I know I'm a little bit over right now, but it's not like too far over. And I've got plenty of options. So I want to say I just need to swim until I find like an emergency, an emergency exit McJibble. And if I can pick up like a, the odd white trevally on the way out, I'll, I'm happy to take it. To be honest, that's absolutely fine. Oh, aren't you supposed to do something with them? With the what? The boat. I'm supposed, no, I'm supposed to go back to my boat to get the, the welder because I don't have it right now. I've got to be given it by the chappie. Oh, that makes more sense. So I'm pretty sure if I go up, that will get me back into the limestone cave. And then if I just swim to the top of the cave, that should take me back to where I was before. The problem is I'm now slow, which is going to cause problems in getting past the thing because I'm massively overweight right now. So I just need to be a little bit careful that I don't get blown into the McJibbles. That's where I left the katana. So that's fine. Then we just swim up. I can still just get past and I've got nice. plenty of oxygen. I don't think the oxygen goes down There's faster. There's an emergency escape. Ah, and I can just use the emergency escape. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, well, whilst you uh, yeah, do go, that, go, shout go. out to the book 778 who came in with a first donation of the live stream as ever. Of and course. gave us five pounds. Uh, it says, good evening all. I'm looking forward to this. Hopefully the stream will be just as chill as the video. Absolutely. Aside from the bit where I just had to hunt down a tiger shark with a sniper rifle and hey there was a thing about depressurization mm -hmm. somebody asked about that in chat earlier and yeah. uh yeah it's just a little kind of thing it's basically just a fake loading screen but yes so okay yeah but i mean it's nice that it gets a mention okay. it's true I mean. so okay i've been rewarded with the ability mm -hmm. to do something yeah the uh, lays chan rescue mm -hmm. mission here's the okay. gas cutter you'll see a spot you can cut into when you reach the ship there'll be a button mm -hmm. prompt cut the weak point into the ship you'll be able to enter the mm -hmm. ship Retrieve, excuse me, retrieve the box. And then it should be simply, there's literally a Kraken in there. It's extremely dangerous. You mean you say it's okay for Lee's Chad to expire in the darkness? This mission must not be delayed a moment longer. And he's just like, yeah, okay, fine. I mean, you say so, so I guess that's how it is. Um, okay. So we got the tiger shark. Sweet. Obviously, we can send those straight to the fish tank. So we've got plenty of good meat for tonight. And that grotty charm is about to become... Proper dolphin necklace. Increased dash speed by 30%. Nice. That's huge. Oh, yeah. 100%. So... Oh, yeah. And being overweight capacity only slows you down. You don't consume extra oxygen. Yeah, so... that's what I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. So, wait. What happened to the... Well, you can only have two at the same time. Yeah, it's weird that it auto put that new one on, though. So survive for a certain period of time after running out of... You know what? I think I'd rather keep the health and the thing. Because I've, yeah. not, I've not run out of oxygen once. Like, I've come close-ish a couple of times. But, like, I think I'm happy. 
with those two. I think that's the. And when I next time I die of oxygen, you know, immediately in a moment, that's going to be the moment where <laughs> yes, I, exactly. I, it's going to happen straight away. Um, ah, is that is that symbol meaning you can now sell this? Is this, is that the symbol meaning hey you can just sell this? That little is it an E? I think or a euro or a tiny pound, tiny stylized pound. Yeah, I'm not sure. Please let us know in I the chat. I mean, no, that means no. It's equipped. That means this is an item you have currently got oh, equipped. God. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fine. So okay, that's absolutely fine. I don't want to sell him any of that for the time being. In that case, so yeah, it's the afternoon slot. So in which case, yeah, we could just go straight back down to the delivery ship door because I think the shuffle happens. I think it happens overnight. I think if I go down now, the fish might be a bit randomized, but the layout will be the same, meaning I know how to get straight back down to the shipwreck. So, in which case, let's do it. All right. Uh, and as we go down, shout out to Major Wes Jansen, who's been a member for eight months. Uh, and says, good afternoon to Claire, Teddy, and John. Glad Claire. to see this as a live stream. Any chance, sir, that Stardew Valley will return as a stream option? It might do at some point. It's not planned dimly. There's uh, there's a few bits of pieces we want to do. And we are taking next week a little bit off. There's no stream next week. It's because well, Claire and I have been on holiday. I'll uh, explain precisely what that will mean uh, for the channel at the end of this stream. And speaking of Stardew Valley, shout out to Spontaneous Compulsion, who's been a member for nine months. Uh, and says, this game scares me. It looks like Stardew Valley levels of addiction. It is a little bit like... It, yeah. it's, it's, there's so much stuff going on, which is quite delightful. There's just a huge amount of things that are constantly occurring and need to be taken care of. So Ooh, the shipwreck is always roughly in the same spot, regardless regardless of layout. Thank yeah, you, Mark, that makes sense. for uh, pointing that out. Right, so we've just shot the power fish. We may as well shoot him on the way past. That is a long distance underwater scooter. And can we? You know, I'm just happy to shoot you because there's literally ammo right here. And it doesn't matter that you shoot these guys because any fish that you harvest, it doesn't matter how they die, the quality appears to be the same. I oh, think. Okay. Or at least, like, they don't go down to one star at the bare minimum. So, okay. I've got a weapon box right over here. But yeah, this looks the same. I think the, the, the shuffle of the... The shuffle of the landscape, I think, happens overnight. I think. I think. So, yeah, just keep on keeping on. You need to go down, I'm afraid, because I just need to... I want to get that box, please. Thank you. May as well grab you. We've got plenty of uh, storage capacity right now. Open that. That's a secondary sub. Uh, the sub will just help me get down deeper and faster. There's, yeah, there's that guy in exactly the same position. This should be the limestone cave. May as well drop the box on my way past. So we'll just go down here. Is this, yep, limestone cave. We're, we're on target. Let's just wait for that to go away. Straight down. Crack you open. If we're lucky, yeah, there is that golf club. I like the golf club. Uh, stay in the corner. Oh, and you can uh, test your new uh, extra sprinting speed. That's true. Though, actually, at the moment, I'm, I've currently got nothing but uh, speedy up things anyway. So I'm already I'm already ludicrously fast. And don't know. Wait for that to go. Wait. Wait to go. Straight down. And this should be, yeah, straight out the bottom. And if it's the same, yeah, the yeah. boat is in roughly the same situation. Ah, so, all right. shows you the spot. And there's the spot. So, yeah, this was also close by to... Yeah, there's also a weapon crate. This might be a weapon upgrade. Or something else. That's the sniper rifle. Okay, that is now the ability we've now got to... Um, I can now just craft that permanently and I can just start with nice. it. Because that's the third one I found. So, that's good. So, okay. Use the gas cutter. And... Turn on the cutter, use left stick to move, keep your movements inside the circle. Okay. Okay, this is... It's okay. There's no actual, there's no wiggle by the Luke's of it. Let's get over to here. Yeah, I think it stays perfectly still, which is good. Uh, everything has got a really little mini game, which is quite pleasant. Though I don't like seeing this, because I feel like the tiger shark sneaking up on me right now. Ah! Then it's just speeding up a little bit. What a dick. What a dick. Right here. Right. Then it slows down a little bit. And also there might also there is like a kraken inside. Let's not forget there's a kraken inside. Perfect. And uh, I was in too much of a hurry to tell you how to use it. You figured it out. Going through the open door. 
Oh, I love it. You sense a dangerous creature's presence. What? Yeah, we knew that already. Don't like this. This this might be like boss number one. All right. The space seems large and expected to take a look around. Under sunken ship. Oh, that's cool. So now it's like... Oh, like... Okay, I've like... Yeah, I've gone through the ship into an entire network of caves beyond it. Which is fun. I which think. makes sense. So, okay, I do not need to ammo or auction right now. So save those. I know there's ammo and auction waiting for me at the start. Uh, together with, if I were to want it, a, a triple axle, but that's a level two triple axle. I'll keep the sniper rifle for now. I feel like if I'm taking on a big scary boss, potentially being able to nail a very what's, specific uh, weak point. What's what? What's that red thing like in the corner right here? I don't know, you know. It looks like a... Oh, I thought it looked interactable. My Old bad. stick. Old stick, I'm afraid. Ah. Just a stick, Claire. Just a stick. So, all right. Keep on keeping on. Have a bit of a loosey roundy. Head in deeper. Oh, that's another bit of the ship. Oh, I don't like... Oh, that's a bit of the Kraken. Don't like this. I'm not sure you can shoot it, though. Ah, hi, it's moving. We have to do something. No, shoot it in the eye. It's got a really big eye. Okay, there's the pink delivery box. Wait, where? Oh, yes, right there. Look at the giant squids. Okay. Seems to be asleep. Sneak up. I guess I'll try approaching quietly. How? Swimming slow. There's no slow swimming in this game. Like... It doesn't matter whether you tap the analog fully in or anything. You just sort of okay. Never mind. Giant squid! Da 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 Okay, I've been I've been squidged away. Okay, it's awake, I need to get back. Dave, don't tell me you're gonna check it out. Use the gun I gave you. Okay. Here we go. Activate gun. I, this isn't a gun you gave me. I'm going to be honest. This is an unrelated gun. Right. Shoot it in the eye. Obviously the eye. Bang. Yeah. It's not going to like being shot in the eye. Bang. Oh. Didn't, that didn't work. And it pushes me straight back out again. Alright. Well, we've got spare ammo. We've got... Oh. Okay. It's attacking me from all sorts of different angles. It pushes me out. That's going to get me some speed. If need be. So, yeah, if I'm worried about... Yeah, that's indicating it's about to pop out. And... Boom. That seems to have annoyed it. Okay, it's co oh. it's covering up its... Uh, wait, does that let me get the box? Can I get the box while it's doing that? Uh, ow! The answer is no. The answer is definitely no. The answer is no, 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 no. Okay. You, you but, I mean, I guess that is fine. There's definitely... There's a lot of oxygen. There is plenty of oxygen. I was wondering whether I could just get the thing there. So, okay, comes up to the oxygen, which is also functionally health. There's more, and there's plenty of ammo. Okay. I think the sniper rifle was the right pick for this area. And also go over to, yes, my long-range speed boost. Okay, go, 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 go. I need to wait for it to... But what angle are you going to do that? As soon as he's done doing his thing, eventually he needs to... Actually, if he moves to attack me with his thing, then... Hey there. Oh! Bang! Gotcha! Got ya! And now he's going to push me out of this area. Yep, fine. Okay. So if he covers his eye, I've got to bait him by getting close enough that he attacks me. And that way, I could, yeah, like, get attack him. Okay, get over here. Use my boost to just get fast back in. And he's going to cover his eye, but if I get close enough, he's going to try and attack it. And that's the exact moment I need to activate slow-mo. And bang! Got ya. That's three hits. I'm hoping that might be enough for him to say, yeah, not so bad. I mean, yeah. And, oh! There's a sea person. And a second sea person. That's the sea person that the... Uh... Got kidnapped in the cutscene. Yeah. Hello! No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a good not sea person. Mm. Oh, wait, no, no. They probably don't call themselves sea people, do they? They're people. They call me land... Okay. I can do this. Like, hello, I'm a land person, as you can see. Uh, or an you air person. Do you think they call us air people or land people? I 
think a land person sounds too much like landlord. <laughs> no, I could do with that actually. Say like, hello. I, I'm I'm one of the landlords. Hello. It's like Time Lord, but like without the time travel. It's like Time Lord, but everybody hates it. Yes, exactly. We're those seamen right now. What do you mean? All I can see is the big delivery box. Bring it back here. It's a waiting rescue. Oh my god. There we go. Right, just go. Like. Grab that. Oh. Box is pinned under a tentacle. I wonder if it's edible. Nice. Okay. I mean, I was assuming you hadn't killed the squid and it had just... Yeah, I assumed we'd fight, we'd fight it later or something. That's the one. Bring it back up to the boat. I'm so relieved. And... I'm not sure we actually... I didn't see us receiving any squid meat, even though we definitely cut the thing. What? And there's Lace Chan. It right mentioned there. it, so it has to be. Presumably so. There's salt water yeah. everywhere. I'll clean you up. Here okay. comes laser. There we go. Okay, a promise is a promise. Here's the deep sea headlamp. Good. So now we can actually get down to the... I think that the... Uh, I've seen an access point to the very bottom of the right of the ocean. I don't know if there's another one. But I know that's where that is. So, all right. We've rescued them. And I did bring this. What would we do? That? Ah, the giant squid tentacle. Smells awful. Not to be used to cook with. Uh, I'll give Blancho a call. Well, that seems reasonable. And there we go. Sniper rifle. We can now have a permanent sniper rifle, which I actually quite like. I just like the accuracy and range of it. And yeah, we picked up a, a tiny bit of, um, yeah, a uh, parrotfish. So we can always put that on the menu, which is good. Uh, so, okay. We've got that. Do we have... Oh, we've got a new thing. A giant squid tooth. Now, that's marked as an N. Does an N mean this is sellable? Like, two... To somebody? Does that mean who we're selling it to? Like, well, this guy's Cobra. That's not N. Uh. N means new. Oh, that just means no. Okay. Thank you, next gen. Right, uh, I see. And let's see. People are saying, yeah. What? What would the sea people uh, call us? Uh, da, 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 da. Air person. Oh, air but... walker. We can now make the sniper rifle. Oh my goodness, now he's got his thing. He's actually doing a separate, more anime style thing. Wasn't he doing that before? Not, no, he previously got like electro gloves out. That was the, now that he's got the figurine back, it's more anime style, which is delightful. Uh, but people are saying it's a material you uh, want to keep it. If it's a sellable, it will say it's a sellable in the item description. That's fair and reasonable. Now you're, you're going to have to read the item descriptions, John. I don't do that. I know. You know I don't do that. I do know that. You're aware I don't do that. There's do 20 research that. points for that. I can start turning in more and more research shells. Okay, uh, show me what it is that you need to find for research, because... Uh, uh, I need to find a handful more pink shells that are down in the shells. second level. A whole bunch of the uh, agar, agar, which is, yeah, which is everywhere. You sometimes you see and sometimes you don't. Kill jellyfish and kill barracudas and tiny fish. What about the fish. fossils? I've seen, I've found one. Sometimes you just see them around. Yeah, yeah, but I'm asking you to show them to me so that I can look for them with my perception. Yeah, and that's it. And there's just an, a leg of the skull. Mm. All right. And that will get me a poison resist bracelet if need be. So, okay, that's... I've never seen a non-anime game that's so obviously made by weebs before. <laughs> Oh dear, and yes, we need plenty more followers before we're ready for gold, dear I flip. And we need more best taste recipes, but I think the white travelly recipe that we've got... I think it's not, not the number taste. of recipes, I think it's like you need to get a recipe up to 125, and we're already close to that. Oh. So honestly, it's just a question of just getting a giant pile of followers at this point, so that's fine. So, all right, that's all fine with that. The weapon shop is fine. The to-do list is, yeah, we, we should now be ready to do a giant squid dish. And also, we've got everything we need for the VIP oh. challenge. So, I think we're fine to that's turn so in. That's so cute. Yes. Cooper says, wait, does this mean Claire gives John a perception bonus as his active companion? <laughs> that actually makes sense, yeah. So, when I'm traveling with Claire, I spot more things to represent the fact Claire's just telling me about them. Although, wait, how do I... 
Oh, I need to, sorry, I need to call Blanco before I can go. Yes, they did say that. Hello, Blanco. Sorry, Banco. I call him Blanco every time. I don't know why. So we defeated the giant squid. I can bring you the whole, I can't bring you the whole thing. I cut off a tentacle. And the ammonium chloride helps it float, gives an awful stench. It's very tough and difficult to cook. I think we'll be offering it to our customers. Uh, why don't we close up shop for the day and hold a party with this? Why? I'm not really sure that's how restaurants work, but I mean, I, I guess. Sure. Fine. I, I I was looking forward to running the restaurant. We've got like people. We've got like we've got staff coming in to like audition. But okay, fine. I, hope, I really hope the staff are still available to be hired the day after. It'd be really annoying now if I miss the chance to hire staff just because there isn't a service tonight. It'd be very irritating. Everyone's been waiting. We finished all the cooking. When did everyone arrive? I feel like this wasn't really a party for me. I feel like this was a party. Oh, you have to talk to everybody. Then. Oh, no. But not the cat. Why is there an objective to pet the cat? <laughs> Boo, I say. Party with customers. Uh, been lots of progress. Very good. Uh, and restaurants put their customers first. Excellent. <laughs> And I was also here from the beginning. Yes, you were very noticeable. Wow! Oh, dear. People say things like, he poured me hot green tea. He was friendly. He looked busy. Customers are recognizing your hard work. Oh, well, that's nice. Excellent. It's thanks to... Oh, people are actually acknowledging me. That almost feels weird in this game. I kind of want people to not acknowledge me. I want Dave to be like the biggest, just a great big doormat loser. So, yes, all right. but people are recognizing that, like, you need doormat losers to make the world... Okay, that's not the right way of phrasing it, but you know what I mean. Yes. All right. The word's getting around. He's in a good mood. Look at the squid tentacle. Magnificent. People will flock here. And, yes, aren't we eating it because we can't serve it to customers? Uh, oh, well, never mind. I'm sure we'll figure out how to cook it down the line or something. And about the depths. I've got a feeling there must be something down there. Yeah, I've got the light. We can actually go down there next service, which is quite delightful. So, okay. The place will be famous and filled with people. When this happens, we'll make tons of money. Let's get rich together. Right, Dr. Bacon. I met some more sea people. I saw sea people. You really saw them. And not dugongs. What do they look like? Were they dressed? They resemble humans. Basically, just just mermaids. Hi, Ted. Ted's upside down oh. and wiggling. He's upside down and wiggling. Oh, I'm going to go pet him. You should from go the pet chat. the tummy. So okay, decided to be scared them away. Couldn't get a good look. That's too bad. Could have been an amazing find. That's Ted's tail battering against the sofa there in the background. Because he started wagging as soon as I told He's him how He's very much the happy. So, okay, that's where the signal is strongest. Maybe there's even a village. Yes, they have artifacts, mirrors, a language, beings with a unique civilization. So, okay, we need to get down there and figure out where they live. And finally, Franco. So, an ingredient is difficult to handle. Suppressing the stench allowing me to reach its essence. And you're still studying. Good work today, bringing that back. It's difficult to sort of prepare, but that's part of the fun. How does it taste? The food's always been great, but today is even more spectacular. Since there was a lot of it, I made different dishes. I thought we would be able to offer these to customers. Uh, since we know into the path of a chef, it's a fortunate thing to have a path to pursue. So, okay. That's... I have no idea what you mean, but I'll bring back additional fish. There we go. Well, that's lovely. And now I just get to pick up a beer and have a nice beer. Excellent. So, okay. Dave just gets to have a nice evening off. That's lovely. So, just toast everyone. Did I actually get to have any squid myself? Or did they, like, eat the squid before I got here? Because I'm not seeing myself eating the squid, which is kind of a shame. Oh! Oh, shit! It's the eco-warrior! Oh, shit! He's got a grenade launcher! Okay, I feel like at some point the, 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 the restaurant's going to be exploded. And it's D-Day. I need to finish gathering the ingredients by today. But I've literally already got them. So that's absolutely fine. So Dr. Bacon. Obviously you want me to go down below and find the McJibbles. So okay. And what precisely do you want me to do? And take the DC head yeah, take the deep sea headlamp. Fine. And go down into the depths. I'm pretty sure that's on. Yeah, if you go over to the right of the ocean. Then go straight down. I think that's the right direction. So okay. You have to enhance your diving suit. And don't worry. I've done that already. We are 100% fine. He just stop vomiting in the ocean. I swim in that. He just vomited in the ocean and then swam away. What a dick. 
It's an absolute wait, deck. Wait, who did? Dr. Bacon. <laughs> just threw up in the ocean and it's just floating there now and I don't appreciate Ew. it. Don't appreciate this. Okay, so I've got my sniper rifle, which is beautiful. Uh, let's see if you happen to be selling anything particularly of note. Uh, can I make my gun better? Cargo box, scooter. Honestly, not spectacular. I'm happy to just let that be. Right, into the vomit-stained water. Lovely. I've already got the ingredients. So yeah, it's disgusting. Going to the depths is the absolute bare minimum today. And I'm pretty sure I need to mosey on round two. Yeah, just mosey to the right and this downwards. I'll be in the right position if I see the basic, like, top-level shark who may or may not be in that area. Though, of course, you know, the dolphins may be here. Who, yeah, they are monsters. But on the other hand, oh, something's happening. Oh, oh, that's the Echo Warrior. The Echo Warrior? The Echo Warrior. Echo Warrior. Sorry. Wait, it's John Watson. So it was you. You've been harming the ocean. You even vomited. You just No, that was Dr. Bacon. Shoot him, not me. It was the scientist. Shoot the scientist. I have no more time for your petty excuses. Now you've been caught by John Watson of Sea Blue. Guardians of the Sea. You'll be leaving so easy. I'll turn you into fish food. Okay, but I've got a sniper rifle. Oh, but he's got a grenade launcher. I mean... I feel like you're doing who's more... destroying the ocean now! Oh, my Poseidon! This is not your fault. I did this to the precious sea. You're the one shooting bombs. I wanted to catch a few fish. Why don't you look into fishing vessels responsible for catching thousands of fish? Not individual divers. Enough flapping. I'll shut that yapper of yours. Here goes! You're going to toss more... He's going to toss more bombs at me! Okay, here we go. 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 I've got, I've got a sniper rifle. And... Bang! Wait. He's blowing up so much of the ocean. Oh. Wait. And bang. Okay. Now the problem is, can I... I can harpoon him. I need to get more ammo. And he's angry about something. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Okay. Back to this. And bang. He's got like a special magic McJibble. And I think we've got him. Yeah. Sniper rifle makes pretty short work of him. There we go. You. I mean, I'm glad he didn't grenade launch up my restaurant. Which is good. Which is good news. And. No, stop blowing up the ocean. Stop it. Your one thing is you don't harm the ocean. That should serve as adequate warning. So I'll back away for now to protect the environment. But I won't let you go unpunished if you persist in damaging the ocean. We're watching you. What's that? Is that his secret base? Path has opened up in the direction of his mm. escape. Let's go that way to reach the signal. Mm. I thought we didn't need to, but okay, fine. Apparently we can. Right, well, in which case... Let's see if the stuff he has exploded has turned into collectibles, though. And we've got improved sniper rifle, which also automatically fills up your gun, which is excellently good news. Well, it feels like it's got to be the right way if he was here today. So, and bonus oxygen, good. Good, good, good. Right, I'm going to follow him. Maybe the ocean, actually, the ocean might be, like, locked up today. It could have given me a special ocean. It's kind of a notice. There's no other way to get down. Yeah, it's given me a special, I think we've got a special uh, ocean today. But the ammo? I don't need it. The gun's already full. Oh, sure. You can't store it? No. Oh, well. It doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Yeah, this was, like, he. this is the only way to get to the rest of the ocean. So, okay, that's what's happening. So, all right, just need to mosey on down the right direction. Look for any crates, particularly weapon crates, we're just passing by. So, Claire, how's everything for you? Yeah, everything's good. Uh, shout out to Silver Iron, who's been a member for nine months, uh, and says, uh, good evening all, time to go fishing! Done straight. Indeed. Uh, the Great Loud Lobster... Very apt username there. Excellent uh, The name. Great Loud Lobster uh, has been a member for 23 months uh, and says, Darn you for making me buy 20 minutes uh, until dawn. Just got the water gun. Also my cats, Sasha and Patrick. Thank you for the new Attack Dad's screen game. The Oh, yes, yes, I see what you mean, mm. lol. And oh, while I'm dear, passing dear. by, yeah. I will happily say hello to one of you guys. The rest can just be done with a knife. Oi, oi, I need to get a better thing, really. But you've got to be ready to die. You're already bleeding. Yeah, there we go. 
grab you and just keep on moseying off to the right and find our way down that way. Clap. Ah, Cobra sells ammo and refills you can carry. Yeah. It's like, yeah, one of the LB items. That's interesting. Yeah. And there's a shock bang stick. So that's a stun, yeah, a stun melee, which is pretty good. Uh, and let's see, shout out to the book 778 again, who's been a member for five months. Uh, and says a little fact, SCUBA is an acronym for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. You know what? I didn't know that. Also, SCUBA gear was used to make uh, Darth Vader's breathing device. That? I didn't know that, but it doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Because, um, oh, whatever it's called, like the, the way that people make noises in, in film and TV is yes. always super interesting. Yes. Oh, oh, okay. Wait. There's a big shark here who, honestly, I've not got much trouble with, but basically screw him. And bang. And now I'm kind of out of ammo, but that's fine because I've got an electric bang stick. Get out of the way. And bang. Bang. Bang, 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 and I've electrocuted the shark's death. Well, may as well take your head, because uh, it always sells out, and it just makes excellent, it just it just makes excellent money. Always sells out, people love it. it it's good for Twitter to murder sh I'm, I'm going to be honest, John Watson has a point. Like, it Yeah, I feel like we're going to get cancelled. <laughs> I feel the like the restaurant's going to get cancelled. I feel like the point where you basically go underwater, like, you know, my character's like, well, why, why are you picking on me? I'm just a diver. It's like, yes, but you are a diver who went underwater with a sniper rifle and, like, you know, an, an electric stun baton and then used it to murder a shark that you're then going to serve the head of at your restaurant. Like, in a way, yeah. that's kind of bad. Like, I kind of get where John Watson's coming from then. Like, you know, he's, he's kind of got a bit of a point. Under the circumstances. Dear, oh dear. Clap while well, I mosey on my way down. I'm pretty sure I'm now on the right, like, oh, yes, channel. Folly. It's called Folly Sounds. Folly. Folly? Yeah. What's called Folly? The, the way that they make uh, sounds in movies. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Ah, the white traveller got away. That's fine. I'm not going to hunt it down today. I'm just going to keep moving in the right direction. Uh, I'm never going to come back this way, so I'm just going to mess with absolutely top of function while I'm literally passing by. Now I'm entering the limestone cave, but honestly I'm okay with that, because clearly I'm going in sort of the right direction. I think if I go all the way over to the right, I can sort of bypass that. That automatically tops up my sniper rifle, and my sniper rifle's at three. I'm okay with the sniper rifle. I'm actually okay with it. And I will absolutely help myself to lead. I'm going to be needing that for crafting a gun at some point. So alright. Deeper and deeper. Clap. Uh, yes, shout out to Gary, uh, who uh, has been a member for 18 months, uh, and says, Hello, everybody. Did you best Darth Vader last week? I went to bed, but we I'm still did. on the same fight, and I can't beat him. We did, and we did it without turning down the um, the difficulty. We were considering doing it. We, we were like, like one we were one death away from doing it, and then we, did, we didn't have to, which was delightful. So, okay, get the sea grapes, get that, keep going further and further down, and myself to that, uh, hang on, that's a long distance scooter for a long distance scooter, yep, may as well just top it up to the full, the fully charged one, and now if we keep going down, we should be getting very close by to the new area, so okay, there's a final oxygen top up before we get to what I assume is the, oh, hang on! But, hello. That's Hi. the barracuda. You're a barracuda. You need to die. Nice. One more of them needs to go down as well. Uh, any more for any more around here? Guys, I mean, we're clearly in like the right space for a barracuda. And more orange. That's the swordfish or the saw, saw shark or whatever. Hey, buddy. And that's no, not you. I want you come along with me because you make a very good delicious pie get you up to maximum nice that was nice yeah that was a nice easy just button mash up and oh i feel like you know about him. no bye 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 no trouble no trouble buddy i don't want to fight you today i don't really want to fight you i mean there's literally some oxygen right next to where that fish is yeah and he's does a good charge and bang 
Get out of the way. Oh! Nice catch. Right there with the harpoon at the end. See, so yeah, honestly, I've got so much that I'll, I'll take some of you. We're a little bit over right now. Wait, what? It's weighing me down. There shouldn't be that much weighing me down. Actually, no, I, do have, I do have the shark in the shark's head. I'll leave the, the, the time trigger fish because that's definitely dead. I think I also killed yeah, an angler fish. 5.5 kilograms. And no, not bothering with that. There we go. Now we're back inside normal normal capacity. Let's just leave a little bit more of uh, spare stuff, whatever's down below. Now, I'm pretty sure there was an oxygen canister over. Yep, yeah, more oxygen canister, which is good. We'll get ourselves topped up. And then we're going into what may be a whole new bio. Which be very exciting. So keep on keeping on. We need to say hi to the lovely, lovely. Here we go. This is it. For the first time ever, down to the lowest area, the blue hole depths. And. Yeah, auto light up. It's a bit creepy down here. I don't like it. I'm not sure about this. Like, I've been okay with this game's creepiness level so far, but like, now, now it's getting a bit. Now it's getting a bit creepy. Are you. Which one of these are background fish versus. No, you're not real. You look real. And no, 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 buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. You're coming in. You're coming. Okay, I need to upgrade my harpoon. Even the tiny fin little fish down here are resisting being harpooned quite aggressively. Buddy, come on. That's 40 down. Wow. 50. 60. 70. You're tiny. How do you have this much health? He's bleeding. He's bleeding. Go. Go. He's quite... He's really tough. And he's, and he's, he's got a lot of... He needs to be really... Blimey. A red green. He's not even that fancy. Like, for that much of a fight, I want him to be like, you know, a, a mega slaughter fish or something. Uh, yeah, there's something that wants to... UV light. Okay, flashlight that gives off a special kind of light makes tube worms hide. I feel like that's going to be important. Yes. So, okay. Red wiggly tentacles. We need to use them. Otherwise, we literally can't get past any of that. Help myself to blue seashell. But, was that? A new type that's of stuff. That's the worms down there. Mm. Yep, there we go. This must be the place. And tube worms are blocking the way. And don't worry, I'm one step ahead of you. We read the description. Yeah, we actually know what's going on. But before we go down there, let's see go what else. the other way. Check the oxygen. Check that. And we've got more down tube over worms. here. Yeah, more tube worms. And oh, more oxygen now. And let's, oh, hello. Something. It takes two to take out those bastards. And there's something nasty there. I don't know what you want. So I should get out of the way. Whatever it is, he's ready to attack me. Uh, that's not attractable. Put myself to everything on the way past. There's more oxygen. So as I've literally got more oxygen right here, I may as well just uh, use this and then pick up a new one. So, okay. Now, was it one single use or was it as many uses as I want? The UV light. Yeah. Go. Go. Oi. Go. Go. Let me through, 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 let me through. Let me through. Let me through. Let me through. Let me Gosh darn it. Okay, no, it recharges. It recharges. It recharges. Let me through. That's good, otherwise I would have been trapped between two of them. So okay. I've I've admittedly gone a bit the wrong way. But I'm okay with that. There's a there's a there's a there's a sign over there. Yeah, but I can't read it. It's in sea person. Yes, but it's just interesting that there's a sea person sign. I don't read. I can't read sea person, unfortunately. And nice. It's not entirely. Try swinging it anyway. Just do it. Done. There's a fish uh, right on the step below. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a trap fish. It's gonna it just lunges out if you get too close to it. Yes, I'm just saying you could whack it with a rubber chicken. I'm not sure the trap fish you can. Like this guy. 
Yeah, but this yeah. guy's real the, strong. You know what? He doesn't look as that guy doesn't look as nasty as like the the tiger shark. But I feel like he's going to be. I just feel like he's going to be anyway. Like I'm just getting those vibes. Ooh. Purple starfish, nice. Sooner or later, the uh, eco app's gonna want me to get that. And sea snake whip. Same damage as the rubber chicken, but poison effect too. Ooh, and, and it's just badass in general. Yes, just seems kind of badass. Okay, auction. It's topped up. Deeper and deeper down, and I can clearly see ammo. something down over here. It's ammo. Yeah. Out the way. There's something else here, though. I don't like it. Oh. Bang! Nope. It's, it's angry. It explodes. It's a self destructing jibble. And a fragment. Okay. Don't you have like a lot of fragments? I don't think so. Mm, you do. I uh, do I? Yeah. I don't. I don't recall seeing any such thing before. Well, look in your inventory. I can't right now. Oh. I'm in my. I'm, I'm underwater, so I can't check what's in the boat. I can only see what I've got on my person. You literally have some scrap on your person. That's scrap, not a fragment. No. Bye, stupid loser. A cookie cutter shark. So and now I'm over capacity. Okay, we need we, we can't be over capacity this deep down. It's dangerous. So okay, we need to we need to dump something that's heavy. Honestly, the red bream is ah, you know, it's the first one I've caught. I kinda wanna keep it. That's five kilograms for one thing. We'll 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 catch a better one down the line. Okay, keep on motion. I mean we're making some good Progress. Also, we're getting close to my depth limit. Uh, there is a, a like sea spider thing. I think it. Yeah, but it, it strikes me as it's stuck on the bottom. I'm not sure it can get to me if I just keep my distance. I mean, how's it going to get to me? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Swim. For a critical depth. That's fine. That is. I'm going to leave that. Okay, we can't go too much further down. A sniper rifle, which is already at grades, is in good shape. I can't really go much further down than what I am. Is your limit uh, 230? About 240. 240, I think. But like 230 is like critical, then 240, I think you're screwed, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, it's like your warning. So, okay, we're kind of coming up potentially from below. Although, possibly. I might I might need to go in the game. What the, I might need to go in the game the way the game wants me to go in. Potentially, so... Keep on keeping on. Yeah, we're towards the bottom. I know it's critical depth. I'm sure it's fine. I, I just want to get the treasure. Okay. It's a rubber chicken. The treasure was a rubber chicken. But also inside the critical depth, there's like oxygen. So we just get get up out of the way. Get up out of the way. And ooh. Weapon, weapon upgrade, you say. Not the crab. I'm sure the crab's fine. Hush darts. Boring. And I was on an upgrade, to be honest. Okay. We're now directly underneath the town of these bastards. Oh. Bye. Bye. And that means I get to keep you. Because otherwise you would have self-destructed. Yeah, but it's quite heavy. I do you do need that much? Do you need this much wood? Uh, the wood doesn't really weigh much, to be honest. I'm better off just dumping a little bit of parrot, a little bit of parrot fish. I'm still a little bit over even, so I'm carrying some big heavy. I'm carrying some of the big heavy stuff at the moment, to be honest. Uh, blibbly blibble. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind bringing home some samples of new stuff. I'm dumping some of the long nose. That'll get me to where I should be. And there's oh, there might be new ingredients down here that we've not seen before in the special undersea the crozet. Cat food. Cat food. Yes! But more important than anything else. Yeah, pretty much. Much more important than anything else. And can we actually get up this way? Yes, we can. Going in the right direction now. Okay, this is fine. And fortunately, I can go pretty fast thanks to my dolphin charm. Yeah, pretty fast thanks to dolphin charm. You're about to explode. Oh, hang on. Maybe it's only the red ones that explode. Maybe these guys just like Yeah, I don't you. think the white one exploded. Yeah, I think they just hunt you a little bit. Pickaxe! Woohoo! Really, oh, that's that's very bad. Very bad damage, though. I'd like to get the oxygen from that thing, but I feel like these guys are going to cause me trouble if I do. I mean, I'm, only, I'm, I'm getting close to approaching the sea people from the wrong angle right now. There's some just soy sauce. There's a fragment. Go, go, go. And. 
That looks important. I know, that did look interactable. I feel like I'm just doing this in the wrong order because I've refused to go the way the game told me to go. So I feel like we, we at some point need Apparently to... Apparently the pickaxe is important and you should pick it up. Where was the pickaxe? Did, did, did I leave it behind? Yeah, the pickaxe was on the right and down. It has a sharp point to combine even special minerals. Eww. Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe that bit needs the pickaxe. I can get through here. Except, wait, am I going the wrong... Have I now looped back to where I was previously? I'm not sure. And is this maybe a special... Is this pickaxe? No, that's... That's not pickaxeable. But is this... Is this pickaxeable? No, it's not. Lol. Okay, well, I'm guessing the pickaxe is important down the line. I've got a spare auction. I've got a spare... I've got a spare canister. Uh, John just sequence breaking the plot, trying to go five steps ahead. Lol, okay. You're in such the wrong area. You've not looked back yet. Okay, let's, let's, let's flip the it. The shiny thing is, is story related. You can't get to it yet. Okay, later. we'll loop back the way we came and stop trying to break the game, I guess. Oh, there's an electric... Uh... Yeah, I noticed. And I've got a spare road. Okay. So we're fine. Uh, right. Come back to you. Yeah, they would just need to loop. I need to... Oh, no, no trouble. No trouble, Mr. Crappy Crap. Uh, I think we just need to loop back well, round. Whilst you look yes. back, shout out to Zombie Clip. Zomb. Zombie Clips. Zombie Clips? Zombie Clips! Yeah, I feel like I that. really struggle with this one every time, but uh, they gave us 20 Swiss francs uh, and say, hey Ted! Woof! Woof! Sneeze! Woof! Yeah, I feel like the, the sneezes. Choo. Yeah. Woof! He definitely does a good Oh, there's another one. There's another one of these. Okay, so remember where these are. We might need these down the line for plot stuff. Yes. Still, we've got a whole uh, bunch of upgrades and stuff from this bit of the world, so that's nice. Uh, mainly, Mandy gave us $20 and says, uh, please get some treats for Ted with this money's nothing for John. Oh, wow, rude. Rude. I mean, do you disagree with the mandate to get some treats for Ted? Not really, but oh, hang on. How do I get back up again? I think I bypassed what I was supposed to go past. Uh, there's a... Oh, hello. Oh, there's a bomb. Sensor bomb trap. Cause a path explosion when the sensor detects a target within sensor range. I mean, I've got spare capacity for it right now. So, a, oh, hang on. This yes. looks like a... Yeah. Diamond. Nice. Well, diamond ore, to be precise. So, oh, oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't... Okay, I'm a little bit concerned all of a sudden because... um. Out of oxygen. Yeah, I'm kind of a little bit. I'm not fully out of oxygen. But, but I, I do... mean, do you not have a top up? No, and I can't remember where the where the way up precisely was. Like I've I've, I've looked a couple of places, but every time I've tried to find my way. Do you back... have a swim faster thing? No, I don't. Lol. Um. Wait, was it up here? Was this a? Uh... No, I've I've kind of lost where the. Somebody said to the left, but there is no more to the left. I I just came from the edge of the left. Okay. Um. So what happens when you die in this game? You teleport to the surface and you get to keep like one item with you. Now, this is definitely when I was going right before, but I don't see how to get back up from where I was. I genuinely... It's that people are saying left and up. I don't see the... I, I, you I don't have time. I thought I went as far left as... I thought I hit a wall on the left. I literally couldn't see it. Okay, well, we're, we're losing a few items. That's fine. We've discovered the way down. And we've defeated the we've defeated the guy, but I you, you've defeated uh, you've defeated the uh, actual. If only I had some form line. of necklace that let you survive slightly beyond running out of oxygen. Lol. If only such a thing existed, but it do, it's sad, sadly such a thing doesn't appear to exist. Oh well. Okay, you'll only be able to retrieve one item. 
Oh, you get to choose one. I get to choose that. That's nice. So, okay, what was like the best shit we we, we, we got here? Was anything imp the cat food? Cat food, yeah. We've saved the cat food. What does it even what else does why does anything matter? <laughs> just save the cat food. <laughs> We've just we've just saved the cat food. Uh, shout out to Scuba Diving Duck, uh, who gave us ten dollars <laughs> and to some monies for my favorite streamers accurately showing some of the dangers of cave diving. There we go, getting the point. Look, I got the cat food. Yeah, really, it's not like you. What is anything else? Oh shit, it's Ash. What do you want, Ash? Hello, Ash Ketchum. And. Uh, I saw a boss card acquisition. Oh, apparently I got the squid card. Excellent. This is the giant squid boss card. Uh, such a rare card. Uh, and I just kind of killed a squid, to be honest. You've made amazing progress. Try collecting all the rare boss cards. Something good's bound to happen. So, all right. If you want to venture into new regions. Uh, oh, Fanfish, we we saw that down under the yeah, bottom. Yeah, we've now. seen those guys, absolutely. So, uh, collect fish cards in new regions. Choo -choo. So weird that it's just a... Old grizzled ash catchum in a floating dodgem who just occasionally uh, passes by. But yes, make sure to go to the restaurant during the day to feed the cat because you can't do it at night when the restaurant oh, is Oh, I think I think you can. Well, I mean, next gen has said that, and he's apparently they were apparently okay. Well, we're nipping we're cause... nipping back to the restaurant to feed the cat because honestly, what else matters? <laughs> Trash catchum. Trash catchum. Love it. Nice. Uh, yeah, scuba diving duck was also saying earlier in chat as well that. Uh, They'd love to know Here what... We uh... Here we go. Feed. Oh, no, we've not got the high-quality cat food. That's oh, fine. Shit. You'll be happy with common, and then we can find the high-quality lead. Oh, we love you! It's producing oh, love. love. Oh, my goodness. You can only feed once a day. Oh. Oh. It's making little meow noises. Excellent. Good job, mate. Back to the boat. Okay. Ah, there's like achievements and stuff if you feed the cat enough. Nice. That's very nice. Uh, let's see. Yes, uh, Scuba Diving Duck was saying earlier in chat that they'd love to know what equipment Dave uses to just randomly dive to 230 meters down. Okay, I feel like what we've just learned is I ought to increase my <laughs> yeah, air capacity. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like that would be an excellent thing to do right now. So there we go. We've now increased my air capacity. And we know how to get back to where we were. So we could go and do it again. And really, we've, we've learnt a lot about the underwater. That's the important thing. <laughs> we've learnt a lot. That's what matters in the end. If we're into another barracuda, fuck the barracuda. We just, we just mess up the barracuda. So, okay. Same basic concept as before. We've literally got the radar that's going to guide us, and we've got the orange starfish as well. So, okay, just to motion in that direction. Obviously, grabbing every chest on the way past, if I can upgrade my weapon while I'm going, and that would be magnificent. Pick myself up, ideally, some spare oxygen canisters. Uh, baseball bat, not bad. We can charge the attack for bonus damage, which is lovely. All right, clan. Good moment for... Oh, hang on, what's this? Oh, that's just a normal weapon chest. It, just, it, looked, like, it looked special because it was partly concealed. Yes, and uh, just a better harpoon, fine. Clap while well, we mosey on towards the uh, Yas McJibble. Uh, yeah, shout out to Vailotas, who uh, has been a member for 38 months. Uh, and says, I'm so excited to watch you play this. This game is excellent and incredibly cute. It's very good. There's a lot of good stuff here. Uh, shout out also to I May Be Terracotta, who gave us five pounds. Uh, and to Blubber, the Mighty Slug Lord. Who uh, has been a member for 10 months. Good reading of that username. I mean, it's a good username. Uh, but they've been a member for 10 months and say, Much love to all of you. Thank you for keeping an old ship's cook entertained. Oh, very cool. Now, Blubber, the mighty slug lord. Yeah. Uh, please give us some tea. Give us the gossip about being a ship's cook. That sounds super interesting. I think you're just kind of assuming there that, like, you know, the p a person who is a ship's cook is going to have, like, an eye patch and a grizzled backstory and a story of the time that the shark, uh, you know, a shark ate their child. No, what I'm saying is that I watch YouTube shorts from a person who's a cook on like a fancy, fancy like your ship and whatever. Barracuda, and they bang! And about stuff that's quite interesting that you don't really think about. Yeah. Like how you can't 
get all of the ingredients that you want all the time and how like you have to Ooh, net gun you need that okay targets caught no i don't i already got the jellyfish i need it for but if you catch it with you this need it for something later okay a small net captures seven fish at the same time okay and that's oh it's like a right that's a gun now once it's in the thing Okay, three star. Okay, but it, it does it's 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 not I thought that was like replacing the harpoon, but it's not, it's replacing the gun slot. Ah. Uh -uh. Ah. So I'm going to be honest. I can see the advantage of that. Like in but now I've picked it up. I've started yeah, making progress need towards. To have two more, right? Yeah, exactly. You just have it. And I think that's actually kind of useful. Because, yeah, that means in the future, if there's, like, a particular... Like, sooner or later, the chef's going to say to me, a VIP's come in, it needs... I can only serve them a top quality something. Or cat food. Good. Nice. Okay. Well, once again, we've already found the most important thing. Do not forget to top up books on the way down. We're under control. Right. Keep going down. Clap. Uh, yeah. Shout out to uh, Turtle Zeus who gave us ten dollars and says i just wanted to send a quick thank you to the countless i just wanted to send a quick thank you for the countless hours of entertainment and make sure that ted can get his treats uh and says that they will catch up the vod later ted will always get his treats he gets a i mean ted is very spoiled ted gets all of his lamy chews don't you worry we were just saying earlier today that, uh, unfortunately, uh, there are days where Ted has to get smaller lamb chews because they come in a pack and not yeah. everything in the pack is the biggest Sometimes lamb Sometimes she just gets a slightly smaller lamb chew and well, we feel very bad about every it. Every time we open a new pack, we go, oh, we'll give him the biggest one because yeah. today he did a cute thing. So he always inevitably gets <laughs> the smallest one when the pack runs out, which is very sad for him. Yeah, and we want He never to looks aggrieved or anything. He never looks oh, just like, no. what the hell is this? He always, because obviously, you know, they're 24 hours apart. So he he doesn't, he can't really compare them effectively. But like, yes, he definitely gets, when the new pack opens, he definitely gets the biggest lamb chew. That's definitely true. So, okay, this time, we're going straight to the location I'm supposed to go to. Okay, and I'm guessing you're like, you know, you're, while well, you've got this objective, you've got a guaranteed spawn of a UV lamb. Surely. So keep on keeping on. Yeah, you were a dick last time. I know you were a problem. So, okay. Keep on keeping on. Avoid the angler oh, fish. Right. And there it is. Guaranteed UV lamp. Yeah. Okay, so Chris uh, in chat says that uh, for the small fish, when you kill them, uh, it's one star, like with the gun. If yeah. you harpoon them, That's it's two. two stars. And if you catch them with the net, it's three. Eh. And then for bigger fish, uh, it's two star if they're dead, but uh, you need something. You can't catch them with the net, but if you catch them alive, then it's three star. Nice. If you can't do the net, you need something else. Oh, and, and I'm found. Please the sea don't get people. lost again. No, no, I've, I've found my way straight here. It's the sea people. Hello, it's me, the landlord. And they're just randomly yelling. Randomly yelling at me. Yeah. Mm. They're saying something, I can't tell what to say. Probably get out, my wife's dead. I'll have to call Dr. Bacon. And they're saying something to me, but I can't tell. Just love this. I think I've just broken into the house. Just imagine if a, if a mer person just crashed through the window, sort of babbling at me, and then we say, get out, get out of my house. He'd be like, just gets out his mer cell phone. So <laughs> I pressure of a mer person breaking into the office while we're doing the live stream right there. It's high quality streaming entertainment. Hello! And he speaks in McJibbles. His name is Swam! Mm hmm. And then I kind of wish I had the net gun if I could just like steal his dead wife and just, ca just capture. John! Get it? She's gonna. Look, the bottom half. Okay. I, I agree. When we're dealing with mermaids, if I was to eat this half of her, that would be problematic. This half's just fish. So if I just basically just... just... John. Yes. Stop it. Do you think it's unethical to eat the bottom half of a mer person? Yes, I think that's been settled quite... Uh, that's been settled uh, quite definitely in uh, one of the first Crestomancy books. In the verse what? Crestomancy books. I 
do not know what that is. You know, like the lives of Christopher Chant. Oh yeah. Spoilers. Okay. There's mermaid snuggles. Snuggling, smuggling. <laughs> and also mermaid snuggling. That's in the Crestomancy fanfic, not in the Crestomancy published book. Did, are you getting lost again, by the no, way? No, no, I'm, I'm going back out. My okay. objective is now to go back to the surface. But before we do that, I'm going to just have a look see around without going quite as deep down as we did last time. And I'd now oh, like. You now have to go back to the surface, what? To talk to Dr. Bacon about the translation. Yeah. So, okay, I got a fang tooth, but even though I weakened it with the gun, I caught it alive. So it doesn't matter if you shoot it, as long as the... It just matters how the kill is done. Oh, you need to... Don't you need to catch that? I think that was rest. just an example of, like, a card I can get rather than it being, like, a specific thing saying, like, hey, you've got to catch this particularly rare fish. And just got that. That was only just over the... Oh, I saw you. I saw you. And... Go. Away. And perfect timing. There's the pickaxe because I see. So we've got diamond ore before that we didn't get to keep it. This is. Amethyst. Amethyst. Right. There we go. Fun fact. You yeah. probably you may well notice. It's here's a fun thing. You may notice I never pronounce amethyst in any of my videos because I'm I can never remember how it's pronounced. So I always take I can't look at it wrong. So I always just call it something else. You go go through the entire Skyrim series. I'm pretty sure I don't pronounce it once in 114 episodes because I never remember how it's cocky pronounced. What do you think it's pronounced like? I don't know. That's why I don't pronounce it. But, but how else is it going to be pronounced? I don't know, Claire. That's why I don't pronounce it. Alright, alright. And, and there we go. There we go. Come on, you're coming in. We're going to see if maybe we can help ourselves to some of you. Help ourselves to a few more bits and pieces down over there. See you, random small fish. You are already bleeding, I'm pretty sure. I think I saw another way I could go with the thing and what the? Oh, good boy drinking water, teddy bear. Do you have to? Oh, if the harpoon hits a thing, does it get, like, messed up? Does does it not count? That's interesting. And also, other words I never pronounce on the channel. Anything where there is a distinct difference between the US and UK version. Oh, people get so mad. You may notice that in Stellaris, even though clerks are a significantly important job, are constantly utilised, I never say the word because you Americans insist it's clerks. Just because that's how it's spelt. Um, which, silly, silly, silly colonials. So as a result of that, yes, that's why we 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 never say that. And a three tooth puffer. So I just don't I mean, say also, it because it I upsets know... somebody. And is this one? That one's already full of full charge, so we don't need that. So yeah, we've already been down. Yeah, we went down the one at which led to the people. That clearly leads back up into the world above because the lighting changed. So, Ted. I'm gonna go get him. Ted's just spotted something in the garden. Possibly a fox. Possibly he's just decided to... I think he's just imagining things. He's just imagining things. Ted. Claire's going to go and take care of him. There we go. And... Oh! We've got fossils. Okay. That is Lightning Harpoon 3. Nice. I'll take that. That's the skull. I By the little Lucy of it anyway. No, it was the. I feel like I. I feel like I could find a way of getting a skull out of that. And mostly on here, another UV light. But they recharge. I've already got one, so that's fine. And I still have my pickaxe. Okay, now this time we're gonna get the good shed. So the you know little little gems, little purple gem, etc. etc. I'm just gonna now. I'm just gonna keep to the thing. So there we go. Oh, there's a rubber chicken. But oh. Giant eel. Giant eel down below. Giant eel down below. Hello. Ted's back. He's still making noises. Was that you or Ted? That was both of us. Him oh, and Ted. 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 Honey buns, you okay? Ted. Ted. That's just a fragment. Sorry for all the puppy who heard me making the Ted squeaky toy squeak. Okay, we're going to take two shots of this thing. One, and two, and 
now we just we can use yeah, I can use this thing to get around him. Electricity. Hello. Oh, ow! Okay, that that hurts actually. Get out of the way. Don't get hit by him. And bare minimum. Oh, get down. And bang. Oh, out of range. Okay. Back. Come on. How is that not in range? Okay, wait for him to go. He's actually, yeah, his charge is not particularly effective, but it's the range. That's 18 damage and, like, electro damage, but wait for him to go. Get out of the way. And go. And we got him. Flipping got him. And I think you all knew as well, actually. And, excuse me. Go. Sounds like Ted actually heard something in the garden or saw something in the garden. That was quite barky. Maybe a little fox was passing by. Frill shark. Baby dog. He's a good boy. He's a good boy who just gets a bit wound up sometimes, bless Yeah, him. but I mean, also, the reason I'm trying to stop him scratching his face is because, like, the reason we noticed and we wanted to ask the vet about it that got him diagnosed with hay fever is he was scratching his eyes and they're a bit red now. Yeah, his eyes are a little tiny bit red and puffy at the moment, so we'd like him to not do that if he'd be so kind. And come on, buddy. You're not even... Wow, you're not even bleeding yet. The fish down here are tough bastards. And go, go, go. And then... Are you dead? Oh, no, you just died. You just died to electricity. And that's a sea toad. Five kilograms of sea toad. Okay. Bit underwhelming. And I think that's... Yeah, that's all we've got here. So, all right. I think we can kind of see what we've got here. This is this area seems a, a little bit on the smaller side, at least maybe until I uh, make more progress with the sea people. I think, yeah, I'm now pretty happy to make my way back up in the world. So just get you out of the way, please. Okay, thank you. Lovely. And you too. Let it recharge. And I'm aware my air's getting a bit low. It's fine. It's okay. I've literally... Which I don't have any spare, uh, any spare major. Wait, where was that? How did we get out of here again? Oh, not again. Wait, no, I can just go straight up here. There was literally a way to get up. Okay, this is fine. I've got, I've got a sea scooter. These like last no oxygen. No. Not gonna die this time. Woo. So don't. Oi, no, leave me alone. Leave, leave me alone. Leave me, leave me alone. 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 Okay. Bang. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Ah, bang! Oh, that pushes him away. It gets him some distance. If nothing else, it just, it just shoves him away. And go, 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 and... Oi! Get, 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 oi! Piss off! Piss off! Get, get away from him! Fuck off! He's so fast. And go! Come on, man. Go, 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 go. There we go. Atlantic Anglerfish. Blimey. Sometimes you just kind of get stuck in them. Whichever way you go, they just kind of follow you. There's another tennis racket. Not that useful. Right, definitely need to start moving up in the right direction at this point. And if I could find something else, that'd be good. Yeah, I'm in the limestone caves right now. So, okay, luckily I've got the thing that lets me move a bit faster. Probably bypass this and just make my way towards the top of the cave. Oh, don't get blown that way, though. That way trouble lies. When I say trouble, I mean spikes. Uh, right, straight up. Ignore the anglerfish. Those jellies, are they where I came in? I think they might be. I think they might be where I came in if I could just get out of the limestone. Well, there's oxygen. That's fine. I've still got 120. Oh, no. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, the, the, never mind. It's fine. Everything's, everything's out. No, everything's, everything's fine. Just get down. Just need to... Well, there's, there's some oxygen. There's, there's an oxygen clam. There's an oxygen clam, oxygen clam, oxygen clam, oxygen clam, oxygen clam, oxygen clam, oxygen clam. Also, uh, don't move. Ted's right behind your chair. Okay, Ted's right there. And there's that gonna left behind me. That's where we came in. Nice. Nice. We're out. We're out. We're out. We've made it. And we're like 50 kilograms right now, so we should definitely make our way back up. If I see an escape thing, we will use it. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. 
<laughs> Amazing. Uh, shout out to, well, shout out to somebody who just gave us $10. No. And says, face your pronunciation fears, John, pronounce my name. Do it, don't do it for me, do it for your own sake. You can do this, face your fears, John, pronounce my name, John. Felice? I'm assuming it's Felice, but Felice. I'm also French, so you let go us away. know. Go away, go away, go away. How did you lose me? How did you lose? Okay, well I've 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 caught you now. I didn't even want to, but you were you were the person who forced the issue. There we go. Everything's fine. I literally I can pick that up because yeah, items don't count towards weight. And there we go. Up to the top, we have successfully located a person. And more cat food. We got cat food and a load more stuff actually. Oh, wow, you are not kidding when he's right behind me. Yeah, his tail is literally in between. Amazing. Amazing. We can't stop him licking his paws occasionally. Oh, yeah. That's not going to be a thing we can do. So, okay. See people civilization. Oh, yeah. And he's given me some ingredients and a giant pile of money. Hey, Claire wins as usual, says Felice. <laughs> okay. Tell all the news outlets in the world and why we want to get people flocked to this place and poachers are bound to show up. Yes, including me. I want to eat the bottom half of the sea people. Hey, oh, they're John. probably delicious. Absolutely delicious. Nom, 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 sea people. Uh, okay. We have to make a translator. That's true. So we'll need a sea people stone tablet with their writing on it. Together with a microphone and a purple rock. Uh, Amethyst. Yeah, a purple rock. That's what I said. Uh -huh. A fizzy purple rock. Yeah, uh, using the fizzy purple rock, you can make a translator that precisely. translates frothy into fizzy and amethyst into purple rock. Precisely. So you don't have to fizz your fears. The microphones below the sunken ship. The stone tablet is in their record chamber. I know where both of those things are. Below the limestone, yeah, over on the right in the cave. Oh. And I have got the purple rock already. Mm. Boom! So there we go. I've actually got the. I've got everything I need to make that translator immediately. Oh, do you? Nice. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, no. I've got the one bit I need, and I know where the other two bits are, and we're making progress. You have the, the stone tablet, or? No, but I know where it is. I know where all uh, the things are. So all right, all of that goes to the restaurant. And who's Udo? Uh, Hello, are you? Ah, uh, I'm guessing you're a journalist uh, and uh, a reporter for the magazine Weekly Fish. <laughs> That's reasonable. I've read that magazine. It covers unique fish. I love how Dave is, a, is already a subscriber of Weekly Fish magazine. It's that that suits Dave. That's yeah. uh, that's that's great. So mm. there we go. There are all kinds of fish species from all around the world. I've come to the yeah. right place. I'd love to take pictures of the magazine, but I can't dive. Would you ever take some photos? Uh, no. Yes. Nice. There we go. So I'm guessing you're going to tell me what fish to photograph. There we go. New con this new thing. So take a picture of living creatures at photo spots. Take a picture to Udo to claim rewards. So okay. We have now got applicants for all of this, including Okay, a person who's good at everything and a person who's terrible at everything. That's weird, but sure. That's that's fine, I guess. Uh so okay. Okay, okay, okay. Is that our one? Check Eco Watcher. Uh, yeah, we can toss in. A, I found a leg thing. Nice. That we can turn in for 20 points. Okay. Straight away. Okay, fine. And we've also Good got... Boy. Oh. oh, can I pet the tummy, maybe? And keep something? murdering. Continue murdering. And yeah, if I can find one more fossil and a handful of pink shells, we'll be golden. And I just keep not finding the Aegir, which is really weird. Uh, but that's just that just refuses to be around. I've got a fair bit of money, but not enough. So, okay. Once we do, once we do the next, we'll be fine. So okay, there's Cookster. That's absolutely fine. To-do list is yeah, the Sea People Translator, and uh, it is D-Day for the VIP challenge. But I've got everything we need in that regard. I'm kind of surprised we don't have a new app for the photos. Maybe. Sorry, he's using my leg to to like scratch his face instead of his paw. Well, that's better. I'm gonna assume that's, that's fine. better. So that's I'm trying better. To make him do that. That's absolutely fine. Oh, yeah. Ted, you sweet little you boy. You want to scratch your itchy face and get to cuddle at the same time? That's fine. Yeah. When it's autumn, things will be better. Yeah, we've already yeah, got... Yeah, we kept telling him that about... We summer. kept telling him summer was going to be great. 
But uh, yeah, you can't dive in the evening. Apparently not yet anyway. So all right. In which case, all we need to do is, yeah, check if there's anything. No, we can't even use the shop in the evening. Right. Back to the sushi restaurant. We need to, yes, hire Raul. So, uh, yes, because Raul is clearly... Can you afford Raul? Uh, well, we're making huge amounts of money. Okay, Vincent's back, which is great. So I've prepared jellyfish sushi. You mean like in Chinese oh. called vegetables and you could win the acknowledgement of Vincent? No way! Okay, you will judge before you've even tasted. Uh, bring it over. One serving of jellyfish. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now, what does he make of that? Oh, no, I've got to literally take it to him. Sorry. Grab that. Walk it over to him. Sorry about that. Here you go, buddy. And the flesh is transparent. The white dog's pretty. You made it with bunched rice. You make sure it doesn't scatter by making whatever that is. It'll dry up. Hurry up and eat it. It's already been seasoned. And here we go. Like, well, that's, 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 that's my worst nightmare right there. Just jellyfish just appearing behind me, ambushing me. This is amazing. I can taste the sea. Yes, that'll be the seawater we put inside it. It's the secret ingredient. Uh, I can taste something popping inside. That's the popping candy that we put inside the jellyfish with the seawater. Damn straight. And I added sea grape. Blood jellyfish, firm jellyfish flesh and sea grape. This is the sea. I taste the sea. The sea. Where the sea kelp sway. Can't help but admit it. Oh, excellent. So the first reason is the taste. Jellyfish is a gentle, mild taste with a strong texture. The perfect match for the scent and flavor of sea grape. Second reason is the potential. There are so many kinds of ingredients out there. Insisting on using only the verified few. It's the same as ignoring the infinite possibilities. All right, Vincent. Let's get to the evaluation. And 80 points. Isn't that too low? You looked very impressed. The sushi was excellent. The establishment lacks, though. Eating combines many enjoyments. Think you'd only offer green tea with this beautiful ocean in front of us. Romance! This place doesn't have enough romance and appreciation for the arts. Okay. As a side reward, however, I'll give you a refrigerator. Being able to drink cold beer from that fridge, that'll make the score 100. It would be perfect. Okay, so it would be perfect if he just wanted a beer. He just wants a beer. Okay, well, fair enough. And I'm guessing this means I now need to go and serve beer. So, okay. New content. Beer. I now need to go and, yes, I need to go and pour a beer, pour a drink, and create additional revenue. All right. Ah, and Kay says that uh, after a recipe challenge like this one, you can then, like, uh, serve that recipe. Uh, oh, nice. Regularly, and they are usually really good. Sweet. Okay, so, 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 number one, staff. We absolutely need to add staff, and you have no... Wait, what happens the staff? Oh, no, go to here. Okay, yeah, that's cool. fine. Raul, yes, you're uh, deaf. Yes, you just need to pay him a lot more. Well, yeah, the, the amount, I think that's, that's presumably the hiring fee up front. Ah, yes, okay. Yeah, so 100% we'll be hiring you, because you are amazing at everything. Nice. So, yeah, hiring complete. And you are kind of useless to everything, so we're going to pass on you. Um, so, yes, add staff. Raul goes there, which is fine. And then we could add additional staff. But I kind of feel like, yeah, I'd, I'd rather I'd rather hire can you better do, like, staff. Can you level up Kyoko or anything? Can you do anything with her? Uh, training. I can make her a little bit better for 150. Yeah, you know what? Why not? We're just, we're just trading her right now. There we go. Level 2. Nice. And we could make her... In all fairness, it's actually pretty cheap. Yeah, to... I mean, it feels like you're going to make it back. But... And, and now also... Ah, drink? now she serves drinks. All right, yep. now we're going to do that. We'll do that. Training staff is vital. And then people are... Okay, so the question is, if you hire a person who costs four quid and then train her up... Yeah. Like, how quickly does she become quite good? I mean, it's it's worth thinking about, isn't it? I mean, yeah. we could just fire her later. 
if need be. I mean, do you have to pay them regular salaries or do you just... I don't know. I think so, but I think it's not much. So, yeah, I mean, she's... For 150 gold, she's straight she's up to... She's already kind of the same sort of level as... She's up to 50 serving. Yeah. So, honestly, that's... Fine. Yeah, that's actually better. Uh, so, yeah, it's Suki will get... She's at level 2. She's already really good. So, that's all we can afford for the time being. And... She's got an idea? I don't know if that means she will learn... I think it maybe means next level she will learn her first skill. And then you're already fine. So, yeah, next... next Tomorrow we'll properly train those guys. Yeah. Okay. Ah! I trained as a ninja. It wasn't easy making a living... It's about to be that I wasn't easy making a living as a nipple. Uh, but no, <laughs> ninja. I don't know why my brain's... It wasn't easy making a living as a nipple. I can uh, understand that would be true. Dr. Freud would have something to say about that. <laughs> I mean, you know, everyone was asking where's the other nipple. Um, <laughs> leave yeah, it Leave yeah. it all to me, my lord. Okay. So she's... So we've now got... Yes. You, we've got you in the kitchen. We've got... So now I don't need to even worry. Now I can just lie back and not worry about this shit anymore. It's fine. You uh, can just make the wasabi. Yeah, exactly. Striped red mullet, moray eel. Uh, ah, you see their potential if you check their details when you're hiring them. Eh, okay. Right, menu. You, yeah, you do pay them, but it's a tiny amount. And next level, she will have a skill. Nice. Okay, so the sea grape jellyfish sushi we could serve. But honestly, there's like... It's like... There's the so we've got so little jellyfish, it's one portion. But you know what? Screw it. Why not? I mean, it's 200. Let's do it. Still, Let's yeah. flip and do it. Yeah, why not? And then we've got this is the frilled shark, which I think we just caught down below. But we can enhance that immediately for just a tiny bit. Just gonna do that. Oh, new thing. Salt Bay. <laughs> there we go. That's up to level two. So I'm happy to put like, yeah, I think all seven of, and then again, the enhance now is, that doesn't feel like that's making that much of a difference. I think instead we're going to put all seven of them on the menu. So that's absolutely fine. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty good special stuff right there. Uh, we also have, uh, yes, arranged by uh, the maximum number of dishing that we can do. So yeah, we've got 13 of these available. These didn't even, these, these did not properly even sell out last time. Bare, these were barely even touched. So they, I, I'm just going to enhance them again. Let's say they're up to level five. They make people very happy. And then I'm going to put all three of them in, uh, which is fine. Now, we've not got much on the menu right now. So now we need something to like, you know. A crowd pleaser. Yeah, we need to be of the crowd oh, pleaser. There's the shark. There That's is the shark, the white tip reef. So we can get that up to level two at the bare minimum. So I think we can put like all seven of them yeah. in, I'd say. And then we need, I think we need something to, actually, we've got, we've got actually uh, two more slots at this point. So, because we went, we leveled up on the Foodstagram McJibble. And then, okay, that's that recipe that we picked up previously. Uh, but it's black vinegar and the, uh, the Kajimi, uh, which is absolutely fine. We've got the red, actually, you know, the red lionfish is, uh, does surprisingly, it, it does a lot of happiness. We'll get that up to level three. And we'll put in all five. And then I think we just need something to bulk up the menu a little bit. Just like something yeah, we can so put a fair bit up. Yeah, exactly. What's the, those things you have 10 or 12 of at the top? I'll tell you what, we've actually got, we've got some good sawfish right here. We can put in five portions of that. I think I'm happy with that. That's got, I think that'll be enough. We'll see. We'll see if that's, you know, I'll maybe put a little bit more in. A little bit more in. There we go, up to seven. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We'll see how that does, because now I've got more staff. Maybe way more people are going to ah, rock up. Ah, if you watch the likes you get at the end of the night, that is the number of people you successfully served food to. Eh. And you can use that to figure out how many servings you should kind of aim yeah. for. All right, oh, let's see. Okay, so many uh, good uh, yeah. advice from Kay Grimm tonight. So now we've got, yes, I've got two people in the restaurant, including people who are willing to do drinks. So I don't need to do the drinks every time anymore. <laughs> So you're handling, you're going to handle the drinks right now. And we've also got, you know what? I'll, I'll, hardly, I'll help out with a little bit of the drinks. I see no reason why not. There we go. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's the only way to get, like, perfects. Like, that will satisfy people. Oh, hello. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of people that need serving. Wow, the, the kitchen is producing food a lot faster than it was previously. Because there's now multiple chefs. So, okay, this is, this is fascinating. She's also well, it's doing... It's kind of nice that it's highlighting to you the person you should give it to, actually. Yeah, that's true. Though, it's something... No, it's, it's anyone who ordered that thing. You've got to remember well, who yes, might who want it the most urgently. Thing, yes. yes, some people might want it a bit more urgently. 
And then you, wow, they, everyone got that to me before that. But we are, we're flying through it, but there's still plenty on the menu. There's still plenty on the menu. And we've still got like a bit of the shift remaining. Get you into there. People also getting all sorts of bits and pieces. Uh, we've cleared out three already. Plenty yeah. more coming in. And Remember this... that uh, the ninja can't do drinks. So yeah. you should go do the drinks. No, I need to do this. Otherwise the oh, kitchen yeah. literally shuts. Because I'm the only person that does that. Fair enough. And the, the other person can do drinks though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that uh, one of the drinks was getting a little bit... So, okay, we're tossing out, like, maybe, at the end of the day, like, less than 10 dishes. Honestly, I think we, we, we've we got that pretty oh, well. Oh, cleaning up. But I think you didn't need to do any cleaning up during. Yeah. So, I think some of them do. That's got to be a good day for the money. That's got to have been a good day. Load stuff right there. And, uh, ass holder, yep, it's, a be it's our best day ever again. Nice. Best day ever again. So, yeah, pay staff pays 125 Versus sales of like, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? Like, I mean, that's yeah. That's definitely worth it. Like, the the drinks alone cover the pay. Never mind yeah. the food. Never mind the food. The tips, like, cover nearly half the pay. So, wait a minute. The likes you get at the end. Today's likes are a total of 109. Or, no. Today's likes are 21. And then that's 109 total. Yeah. Which you've got since the beginning of the game. I think so, yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Pretty happy with that. Good day. Good day. So, all right. I'm happy with that. I think we did, we just really did nice. a good job there. So, okay, straight over to Sunday. And we should now be swimming in money. And we know precisely where we need to go in terms of, like, the main stuff. More photos being uploaded, uh, etc., etc. So, okay, we're good in that regard. Uh, just check if there's anything worth selling. You're selling, uh, yep, trigger bombs. Well, I think, yeah, this guy starts selling things only when you found them down below. That makes sense. By the Luke of it. So, okay, don't worry about any of that. Instead, uh, yeah, check. Weapon shop, nothing new we can craft over there. Cookstar is, yeah, not quite ready to level up uh, yet. We've got to get more followers and also find a rest get a recipe up to 125 taste, which is fine. The only to-do we've got is, yeah, get the two pieces for the Sea, uh, sea People Translator. Uh, we've got to understand them so I can, like, you know, say, look, I appreciate you don't want to be cut in half and served. However, your wife is clearly already dead. She's gone. She's not coming She's back. She's not already dead, John. She's already dead. Uh, but, like, you know, I, I can't, I can't heal her. But what I can do is offer you a very large amount of purple stones that I can't pronounce. What I okay. can do what is I talk to you about organ donation. Exactly. Specifically donating Exactly. I'm tail. willing to pay a lot of money if are you just let me take... Not even your wife's entire body. I just want the bot. Okay, that sounds worse. Yeah. That. Now I say it out loud, saying I'm not even asking for your wife's entire body. I'm just asking for the bottom half. That does actually sound worse. Uh, hey, like, shout now out I to think about shout it. out to it is Lupus who gave us five dollars and says I'm starting a petition to add. Is it an, is it unethical to eat the bottom half of a mer person to the end card rotation? <laughs> oh, there should marvelous. certainly be a quote. Oh yes. my goodness! Uh, shout out to Atomics who gave us two hundred Australian dollars. Wow, fantastic dollars! Thank you so much. Uh, Atomic says, I've been recovering from lazy eye surgery and your videos and streams have been absolutely amazing. Joining on YouTube and subbing to Patreon just simply wasn't enough compensation for all the years of entertainment that you've provided. John, be nice to Claire and you better stream Zelda again. We may well see a bit more, uh, yeah. yes, Tears of the Kingdom. See how much more we can tear down the universe in Tears of the Kingdom. All right. Oh my God, you love that joke, don't I do. You? I do so much. Zero. Definitely cargo Zero. box. Cargo box up to level six. We're, we're struggling in that regard already. Mm -hmm. Okay. The microphone and the seed person tablet. I know where to get both of those. And I expect I can do them in one single dive. So the microphone's the closest where we jump in. For the simple reason that, yeah, I can go straight, straight down and get to that. So that should be... A okay, assuming there's nothing waiting for me. Like, very often when you just dive into the sea, there's often something just waiting for you straight away. He's not chewing, he's not chewing his feet. He's just licking his feet. He's fine. I literally only looked over at him because he was making a chewing noise. 
I Is that know. the agar that you were looking for that you said you could never find? Yeah, but it's not always there. No. Probably. <laughs> it's hard to say whether it's always there. I was agreeing not. with you. I don't think it's always there. The, the, also, this, this, this. that's 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 also one. Oh no, that's in the background. You see how I get confused? No, it is tricky because I was gonna say, is that one down bottom also agar? There. No, that's like pink. No. Yeah, and that they is, are they are more it is they tricky. are difficult to spot. It is tricky. They are no, definitely you difficult that. to spot. All right, down to the now we just go straight on down, cut through the live stone the uh, the live uh, McJibble cave. Uh, that's fine. Don't worry about fish for the time being. Keep your eye out for chests in particular. Anything I can do to upgrade my weapons. Uh, don't worry about. Oh, are those new jellyfish? I was just thinking they're a bit different to what I've seen before. Bang! Oh, yeah. Oh, Barrel yeah. Barrel jellies. Barrel jellies. Well, apparently I'm not on, I've not been given a mission to kill them or anything, which is weird. They're also, one star, though. Yeah, that's because I shot them to death. Yeah, I know. Right, just take you out because there's an ammo top up right here. And if I'm lucky, that's only a triple axle level one. Leave it. Don't care. Right. Keep on keeping on. Further and further down, stay away from the Titan fish who is a dick. And just, yeah, if I just keep going further down, I should make it into the livestone cave. The limestone cave is somewhere around here. Have myself to lead. I'm sure I'll be needing that sooner or later. I'm never going to be coming back this. Yeah, there is. There's the limestone cave. I can see the currents below me. So I just need to find the way in. But it's going to be somewhere around here. So yeah, the, the rough orientation stays unchanged. But, like, the exact orientation change gets shuffled. So, that yeah, is... Yeah, Harvestable are sparkly. They have a sheen. Yeah. And, uh, oh, hello. We've got strange coral. Hello. Oh, there was an octopus hiding in the coral. So cute and probably tasty. Hello, buddy. Would you like to be a snack? And, I mean, obviously sprays, like, ink. Which, you know, we've seen before from Cuttlefish. The collectibles. The octopus spray me with ink. Just wait till I catch you. Investigate the strange coral. First, I'm gonna... I can definitely catch up with him. I've literally got the speedy jibble right now. And... I'm gonna be honest. Bang! Oh, I think he's leading me somewhere. Okay, don't shoot him with a sniper rifle. He's just going to squidge through the gap, isn't he? Because octopuses can famously squeeze into incredibly small spaces. Mm. Escape through the door crack. I don't think mm. I can fit in there. I can probably use the gas cutter. Just you wait, little... I feel like the octopus is trying to... It, it wants me to help in some capacity. So, okay. Well, while I just do, do that, the mini -game. all yours. Uh, shout out to Sweet Nerevar, who's been a member for 19 months. Um... And says, I flounder around in this game. Uh, I wonder if there is romance options. No trout about it. Oh, romance took me a second. Oh, no. God, it's a good game. Yeah, stop. That's the end of the Super Chat. I'm <laughs> honest. Oh, you know what? I was hoping it would carry on. And despite my objections, I was hoping it would carry on for, for like, like five more minutes of every fish pun imaginable. It's like every fish. Oh, don't worry. They didn't, e they didn't even include place. Place is such an easy one. Yeah. Place is incredibly easy to fit into anything. So, all right. Good enough. Go to new region. I mean, sure, the octopus has apparently led me into a new region. I've been distracted by the octopus. So, okay. Go to... Uh-oh. This feels like a boss arena. I guess I have octopus sashimi. I feel like the octopus might have an octopus mum or something. Yeah, seriously. Or... Uh -huh. He's just led me to this a ring. That feels like a ring to me. Okay, but how much oxygen do you got? And oh, loads. Plus, I think in side rooms it doesn't get used up. Oh, okay. Like, oh no, this one it does. But yeah, down below it just doesn't. Hey. Rusty octopus bracelet. But yeah, you can't actually investigate it till you're up at the surface, which is a yeah. shame. Still, and I do have yeah free oxygen here. Th that's what I was asking. Yeah. If you needed to do the free oxygen before you did that. Eh, may as well. And unfortunately. There is nothing I can do to get the oct to get the uh, octopus back out. So okay, just a free ring for following the octopus. Fine. 
Follow octopuses. They might lead you in interesting, exciting directions. Mm. So, all right. Just once again, keep going downwards. Ah, uh, yeah, I already know the location of the McJibble. Have I? Oh, but there's a fossil right there, John. Oh, you're right. Good spot, good spot. I mean, the chat spotted If it. we're lucky, it's Skull. Yeah. Nice, that's precisely what we needed. If I can just find a barracuda Thank you, to kill. Chat. And you, buddy. Hang on, have I taken out any of you guys yet? There we go. No, no, no. I just want to, you know, just for the sake of the fish capture card, I just want to make sure I've captured yeah, 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 yeah. fish. Yeah, just for that's the, the red. Fish decks, yeah. Yeah, the fishy decks. And. Come on, buddy. You've definitely, we've definitely hit you a couple of times. You, you give it up. Give it up. And come. On. He's not even bleeding yet. Amazing. And okay, fine. You know what? Oh no, he is bleeding. Well, one star. That's fine. He was Atlantic mackerel. The point is, learn what each fish is. So when I get asked to locate them, it will be easier. You're cool. You're not the Atlantic mackerel. You're. You gave up a bit too easily, though. I don't respect you. Mackerel scab. Yeah. Scabs. All right. Keep on keeping on. That's the cuttlefish, obviously. There's a weapons chest up top if I want to go that way. Work around you. I think I... Do I actually need... I think I need to go through the limestone maze in order to... Okay. That's fine. I was hoping I could power through without that. Okay, okay, okay. Go! Power through this way. I was hoping I could, yeah, power, power through and just... Uh, I don't know if I can work around that or if I have to go via the limestone current in order to get... Wait, is this the same location as... This isn't the limestone cave. No, this is the... the, the this is the cave where the, the components are. I'm not, I'm not... I'm not down far enough yet. Well, the thing is also because it's semi-randomized, you yeah. might not be in exactly the same... You know, it's yeah, not the lighting. The... Yeah, I've killed him before. Yeah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And actually, I didn't even need to go that way this time. I can literally go straight through. So, okay, just ignore him. Don't care. Bye. So, I go through here. They said the McJibble was going to be in here. And, yeah. So, okay, we're looking for the... This was the microphone in here. And this area is pretty small. Don't see any fish I've not seen before inside what used to be the crackers. There, there she is. Okay, cool. So I'm already okay in that regard. Uh, O2 is fine. <laughs> Microphone. I don't know where the the entrance to the Sea People record hall is. May as well just go and check out what's going on where the kraken was. Is that thing uh, shiny like that? Where? That coral right there. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was shiny, no. but maybe I'm wrong. No, no, no. My bad. And, oh, is that a barracuda? That's a barracuda. Looks like it, doesn't it? Because if you die, then I get paid by conservationists. Oh, hang on. I think that I need to, need to kill four more of them. Sorry. Uh, right. Well, if there happen to be any more around, uh, there's the turmeric. Uh-huh. Good old turmeric. And one mysterious silver bowl. The kraken, however, is a long gone by the looks of it. Nowhere else we can, nothing else we can do around here. All right, fair enough, in which case, keep on keeping on. My weapons are pretty, uh, yeah, low tier at the moment, unfortunately. Watch out for the little puff fish. He's going to cause trouble otherwise. Uh, yes, yeah, so we should be a-okay. Just a mosey straight on out and over to the right. That will get me, yeah, over to the sea person entrance at a depth of about this. I think this is about fine. Like maybe it's about 120 or something. So if I just kind of head right and just mosey vaguely downwards that should get me to about the right location and i think there's always going to be a way to cut through claire uh yeah absolutely shout out to 42 mushrooms uh who gave us five pounds and uh would like to get a happy birthday it says i'm 32 today almost an adult if i was a hobby uh do either of you feel like adults yet I mean, kind of, yes. When we have to pay taxes. We have to pay taxes, yeah, that's true. There yeah. is paperwork. Paperwork makes it makes it Parenting so. Parenting the dog yeah. feels, you know, somewhat more. Come on, you guys. I wouldn't mind. Ah, you know what? I'm happy leaving you guys, babe. I mean, most of the time, no. No. Obviously. <laughs> no, not, not given what we do most of the time, yeah. obviously. Uh, cat food! 
cat food. Need to go and feed the cat. I think I've got two of them now. I think I forgot to feed the cat yesterday. <gasps> well, you can only feed the cat. That's a barracuda. You can only feed the cat once a day. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, but once I fed it yesterday, I think I fed it the day before. No, no, I know, but what I'm saying is. Yeah, I just need to go. I need to go after the morning session to feed the cat. Yeah. To make sure that the cat gets properly but, uh, fed, obviously. Not sure if uh, it's just a random what you find, or if maybe you have to find a bunch of common cat foods. Trigger to, bomb trap. Um, yeah. Ah, before. Well, actually, you know, if I had to guess, sure. you'd only find the superior cat food lower down, because generally yeah, the enough. deeper you are, the better the loot is. Yes, so of course. my instinct says superior cat foods at the bottom. So, okay. Keep on keeping on. That's just O2. I think we're actually. Yeah, about the right depth. So I'm just going to try and make it basically as far to the right as possible. Help myself to the bits and pieces on the way. Clap. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And also, also, aside from answering your question, 42 mushrooms, happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Sorry, we got distracted by uh, that's an, the, the existential question of adulthood. Okay, if that's the blue hole depths, that means that the cave I'm looking for is higher up. Because I'm pretty sure that... Oh, that's not what I was expecting to see here. Okay. That's it. Oh, hang on also. Hello. Don't mind me. Bang. Just keep murdering barracudas as I see them. Yeah. Okay, this is a little bit not what I was expecting. I thought I was going to just be able to go straight up from here and make my way to the McJibble. There's even more bombs. Uh, trigger bomb or sensor bomb. Hang on. Bomb activated by sensor or bomb activated by trigger. I'll go for sensor bomb. They seem more exciting and sexy to me. Uh, so, okay. And this I don't think looks like a special thing, so I suspect I can just jet crack that as that salt. No, iron. Fair enough. Just keep on moseying it up and around and try and find my way up. To the McJibble. I think possibly I'm too far over to the right right now. I think if I just go side to the left and then go up there, that'll be the right location. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Physical, who's been a member for 14 months uh, and says, I'm finally here live. The PhD is going well and these streams have been a great thing to keep me sane and give me a time not thinking about giant robots. Why would you ever not want to be thinking about giant robots? That's what I want to know. Well, probably if you have to spend your workday figuring out how to fix things that don't work about giant robots. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Olive oil. Nice. Delicious deep sea olive oil. And you know what? I think I saw the... You, buddy. Bang. Bang. And there is literally ammo right here. So much case. Bang. I think you've got about 100 health. Yeah, I think it might be bang on 100. So that's four. Yeah. So yeah. four shots, but if I'd upgraded the gun, it could have gone down to three. So it's a bit, that yeah. last shot's probably a bit of a waste. But still, it's good eating. So that helps us out. I mean, I feel like I'm too far up. But oh, there's another one of you. We're making good progress on the Barracuda genocide. That's good. So once again, just top of oxygen while I'm literally here. There it is, found it. That's what I thought it was going to be. That's just a basic rifle level 2. Screw that. Don't need that. And yeah, so that's that. That's the region of the record hall. There might be some more people there. I think I might have walked past a fossil, but I'm okay on fossils. I've got the last bit of fossil I need for the time being. So okay. Mosey through here. Just need to break into their ancient hallowed ground and steal their shit. So, okay, deliver all of that. Don't worry about that. Possibly a thing will happen on the way out. A dramatic thing. No dramatic thing happened. Not yet, anyway. Okay, so we've got everything we need, and now we can go back to that guy and finally make him the offer. Like, I'm willing to toss it in some diamond ore for his wife's bottom half. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not an ungenerous person. All right, just... Look, he can either just bury his wife... Or he can bury half his wife. And if it's close casket, who's going to know the difference? And be rich. Okay? This is, the, this is the choice I'm offering here. It's a good deal. It's a good deal. And I need to take out that barracuda. Bang! Oh, yeah. Now you're in trouble. Just keep shooting him over and over. This might take a while, but it's going to work. Clap! 
uh, yeah, shout out to Animated Goblin who gave us £10 uh, and says uh, it's been a while because of work. I started a new role, which is very exciting. Uh, the team I left have lost a lot of technical output after I left, though, so I feel a bit guilty about that. Hope you guys in Ted are okay. I think we're good, though, Ted, as we say, is we're just working on helping him out. Ted is feeling a little bit sorry for himself. I just found another but... octopus cave on the other side. Which yeah. is distinct from the previous octopus cage. A cave. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing here. Freud did slip right there. What? Cave versus cage? How's that a Freudian slip? Because you're like saying the thing that you want to put the octopus in a cage or something. How's that Freudian slip? Yeah, but it's not sexual. It's just a thing you didn't mean to say. Mm. Well, actually, you could. I was I was literally setting you up there because obviously describing a cave, are you something that sounds like it could theoretically be a vagina analog as a cage? Are you something that traps you? Absolutely, could be. Claire, why do I even bother setting you up with these things? <sighs> Come on, Claire. I do my best to set you up with the lines, but if you're not gonna take your feed, what are we gonna do? Dear oh flipping dear. Anyway, John. Yes. Uh, yes, shout out to how to, shout out to how to who gave us two dollars uh, and wants to know if you ever plan on playing the Fable game. Uh, you can actually go way back in time and find me and Claire playing Fable 3. It's really early on in the channel's history, but it's that. Um, the new Fable, I'm sure we will do whenever the new Fable rocks up too. So there we go. Uh, basically, yes, there's some already that exists, and I'm sure you'll be able to find more uh, in the future. Uh, and the almighty Jackhammer. Hey, Ted. That's a fun username. Oh, you are a good boy, Ted. He's sitting in his good boy seat. Uh, Take out shark number two if at all possible. The almighty Jackhammer's been a member for five months uh, and says, Woohoo, being a member for five months. I've been watching for a couple of years now, I think. Yeah. And just help myself to. That's a net. That doesn't help me at all. Okay, wait for him to do that, Am. Bang! I feel like I'm not going to catch you in a net. I'm, okay, I feel like at this point I have no weapon really. I was really hoping for an, an ammo top up there. Okay, you know what, Mr. Shark, you get to live today. I've decided I'm going to be kind enough to let you live. Sorry, you were saying before I was fighting a shark. Uh, that the almighty Jackham has been a member for five months, but been watching for a few years now. Excellent, eh? Absolutely. And, um... Talk foodie to me uh, gave us five dollars uh, and uh, says uh, any chance this is on your game of the year list. Oh, I know there yes. are some big games still coming, but if you did your list today, also please do more battle lord. Oh yeah, this is this is uh, this. I will be shocked if this isn't get on the game of the uh, game of the year list. Excuse me, I will be shocked if this wasn't on the game of the year list. Like genuinely, I I, I think it absolutely will be. Cut myself to a bit more shark, cut myself to a bit more olive oil, or sesame, sesame seed. Nice. nice. And I might have even found enough net guns to actually be able well, to crack those. Well, there's O2 right there. Huh? No, that's the one I already dropped. So it, you can't just pick it up again. That doesn't oh, count. Okay. Uh, there's an oxygen. There's the... Ah! There's more of that. The A guy. Yeah. yeah, which I swear, I, I think I must just keep swimming past Damn it, I need to find one more bit and I can get some points. So I'm just going to float around on the surface. It definitely can be found at the the higher big jibbles. Yeah, this is the one I dumped before. So I'm not allowed to just have that. But I will top up my option. Just see if I can pick up one more A guy before we pop up to the surface. Clap! Uh, yeah, Ooh, and there is something underneath that you can grab. There's some, there's a, an ore of some kind. Mm, yes, I'm not sure that's the most important thing in the world. That's just copper. I've got so much copper. But while I'm passing by, I may as well. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Paul Wilson, who's been a member for 68 months, uh, which is very nearly nice, and says, uh, first time I've been able to catch a stream live in what feels like forever. I'm happy to be here, even if I have to catch up from the past a bit. Apparently, I just swam straight past Agar. Three what? of them. Swimming past three bushes of Agar. Oh, there it is. I found oh, yeah. it. Damn it, Claire. That was your job. Your job is to boost my perception. No, my, my job is to read the chat. And boost my perception. True. 
it's there we go. We got the eco. Okay, we've got some we've got some good stuff to turn into the the genocide app or like eco something as they call it. There we go. We got the agar. I got it on the second pass. That was the third pass. Everything's fine. And uh, hello there, Dr. Bacon. I've brought you everything you need to generate a tra- I mean, it's very ambitious to say, well, we got one written tablet, so therefore now we can make a universal translator. Let me tell you about Lydia B. Uh, and Lydia A. Oh, lol. Let me use that to make a translator. I mean, th if this guy does it, we give him some Lydia A and let him go nuts, because apparently he can solve the mystery. All right, so he'll presumably be giving me that tomorrow, which is good stuff. And a Sea People Language Translator. And small net, gun still, small net Gun still needs one more. One more. There we go. And a whole bunch of new stuff that we've located. And even more cat food. And a new ring too. I like how it does the little flash. Octopus bracelet. Ooh, that's cute. And I can, use, I can do a little dash. Mm. Okay. I mean, that seems quite good. Yeah. And yeah, equip that, and now I've got like a little dash, which is useful for getting out of the way of large creatures, which are really scary, that are charging yeah, you. Yeah, so no oxygen used, yeah. which is good. But that's really good. Obviously there's a... So in which case, yeah, I'm happy to take the... I'm going to take, yeah, dolphin. Dolphin and octopus. Yeah. Yeah, just focus on the speed. That's the important thing. So, okay. We've got then the shop. Anything we've got to sell? No, we don't, but John, stay focused. Okay, number one, we do have... I've got 27 gold right now, which I should have more than that, because really what I want is to, uh, yes, improve and uh, trade my staff. So Agar is 20 points, which is great. And that is 30 points, which is just enough, I think. Nice, Eco Watch level three. Getting me a brand new poison resist bracelet. Uh, and a few other bits and pieces too. And a load of that can just be turned straight in. So just yet more agar. And yet more murder. Just basically murder the titan the uh, the titan nice. trigger fish. And that's 30. Bit Three more agar. That's 30. So that those are all pretty easy. Murder Jay, jellyfish. Sure you're looking at the fried egg jellyfish. All right, I'm the, sure uh, yeah, that. the orange ones. They, they're, they're ones that are higher up. They're like oh, in, the, okay. in the higher bit. And just a... Uh, wow, that's a load of fossils. Don't even worry about that. Yeah, Blimey. um... Foster says the dash is really useful, but it is shorter than you might expect, so you should test it out a few times we'll before test it, yeah. taking on sharks with it. And then, yeah, we can't do... Weapon is fine. We can't do the weapons for the time being. Obviously, I can't we'll do upgrades. Cat. Yes, but I also need to ideally sell this guy some stuff. Like, that is, yeah, just basic glass. What's worth money? Can I not? I can't arrange this. Um... I just need to have enough money. I'm just gonna sell like a few, a few silver bowls. All right, and just like a little bit, a little bit, just a few bits of, of purple stuff, whatever that is. No idea. Uh, not the iron ore. That's pretty useful, I think. And then yeah, that's enough money for me to do a bit of staff training. Just I just want enough to do some staff training. But you are right. That we need to go and feed the cat. It's very, important. it's very important we feed the cat. And it's possible that, like, you know, someone will, like, you know, if you just nip back to the restaurant during the day, something will happen. Is Ted right behind me again? Oh, no, he's over there now. That's fine. Uh, sell the silver balls, someone was saying. The silver balls are legit. The silver ball Apparently, balls yeah. are legit. Just so. check the descriptions of the item, darling. Yeah. And there we go. No, I'm just enjoying the feeding the cat first. Oh, baby cat. And. I like that there's an extra big heart at the end. There we go. Big meow. And hang on, do I have an inventory? Tips calculator. I don't know why I've got a calculator, but I do. Album eco washer. Yeah, weather. It's got it's not got other stuff phones have got. Also, really there's a mini game section, but I've got no games to play. So I'm not sure whether at some point I'll meet like a game developer or something delightful like that. So okay. Weapons. Oh, silver balls are for selling. Okay, back to the McJibble. Hang on, back to the boat. Now we fed the cat. It's very important. I can feed the cat tomorrow. The calculator does work. Or well, admittedly, I tested it with four, uh, four, four multiplied by two. Uh, at one point, I think it just wasn't in the video because it was particularly interesting. It just worked. Uh, but yes, hang on. 
Now, they say there was a symbol in the event that it's... Yeah, they said just... I oh, should try screen. selling it. Okay, that's what it does. It's not a symbol on the thing. It's just it's a thing. It's probably worth a lot of money. It says from the pearl. But it doesn't say I should sell it. But is that, is that a function the same thing? Well, I assume so. Yeah. Okay, and then, no, no. Use to craft weapons. This doesn't say that or the <laughs> other. Use to craft weapons, use to craft weapons. I mean, I think I think trophies from animals are okay to sell. No, you need those for crafting. They were really, they wanted you to keep that tooth. Oh, never mind. Oh, well, I well, sold it now. Yeah, no, I know that. Well, it didn't say keep it. I was it reading also the didn't say sell it. Eh, potato, tomato. Right, so now... If it says this is worth money, you sell it. It did say that was worth money. The, the tooth. tooth? Yeah, it said that was worth money. Okay. I think so, anyway. Uh, so, okay, uh, I w don't have a proper mission till tomorrow. So, in which case, I may as well just go in and basically... Uh, one, look for weapon boxes to see if I can craft the weapons. No, not the teeth, says the chat. Okay. Very, some people very sad I just sold the teeth. Oh, well. well, 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 well teeth well. didn't say it's worth money. It just had a price, but it didn't say that in text. I just double checked. Wow. Oh, hang on. There's something going on underwater. Oh, uh oh. Oh, I don't like it. Clack, get out of the water, get out of the water, get out of the water. No, 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 no. No, I don't like big things. I don't like big. No, 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 no. Object. Shoot it. Shoot it. I've got a sniper rifle. Do that. It's probably tasty. No. What am I supposed to be doing with this thing? Oh, sweet, it's beautiful. It's supposed to be. It's faster than me. I don't like it. It's big and it could eat me. John. The humpback whales eat you? No. No. How? Whales eat worms, don't they? Well, some whales do. Not all of them. Some of them might be dicks. Where's it gone? It's a filter feeder, says Chris. Yeah, well, I might be in the filter. Have you not seen Finding Nemo? What if, like, there's a fish that's in the filter? It gets, like, caught up. You're not a fish. Kind of a fish. I'm smaller than some of the cocking fish. Wherever it is, fortunately, it's gone. Thankfully, it's pissed off forever. Look, I can go and get myself a new shark tooth right now by just shooting this bastard. There we go, you see? Hopefully, I can get myself a new tooth right now. Boom. Just needs to murder additional fish. I mean, I've got a head. There's got to, if, if I fail to get a single tooth out of a head, I am very bad at this. So I can just start stabbing you. Excellent. Clap. Yeah, shout out to Chris, who uh, has been a member for seven months and said, I bought Dave the Diver after your video. I'm absolutely loving it. Thank you for another great recommendation. It is such a lovely game. It's And unreal. I will say thank you right back to the chat because that was a chat recommendation. We uh, It did. I mean, I know you had heard about it, but we were told about it multiple times. It did times come up stream. a lot of times on stream, and that absolutely encouraged me to get to it sooner rather than later. So, like, recommendations absolutely do uh, do do that. Mm. Hey, buddy. It's friend, not food. Uh, I don't know about that. Right, to keep taking out more and more barracudas. Clap. While well, I'm doing that. Yeah, shout out to Sam, who uh, gave us £20 and says, Greetings to all the good people's uh, Republic of MATN. Uh, da, 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 da. Might Aliens Dark Descent uh, be on your motion tracker anytime soon? If you're enjoying XCOM 2, one of my uh, goat games, you might dig it. Please give Ted a nice stroke. Uh, I've heard some good things about it. It's not on my imminent radar, but speaking of XCOM 2, there might be something a little bit xcom -y coming up pretty soon on the channel actually. It might be a thing that's been brought up in chat uh, earlier. Oh, was it? And I had to uh, say no comment and wink wink. Oh, okay. Yeah, that might just be, you're right, that's a rip, that, that, that dot, that dive is extraordinarily short range, I will say. Six. And uh, yes, indeed, I have just no, cannot confirm nor deny that uh, this morning I did a uh, first pass of a, a very ex commy thing for John. Yeah, it might be a bit of a slightly uh, uh, alternative ex commy thing coming up very, very soon indeed on the channel in like a couple of days, maybe, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And 
anyway. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Adam who gave us 10 Canadian dollars. High level dollars. Uh, and says, happy Thursday. I've got a thunderstorm rolling through. So perfect timing to uh, be on a stream to keep me inside and dry. Have fun. Be nice to Claire. And please pet Ted for me. Uh, I'm not sure about this be nice to Claire thing. Well, I am sure about petting Ted. And we have definitely been giving Ted extra petting in this live stream. Bless uh, him. And lots of love. Yeah, he's been a little bit itchy, sad little doll. There we go. I must have to plenty of red tooth trigger fish because those guys actually generate a some good stuff. I, I think I've got one of the recipes for them, so they're pretty common easy to catch, but I can make some good stuff out of them. Clap. Yeah, shout out to uh, Michael Schmidt who gave us twenty dollars and says, in defence of the colonies, at least uh, Clerk Clark doesn't sound like an invasive bird species. Wow. Does Clark sound like? No, Clerk? I just think Clark just sounds like... Clark sounds classy. Clerk sounds... Bleh. Nah, it's wrong. It's wrong. Gosh darn it. This is why you guys can't be trusted with independence. Because you say things like Clerk. Just because it's spelt like Clerk, it doesn't mean you get to say it like Clerk. For goodness sake. Dear oh I flipping mean, dear. To be fair, it's not like England believes most people should be trusted with independence. Yeah, that's but true. You know. It is just, that's that's fair. That's that's not that's not untrue. Oh, I mean, really, I think this would be a good time to roll it back. Like when America broke away, we had a king, right? What have we got now? A king. King. I think, therefore, nice, elegant, full circle. You know, it rhymes. Uh, that this would be an excellent time for us to, you know, potentially go and just like you know bring bring America back. Get, get it back in the fold. John, we have enough problems as it is. That's true. Wow, Claire, that's just your dad. Wow. Asking for trouble there. Okay, I'm I think sorry, I'm... but we have enough problems as it is, and America has enough problems as it is. We don't want to be saddled with each other. We should have a counter for the amount of Agar John swims by lol. Okay. So we we'll just just quick one in and out. Just get myself a little bit of food, a little bit of ready for the restaurant. Nothing too dramatic today. Banco's giving me... Oh. We have a strange customer. Could you come over? All right. We've got a noisy customer. Interesting. Also, yeah, check the management apps if there's anything we need to do. That was a holiday. So that's absolutely fine. Yeah, we're very, very comfortably taking care of that. But don't forget, the whole point is I've saved a lot. I've made a lot of money by selling things I wasn't supposed to sell exclusively so we could do staff training. We can, you can have us back if we get healthcare. Uh, yes, well. Okay, so. Staff, staff, staff. Which is, we are hiring. And yes, we could start hiring if we wanted to. But I think we're okay for now. Because until we hit gold, we literally can't have more staff. So we're already as staffy as we can do. You need to be trained for 215. And that will mean you can start drink serving. So okay, you can now both drink serve. Which is great. And she's up to, wow, 99 serving already. Nice. And you can be trained up to 91 for just 150. Because you're only... Wow. So that's much better. And presumably, yeah, next level, I think, is the learn something level. Then you can start prepping. And 10% chance of increasing the number of plates. Increasing the number... What, like two for the price of one? I guess so. I guess so, yeah. Like that one time that a dude on MasterChef was like cooking each plate in a separate pan and the chef had to tell him, no, you just make a bunch of it and then you plate up in different plates. Yeah. So, okay. They're all level three, which means it's about 300 for more. So everyone's level three. So the serving should now do way, way better, which is fine. And with that done, we've now got a mysterious noisy oh. customer. So who dares interrupt me? I'm not hoping you can't come in like this, aren't you? Straight to us, just saying a few words. Hello, who are you? I was an amazing diver before I took a harpoon in the day. And so you're a diver. I am also a diver. You must know the diver's dream of swimming in all the seas of the world. Uh, forests of coral, pods of sperm whales, fights to the death of... Yep, I've done that. I, I killed one of them. Would you like to try it? I'm pretty sure we've still got some in the kitchen. And uh, moray eel curry. But yes, people were saying that was like a nighttime dish, I believe. 
So if you can make it, I'll give you a nice thing. They hide in the rocks. How'd you get one? You know, to dive, you don't know about your ecology. They're nocturnal. Do you have gear for night diving? I had to get a flashlight. That should do fine. Go night diving. Catch more eel. I'm going to dive in that for a while. Maybe I'll try it. You can now dive once every night. There are many nocturnal fish out at night. You'll also see exotic fish. Pay attention to the sushi bar's opening hours. Like, do, do you mean I can... Can I do it now and still be here in time for the restaurant to open? Is that... Chat, can, can, I, can I go and do it right now and I don't miss service? Like, d do I have less time? To do it, I'm going to wait for chat to tell me precisely how that works. Like, because it I'm just says, watch out now. for the opening time, suggesting there's, like, more of a time limit than usual. Claire, when well, I'm waiting for chat to give me the, the slight summary on precisely how that works. Yeah, shout out to Kater Tots, who's been a member for eight months, and says, John, say frothy amethyst challenge. Petting Ted is on the line. I refuse. Claire can just pet Ted instead. That's how, we, that's how we dodge this. Oh, baby, I'm sorry your dad doesn't love you enough to say frothy amethyst. Frothy amethyst. Perfect. Now go pet the dog. Yep, I pet him after the stream. Oh, you get so many pettings after me. Hello, baby dog. Yeah, you're fine. We're giving him antihistamines with every meal. Oh, there we go. So, okay, presumably I need to set the menu anyway before I go, if service is going to start before I get back. So, in which case, level one red f red tooth to trigger fish. But that's the, yeah, that's the red tooth trigger fish. Let's just enhance that straight up to level three. And, uh, oh yeah, there we go. A little salt base shake, etc. We saw that one before. That's fine. So, that starts level three. Let's put that straight on the menu, and... Oh, don't forget, I Bravo, need to get... Bravo, John, you did it. That was really good. I can't believe it. If yes, I... you did it. I think if I do this, this now gets up to beyond 125, meaning that's what we need for gold. So even though this is useless, I'm going to put all five of it on the menu. You can leave the menu, menu service uh, waits for you, but you just have less time. Oh, you just have less time to do it. I see. Yeah, okay. I get you. And yeah, get you up to level three. Why not? And yeah, we'll put like all six of you on there. Because presumably now we've got the kitchen flying and ever and we're we're going up in popularity. Yeah, this is just gonna get more and more and more as time goes by. I'm gonna put all ten sharks on the menu. So that's like yeah, that's already like b -b -b actually there's loads of there's loads of surfings of that. That's already like gone thirty. Gone thirty plates of food. We do have, uh, yes, the uh, the new white trevely dish that we created. If I enhance that, that's going to go up to level two. It's pretty good, though. Yeah, you know what? That's ten servings all by itself. So, okay, that's, that's the advantage of the dishes. The dishes are worth often a lot. And then beyond that, we'll literally just put... Oh, the dishes is, uh, you mean when you add extra ingredients? Yeah. The, yeah. The, the, uh, no, not when that's upgrading. I mean, like, the dish, like, the special ones where there's loads of, like, the the, uh, the head. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you mean. Literally one up for five. That's fine. So that's ready to go, but we're not going to open the thing just yet. We're going to have a shorter night tonight. Okay. He's going to waste so much food, lol. Oh, well. If you get, you're gonna get less customers if you night fish. You know what? I wouldn't mind making the money. Maybe we should. Uh, you can only dive once a night. A third of your working hours will be consumed. Such a waste. Okay, I'm going back to go to sushi. I'll dive tomorrow when I'm, I'll put less food out. There we go. I'll put less food out tomorrow. Can't, I, I can't abide the idea of wasting, wasting food, food no, like on purpose. Exactly. Everyone know. Every, they they they've hit they've hit my weakness in the chat. They've hit <laughs> my weakness. I can't deal with that. Okay, open the bar. But now the staff are absolutely killing it. The kitchen's going to be absolutely powering things out. So it's all going to be fine. I don't even need to do anything. 
All right, you guys can take care of this. Just look at this. Look at this right here. People are going to be like... You just need to do the wasabi, yeah? Uh, I think he can do that now as well. Oh, yeah, because he's so good at everything. Yeah, so everything just sort of happens by itself. No, I don't even, I don't even need to do this. I'm fine. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Just need the annoying, the, the annoying guy right here. Everything's absolutely fine. Just put all of this in. I mean, the stuff is flying out of the kitchen right now. Like, they, 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 they're not even keeping up with that. Even with... Three weight staff does well, a lot. Well, I mean, I guess you could also wait more like in the wings and uh, do like. Yeah, jump in in the event it becomes a problem. Let's just get that done. Make sure the wasabi stays nice and full up. You definitely need plenty of that. Get you two there. But this is pretty good. This is pretty good. There's also things. Sorry, I just ran straight past you. I didn't notice you were there sitting right by the kitchen. Like an agar. Sorry, my mistake. Yes. I don't uh, no finish that's that's probably another one I've probably been avoiding saying because I wasn't sure whether I was saying it right or not. Lol. Okay, we've got uh, bit, we've probably got a little bit. We've definitely got we've definitely got a little bit of food waste tonight. Like quite a lot of food waste actually. Uh more than I was expecting. To be honest, I was expecting to sell more of this. So probably definitely better I didn't uh didn't do that. But then again, hang on. I think it's partly because some people have bought the cheap stuff. There you go. There's your McJibble. That's all absolutely fine. And you can't have anything. You're not allowed. I feel like for maybe for the first time ever, we've made less money than we've made on a previous night. But bare minimum. Yeah, we're up to 99 there. No! We did just make slightly more money. We did. We just made more money. But it was close. That was that was close. And there was definitely some waste there, unfortunately. We maybe had to like throw out like half of that. That was just yeah, less than I was expecting. Yeah, so I guess you need you can actually upgrade stuff way more. Yeah. Because you don't need as many portions or sort of. Presumably, yes. So okay. In a single day he's translated a never before seen language. With Duff as well. And he also then created an you know, he then loaded it into Google Translate and it can help be done automatically. Excellent. Probably get out of my house. My wife is dead. Uh, but okay. Well, apparently we can now find out what the sea people... Probably have. my wife is dead. You have to help. All I need is Agar. Okay, and... Uh, what precisely does Duff want? Are you satisfied with your guns? That's if they were better. I'm guessing... Uh, yeah, I can now have uh, high quality guns right from the start, right? Just remember, they've been created... Can be in, only guns I've been created can be enhanced... And yeah, gun enhancement. So okay. This is absolutely fine. Weapon enhancement. I'm guessing that's like materials, etc. Yep, enhance them. And create materials and gun fragments to make them more powerful. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. So yeah, the sniper rifle, which I've already made, though... Hang on. What, didn't it just say it was at the wet his own way? Ah, upgrade over here. Press X. Okay, that's fine. Sniper rifle can be made into... Oh, wow. If only you had a, to a shark tooth. Or indeed some purple stuff. Mm. Uh, I did three, so that's fine. I think you sold like two of them. <laughs> Whatevs. Uh, I definitely sold two of those. I definitely, yeah. I definitely <laughs> sold two of them. That's definitely oh, true. Oh, well. That's definitely true. So just red sniper too, just more powerful. Honestly, that's not too bad. That's just yeah, some more of the ore. And I'm going down to the bottom to say hi to those guys like right now. So that's absolutely fine. Or I could just upgrade the um, yeah, the axle, which is like the shotgun. That one's absolutely fine. Cuttlefish. Okay, so basically I shouldn't have sold those things. Oh. Yes. The number of customer is fixed. Uh, so don't put cheap stuff out, and if you prep less food, uh, yeah, you can prep less food. If you run out, you can go back to the prep, prep menu and time stops. Eh, yeah, okay. And yeah, unfortunately, if I upgrade the rifle, then what's going to happen is that's going to eat up so many fragments, it's going to make it hard to do anything else going forward. Though, admittedly... The quattro axle is pretty good. So, yeah. just And getting... it's also doable right now. What can and you upgrade the sniper rifle to? Same basic thing. Just mm. either more powerful or add an element. But They're you all don't, the same. yeah. I don't even the know. The only if... thing you can upgrade is the axle, is it? Yeah. 
I could also do the underwater rifle, but like mm -hmm. if I do, it just eats so many fragments, I wouldn't be able to do the others. So I feel like I want to hold off till I've got the purple stuff, the mysterious purple gem that, that we cannot name, um, in order just to get the sniper. Because I quite like the sniper rifle, I think it's good. So I wouldn't just mind just a straight up upgrade of the sniper rifle just to maximize damage, to be honest. So yeah, I think that's what we want. We're going for the purple gems down below. That's That's important right there. And we've also got the ability to, should we wish to, uh, spend some money. Ah, screw it, the harpoon gun. Needs to be better. A pump harpoon gun? Nice. Uh, and yes, then could go up to uh, even flipping more right there. So, all right. Hold that for the time being. I feel like we're... Then again, you know what? Diving suit. I mean, we're, de we're, we're getting down to... The we, we hit the critical depth down below previously. We've literally got to that. Yeah, let's get it done. So, all right, we're safe in that regard. So, yeah, we're pretty much fives and sixes across the board here. Oh, they have mentioned it, but it's easy to miss. You can now scrap weapons during dive and it makes fragments. Oh, nice. So, yeah, you're not going to run out of fragments because you can do the weapon scrap thing. Yeah. Well, I don't know how much they make. You might still, you could well, still, yeah, you could still run out. You could out. definitely run out of them. But, all right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Upgrade the harpoon to make that a little bit better. But, yeah, basically, we just need to... Uh, go back down to the bottom uh so that's oh and we've got the radar back as this is now actually a big jibble so that's absolutely fine all right just gonna go back down in that direction clap yeah shout out to unmorbid who gave us five dollars uh, and says thanks for everything everyone i would like to get this game but i'm afraid i get into it too deep yeah I mean, it's it's surprisingly big as well. There's a spi uh, there's a surprisingly a large amount of stuff in it. It must be said, yeah. Uh, dear, oh dear. Let's see. And there we go. I think actually I can just start doing that now. Yeah. Uh, the game had not told me about that previously. So use weapon fragments acquired from disassembling to request enhancements right there. But yes, I will absolutely be taking a shock harpoon tip number one right now because that is just superior to what I've got. So that's absolutely fine. So, all right, keep on moseying downwards. And I should remember to take off the octopus, because honestly, that's incredibly flimsy and bad. That, that just doesn't seem worth it to me. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Lord Missing Number, who uh, has been a member for 11 months. And since this game isn't for me, but it is so charming and I adore it, uh, I hope it'll come around uh, every once in a while. Trans it's, rights. Trans rights. It's an interesting one. It's, it's a very cute, fun little game. I do rather yeah, like Yeah, I mean, it. I can see how even if it wasn't something that someone would want to play, like, it's just, yeah. It's one of those things where it delights you so much yeah. that it is just always fun to watch you play. No, no, no. No, no trouble, buddy. No mm. trouble. Then again, actually, I say no trouble. There's literally ammo right here. Bang! Bang! Double. Bang! Ammo. Can you harpoon him though? I know because um, the big bosses you can't pull them in anyway because they're too big. Oh sure, sure, sure. And possibly was... if you killed him without with the harpoon, that it would have been. Then it's already he was already quality two. I doubt he would have been quality three no, from a harpoon. No, quality three coup. you need to to take them I think alive and you need. And something. that's an enhanced harpoon level two, but I lose the energy. So in which case we'll just hold that. We'll break that down and. Three fragments for a breakdown. You know what? That's actually not bad. That's yeah, pretty generous. Yeah, I think it depends. Yeah. The amount of fragments you get kind of depends on the, the quality of the weapon or the size. But uh, as folks were saying, maybe two to four. Yeah, so, that's pretty good. Know, it's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah, 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 that's actually yeah. pretty generous. I'm okay with that. All right. Well, we just mosey on back down to where we want to go. Clap. Yeah, absolutely. Shout out to Hannah, who's been a member for 13 months. Uh, and says, John Claire Ted, I hope you're all doing well. John, are you planning a video for the new Solaris expansion? I'm playing it right now. It's very interesting. Uh, Paragons. Mm. I've been meaning to for a while, but I just haven't quite got round to it yet. But yes, I'm absolutely sure at some point, 100%. Though actually, you know what, John? Don't forget. To scrap, Pick yeah. this up, because if nothing else, now you can... Yeah, you can one, pick it up, which means, I assume, it will count against, I found this thing. And then to scrap it for the fragments. So now I assume I can craft my own tranquilizer dart. I'm not sure what I actually would want such a thing, but at some point it may well like you know come up and be you may useful. Need it for a mission exactly. Or something, yeah. It might someone be like, well, I keep, I'll only eat this if it was tranquilized because I'm an ethical sushi eater or something. I don't know, something like that. Mm -hmm. And into the limestone cave, which I can just cut down. 
cut through to get down, everything will be fine. Clap! Yeah, shout out to uh, Miguel, uh, shout out to Miguel, sorry, who is a new channel member. So welcome, uh, welcome to the Green Club, Miguel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, and Daniel gave us $5 and wants to know if there's any chance you can make a stream for the text-based game Zork from 1977. Uh, I would love that. Those super old school like games are often not my thing because I don't have the nostalgia for them. Like you should definitely for for games like that you should definitely go for the people who've got like the old school nostalgia. For and that who sort have of thing. like played it, you know. Exactly, yes, hundred yeah. percent, yeah. I mean the thing also is that text based, you know, like in a live stream. It... Yeah. No no no, I didn't get that. I forgot that was the, the puzzle I was about to ask for. But that one's an easy one if you just get your hand in the right position. So, all uh, right. But yeah, like with a text-based game as well, it's kind of difficult with the... Yeah, yeah. it is, yeah. It's it's not really quite my thing, the text, the entirely text-based games. And it's harder to just keep the, the pace and the energy. Yeah, the end, it is. Anyway, it is absolutely a bit um, more difficult, yes. But yeah, next time I'm up top, definitely remember to change out the... Ah, the dart gun is great for getting three-star uh, fish. Yeah, obviously, Like three-star yeah. small fish. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that makes sense if that's what you really wanted to do. Uh, Foster has been a member for 23 months. Nice. Uh, and says, hey, John and Claire, I hope things are going well. Uh, John, you can use your harpoon on large fish. It'll just kill them eventually instead of catching them. I know, but it's very slow. Yeah. It's extremely slow. But I guess just if you are running out of ammo. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Hmm. So, okay. Just straight back down. This one, I think, is a guaranteed UV light at the start of this area. Nice. Yeah, always. So, just get that. Instead, get rid of the already pretty low scooter. Grab orange starfish. Grab things that this should be. The right location. Light you guys out of the way right there. Just get you guys out of the way, please. And now, once again, just break into this guy's home. And this time... Just to actually, we can actually speak to him properly. Like, oh Hello. my goodness, shout out to uh, Richard Lawson who gave us $50. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, Richard said, thank you for the content and pets for Ted. Pets for Ted. Yes, we will give him jump mm. pets. And, Ooh. okay, buddy, I would like to buy your wife's lower half. Oh, come on, John. Come on, here we go, Ooh. here we go, here we go. Oh. How is a landlord speaking our language? An interesting creature. His body looks different from that of the humans we occasionally see. Well, in any oh, case, looking rude, man. Everyone's rude to Dave. It's great. My name is a Swimmin. Uh, wow. Hello, Ted. Hello, yes. Oh, you are a good boy. Among us low dwellers, oh, you said you call us sea people, right? You could say I'm the coolest and bravest male among them. Was your wife dead then? Yeah, I'm Dave. Dave, in our language, your name sounds very similar to broken toilet lid. <laughs> in any case, the person I here is the daughter of the sea people village chief, Ramo. Ever since being kidnapped by that super giant squid, she's been unconscious. If I'd known about the paternal, I'd have shown that squid a thing or two. She's got a big head for defeating that insignificant squid. I am the one that guards Ramo. In that case, you are you really are a noisy one. In any case, you seem to have something to say. Uh, what is it? In order to, uh, yes, for them to recover, I need medicinal herbs. I'm unable to leave her, so I must stay and look after her. Human, acquire the herbs. The feather coral and lily coral grow in these parts. Please make them edible and bring them to me. And go find a chef or something. Okay. Nice. Fair enough. And just just out of interest, just out of interest. Gosh darn it, you can't harpoon either of them. Stop trying to harpoon the people. Just, it, it, it's important. Pet your dog instead, John. Hello, Ted. Oh, yes. Hello, honey bum. Oh, did you want outside for a I think he time? wants a little break. Okay. You give him I'm a little... Taking outside for a you you take Ted out for a little break. I think he needs a little break. I think he's a bit bored. Sorry, he's just a little bit full of beans today. Yeah. There we go. So, all right. Get my way out. Now, admittedly, I didn't see... I've kind of done the rounds a little bit already, and I didn't see that coral he's mentioning. I saw, like, you know, various bits and pieces here. And... No, you don't, buddy. And... No. Keep with paralysis. And... Keep on it. Come on. And... There we go. Oh, wow. 
I completely fluff that one. That's absolutely fine. But at this point, yep, just keep it wiggling, keep it wiggling. Lovely. Fang tooth. Two star. Everything's fine. And oh, I see you. And can I get you to come out? Bang. No, you can't. Okay. That's fine. Just avoid you. But guaranteed pickaxe. Just avoid you. Oi! Said avoid you. This is what we need to upgrade the sniper rifle to level 2. Nice. And you are. No, we've already caught one of you. We've already caught one of you, so you're fine. And I've got spare oxygen, so that's fine too. So, okay. There was, yeah, the way to get much more forward at all was. Hang on, we do actually need more. Yeah, we do need more of you. It was this way. This way was there was a fair bit more going on. Like, the one up top was just what looked like a fairly small cave with just, uh, yeah, just a few bits and pieces in it. So, ow! Sorry, got my angle a bit wrong there. Sorry about that. And, and again. And again, that's fine. Get you out. Okay, now remember where this entrance is. This entrance is... Oh! Okay, well, that's... That's easy than I expected it to be. Feather Coral. Obviously, yeah, I kind of knew whether... I wonder if it's in that other cave. Well, I see there's, like, a sign here. And I definitely have the other cave where there was the... The big shark. That's a whip. No. Avoid that. No, 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 no. No tr Oh! Oh, hello! There's a very big fish in the background. But I think he's just background detail. Okay. Don't worry, buddy. Oi, 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 oi. None of that. None of that. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No. And bang! Two for the price of... They're not dead. Okay. Two for the price of one. As I was just saying. Because I just want to improve my gun if at all possible. And... Poison Harpoon. Ugh, I mean, it's more damage. I'm not keen on the... The thing, really. Also, that's just a basic flask. And as that's there, yeah, as I've changed it out, you may as well break it down. Wish that didn't take quite so long. Feels like it takes a little bit aggressively too long, to be honest. Now, is there anything, like, around here? If I just loop around this way. You're one of the ones that explodes. Just keep looping around. Yeah, you're going to a sea people building. Okay, there's a... Ow, 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 ow. Okay, 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 okay. That's fine. They've exploded now. Still have plenty of oxygen. It's fine. So, okay. Whatever's here. We now know there's a door I cannot to get through. And that was actually the peach seashell I needed. Nice, by sheer coincidence. Okay. So, that's this way. And there's also... There we go. Now, just GTFO. Good, 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 good. Right. Now, this area, not here. I know I can go further down. This weird creepy fish in the background, and I don't like it. And go. go and no. Brown, that's, that was a basic brown seashell, dear. Oh, there it is. Gotcha. Flipping gotcha. Got both of the things I need uh, right now. But they did say I can't just let it needs to be like prepared. So, okay. We know what we need to do now. Nip back to the surface. Basically, kill anything I want to eat on the way back up. Oh, hang on, where's the, ex the exit again? Is this it? There we go. We found it on this occasion. Just wait. Out the way, please. Out the way. Out the way, out the way, out the way, out the way. Let's just mosey on back towards the surface. And my lights run out. That's absolutely fine, because they're not... Oh, they're, they're regrowing a little bit. There we go. Job done. No problem. No trouble at all. Straight back out to here. Excuse me. No, na naff off. Naff. Naff off. Naff off. And now you're taking damage from poison. And this one is... Hang on. What was the poison minigame? I've seen the poison minigame before. Was it... Oh, yeah. It's it's rotating the stick. It's rotating the stick. And we just got gotcha. you. Hopefully turn a fang tooth into something delicious. Top of the auction. We're doing... Ow! I forgot about you. Sorry to not see you there. My mistake. And then, yeah. There was... Over on the left here. This was quite a small area, I think. If I keep going in this direction, this just takes me out, right? Yeah, there's... Okay, I should remember this is there. You don't need to go all the way over to the 
you do not need to go all the way over to the, the left. There's definitely another way out that's a bit easier to get to, I think. I think this is... Is this the far side of that? Oh, that's where you are. Okay. Bang! Screw you. I just feel like shooting that shark, to be honest. That shark just annoys me. If, there's, if, there is, if there is spare ammo around here. There is not spare ammo around here. Instead, there's more monsters around here. How about we just jazz? GTFO straight upwards. Is this into the... Yeah, this is just another exit from the limestone caves by the Lucy of it. Guys, get out of the way, please. Get out of the way. I'd like an upgrade, actually. That's the net gum. I will take it and... Oh, hang on. Net gum. Net gum will let me, presumably, have a three-star white spotted jellyfish. Nice. nice. So, yeah. we went out and tried to do we and didn't even bark even though he was looking around for something. He definitely saw something earlier in the garden, I think. Yeah, he yeah. definitely did. Anyway, I had to clean his face with the cloth and he doesn't like that, so I'm giving him a chew. Oh, well, a lamb chew? Yes. <gasps> a second lamb chew? Yes. What, Claire? <laughs> no, I'm already doing it. I've taken it out. He's seen it. D this, is, this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. Claire, don't, don't, don't listen to her, Tad. She's spoiling you. Yes, I mean, I know, she, I know I'm know, i spoiling him, but I he's looking really sorry for himself right now. I can't right believe now. you just gave this dog a second lamb chew. They were small. This is... Oh, there's a fossil, by they the way. They were small. This is... I can't believe this, Claire. This is... I can't believe you do this. And help myself to some lovely clownfish. They're just, 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 just. There we go. I think he bought and he a bit sad because he's very itchy. It's not that itchy. I think you are. Li you're being a, you're a little bit overreacting. Oh, blimey, that was the wrong one to shoot. No. Oi. Get, get out. Get away from the thing. I'm with the barracuda. I agree we need to do some things to, like, make sure he's comfy. I think you might be a tiny bit over-babying him. Yes, because he's my baby! <laughs> he's I can't argue time. with that logic. I can't argue with that logic. He's one time. Okay, just as long as he doesn't get used to wanting a second lamb chew in the evenings. He's not getting it. Tomorrow you can't give him a second lamb chew no, in the evenings. Because otherwise he's going to start expecting it. Yes, but John, tomorrow we won't be live streaming at like 11.45. And That's we can true. be with him in a hangout and pet him and squitch him and stuff. That's true. Like, There we go. Did I forget to pick up the fossil I cracked open? That sounds like a thing I do. It does. And can I collect like a whole group of these guys? No, that's just one. I Still mean, I guess technically we probably can, but uh, yeah. We're collecting, we're collecting good, we're collecting good fish here. Mm. This is oh, <gasps> a picture of a turtle. I've just apparently stumbled across a random turtle. Zoom. Wait, where's... Coming up, up, up. Oh, you're right. And hold to focus. It's literally eating a jelly. No. Nice. Apparently there was an optional goal there. I will take that. Apparently you can just redo it if you said you don't like that. And That's heart. Really good. There we go. So, okay, in case you'll just stumble across some stuff happening of that nature. And, oh, that moray eel. Buddy, 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 buddy. Tonight I'm coming back for you, all right? I'm coming back for you. Claire. Uh, yeah, shout out to Dragomir who gave us uh, 500... Uh, Serbian... Din <laughs> no, I can't wow. remember the name wow. of the currency. Okay. Serbian dinars! I was right! I just didn't want to say it wrong. Alright, we got the thing. We got both the things, actually. We've now got all the guns, and I've brought a photo for Udo. It's a good photo of a turtle. And uh, I'll put your picture to good use. Gets me not that much money, really, is it? Yeah, but like... Slightly underwhelming money, really. You have nothing to... Okay, and we're going to get rid of the octopus. I don't, really like, I don't really care for the octopus. Instead, I can either have, yeah, damage down by 10%. Increases poison resistance. I'm not even sure if I've, I've been poisoned at all. Or survive a certain period of time after running out of oxygen. I mean, no offense, damage taken is oxygen. 
So I feel like Eco Health over Octopus. I'll go for Eco Health and Dolphin. Yeah, anyway, uh, as I was saying, shout out to Dragomir who says, Here's to many years of struggling to explain to people why I watch people play video games. Lol. Really, just two people, John and Dan. Have oh. a great evening. Have a great evening too. That's some pretty good people to watch, to be honest. So there we go. Red Sniper Rifle is now up to two, which I'm going to do. And uh, it will cause the Alistair Materials to vanish. That's absolutely fine. So in which case, here we go. Oh, here we go. He's a strange one, is our weaponsmith. But mm -hmm. now I get to start every mission with a red tomb. And then still upgrade it if I happen to find the right things down below. Which is very exciting indeed. And I can also just craft, yes, the uh, net gun. I just quite enjoy how he's got a magical gold transformation for making a gun. And in this case, I do not have the gold to create the hush start. So honestly, that's all absolutely fine. Though by any chance, have we now actually got... Okay, research shells. Yeah, I picked up the... Picked up the... Uh, those guys. And... Hang on. Yeah, that's another 30. So that was... Hang on, there's research shells. Yeah, I need even... Wow, I need even more flipping pings. I can definitely turn in all of you, mind. And that is, I've got the, I've got the good starfish down below. I just need way more reds and oranges, and also more agar. So all right, fair enough. And just keep murdering the titan triggerfish. So all right, that's that's a good starting point. Though. Oh wow, it's now it's 580. Okay, that that's a big step up from level two. It's gonna be a while before we're ready for the next eco watch. Blimey. But yes, what we need to do now is go back to the restaurant because one, we need to feed the fish. The cat. Yeah, that's true. Feed feed the cat. We don't Presumably, feed the fish. But don't feed him fish. Just just feed uh, feed Momo uh, cat food. There we go. Feed common cat food. I mean, the cat, I hope the cat doesn't realise we need just common cat food. Just like any old cat food. Mm -hmm. It might be sad about that. There we go. Excellent. But more importantly, check in with all our new staff, etc. Are you exercising? All energy comes from the muscles. Excellent. Right, you. Coral prepared. So I think we start with porridge. Give me a moment. Here we go. Oh my god, you're in a But only as like, you know, admiring someone else doing something cool. I mean, to be fair, he is very cool. There we go. So, a lovely porridge. I mean, I feel like if I wanted to make something that was edible to, like, an underwater person, it wouldn't be a porridge. Wouldn't the porridge just, like, splooge outwards and when it's under the water? The yeah, fair enough. So, we've got that. So, this afternoon, we can just take that straight back down to Raymo. This evening, we're getting a moray. And, yeah, then as a result, in the second half of the service, we can serve that guy. Boom. So, yeah, we're just going to go straight down. Straight down to McGibbly Jibble. Uh, yeah, just the, the deep bits. So straight into the Livestone Cave, uh, straight underwater, etc. And we've got no money or anything, so do not worry about any of that. Clap! Yeah, shout out to Michael, who gave us $5 uh, and says, Hey, John and Claire, your videos have been great during my long, com my long commutes to work and school. I love you guys and give Ted a kiss for me. Oh, we will give Ted many kisses. Yeah, he's busy right now, but we'll give him many kisses when he's done. Yes. Mm. Right, straight on down if nothing else happens to pass by. Obviously, weapon chests are never... I've got a net gun. I didn't mean to bring the net gun. That's kind of what I didn't mean to bring, but okay. Uh, that's fine. That's absolutely... Wait, should I just... No, no I do have that. Ah, uh, well, I guess I may as well use the net gun to get, like, the really flippy good fish. There we go. Like, three-star stuff right over here. Three-star parrot fish, which I assume means, yeah, it yields more food per McJibble. So I guess I may as well just burn the ammo before I replace it with uh, something else. And I'm not fighting anything today, so I guess that's fine. Clap! 
Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Web Stallion, who's been a member for 42 months, uh, and says, hey both, glad for your company uh, while working late. I'm looking to buy this tomorrow. Another game in my library. Thanks to John. Uh, cheers for all the laughs. And there we go. We're also just now hoovering up the little tr the Titan Triggerfish. One more of them will get me some points. Uh, yes, indeed. And Jassim uh, gave us $5 and says, As an American, I'd invite you to consider making uh, Charles III, the second Charles, to lose his crown. <laughs> wow. I mean... Rude, but not unreasonable. It's not like British people... No one likes not, Charles has yeah. never been liked. Charles has never been liked or popular at all. That's that's not a thing he is. He, he never will be. All right. But then again, I suppose yeah, against the fish that are very difficult to to capture. Yeah, you're right. Charles would lose against the difficult fish to capture. Oh dear. Keep on. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't realize you were you guys were there. Don't mind me. No trouble. No trouble, buddy. No trouble. Just for once, I'm not actually fighting you. But yeah, against the bigger, tougher fish, we could just straight up, you know, the ones oh, that are... Oh, there's two of them. There's, that's fine. I'm sure it's fine. They're losing interest. They're losing interest. I just wanted to see them harpoon each other and below. <laughs> Sadly, I'm not sure that's a thing. Fish are not sure have collision versus each other, which is a bit of a shame. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Atomics, who's been a member for eight months. Uh, and says, uh, shout out to both of my cute cats, Mimi, who is a white Australian uh, mix, and Moscow, a Russian blue. Uh, and let me know how I'm supposed to send this, these in. Uh, you can tweet me uh, at Claire Russo on, on Twitter. Uh, it's about the same as uh, you'll see in the chat. And then, uh, and yeah, you can uh, message me those there. Uh, or you can put them in Discord if you want to share them that way, and then the mods can share them. Yes. But yes. So, okay. We're now down below, which is a fine. I know where I am. So, okay, yeah, that's, that's definitely the easy way to go. Just basically ignore the arrow. Just go straight down, and then once you're down here at that point, bear over to the right. That's easier. That's definitely easier. So then, grab all the other trash that's just around. I've already got the light. Don't you need those, like, shells and... Yeah. I'm grabbing them on the way past. And, yeah, I will admit, the net is interesting. Because it basically just... it immediate, It's basically just a one-hit kill. Yeah. It's a one-hit kill for... And there's no, like, ammo, is there? No, no, there's ammo. It's, oh, for it's, the it's net a gun. Ammo. Yeah, it's okay. a gun. It's, it's a gun. Same. If anything, the ammo is actually way lower. Yeah. Like, okay, you know, you, you only get three shots for it. And there's bombs, obviously. Just in case we need to like flip and blow something up, but for the time being, this oh, don't get too excited, Dave. Don't get too excited. Just pop you down, pop you down, pop you down, and down we go. Right, straight in here. Hello, I've brought you some porridge. I'm really sorry about that. It wasn't my idea. A much cooler person than me suggested it, so I just kind of went along with it. To be perfectly honest, and. Uh, Seems to be right. Okay, they seem pretty happy with that. Okay, now we've lured them into a false sense of security. <laughs> now, now we get to flipping stab them in the back. And you see, he's a dick, so it's okay for me to kill him and cut off his lower half. No one will know. He'll just look like a big fish. And I feel much better. I have successfully saved Princess, like Squid Zelda, and a human. What is a human doing here? could say I saved you, defeated the squid, brought you the porridge. Uh, and that's not it, it was actually I who... Uh, Alright then, human, uh, you should escort me back to my village. Uh, I'm an injured lady, I need uh, I need to keep anything dangerous from happening. And Ramo can escort you. Uh, and swimming, you just go ahead and scout the path. There we go, lovely. I know. Stop complaining and be our lookout. As for you, human, you'll have to carry me on your back. Okay, I mean, fair enough. She is into you. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was just can't be bothered to swim and, like, hate this other guy. Like, I'm, I'm feeling less Princess Zelda and more Princess Ruto. Like, Ocarina of Time Princess Ruto. All right. So, okay, we've got to get where we're going safely. And uh, she can open up the tube worm paths. And, yeah, we need to keep her safe from trouble. And I'm pretty sure I know where we're going because we saw a door previously. 
So grab her, though. Wow, I need to hold down right trigger this whole way. Ah, we can just follow this guy. We can just follow this guy the whole way. And if need be, I can just drop her. So, like, if there's trouble, like, there's a squid, just drop her and swim for it. Which is fine. So, okay. Get to there. Can I still attack? No, I can't do any attacks while I've got her on my back. I need to drop her temporarily. They were saying, yes, she just basically deals with this. In fact, she does it, like, way faster. I literally can't get hurt when I've got her. So, okay. We follow him. And yeah, if we, need, we to, need to... Yeah. And if we need to fight, and that's fine. And, yeah, we need to just drop her to grab things. So, yeah, we knew we were going down in here. I think it's just down in here and then to the left. Because we've already been this way, which is good. So, okay, we've already... We've already... In fact, we don't even need this guy to scout ahead. We've already scouted ahead. Like, that time I died. Like, that... It, it was oh, really, yeah, she, really enthusiastic scouting when you think about it. She has a health bar. Oh, that's a health bar. It's weird it's blue. I guess she's a fish. Mm. Like, health bar should be red, but, like... She's a no, that's the magic meter or stamina meter. Clan. All right, all right. I mean, magic meter in traditionally in Zelda was green, but traditionally mana meters are blue. So, like, you know, oh, sorry, sorry, we can't go that way. We're supposed to be following swimming. And there's oh, oh I'll go get him. Ted's Ted's barking at something. He's having a bit of a funny evening, but on top of that, potentially something's going on. And did, did you want me to grab you? Keep on keeping on. I swear we were further down than that a minute ago. Hi, Ted. You're fine, honey buns. You're fine, honey buns. Okay, I don't need the UV light anymore. There's... Oh, oh, there's a big shark. There is a big shark here, and I'm armed with a net, which is a problem. Help myself to tranquilizer. Okay. I mean, it's better than a net if there's a giant shark. Does this does, does a giant shark need fighting right now? Because if so, oh yeah, this is where the big shark was. No, 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 no trouble. No, no trouble. No trouble. No trouble. No trouble. No trouble. No trouble. No, no trouble. No trouble. No tru you don't even look like a nasty shark. You don't want the more friendly sharks that eats like krill or something. All right, chill out. And that shark. I don't know. That shark still being there. Leave me alone, Mr. Shark. Go away, Mr. Shark. Go away, Mr. Shark. There we are. That's right. Ignore you. Get her straight back to the village. And this is not where I expected to go, but... This is the... Never mind. That's, that's an unrelated cave. Unrelated cave. No trouble. Avoid the jellyfish. If we need to shoot them, we need to shoot them. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Ah! Everything's fine. It's all under control. I've got plenty of oxygen. There's oh, there's big scary fish down here. I don't like you. Then again, actually, you're not marked with a red thing, so I think you don't attack. Because you do not have the red diamond of attacking. So I think we're safe. I'm going a long way down here. But then again, I, luckily I upgraded the suit up to the max level. Nice. Uh, we don't need you. Well, not the max level, but like a higher level. Okay, this area is bigger than I thought it was, and. This is, this is not. You're going away from what's his face. It's true. There's, oi, hang on. And that's, I'm trying to just. Okay, what did this? Okay, this guy's not doing anything. We can't get him. Okay, this isn't this isn't entirely right. But on the plus side, there's a clam. I feel like I've gone the wrong way. I feel like I've gone the wrong way, and also apparently I can't kill crabs. Okay, that's. Shoot them, you have to rob them. I can't do anything by the looks of it. Uh. Okay, go back up this way. I can I can't actually boost with her. Do I have to go through? Oh, do I have to go through here? Sorry, I have to go through here. I get it, I get it, I get it, and do we need to, okay, just, 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 ah, oh, I'm so sorry about this, by the way, okay, we just slightly, slightly exploded the princess there, that's fine, I'm so sorry, Ruto, I'm very sorry about that, if you wouldn't mind regrowing your health bar, I would appreciate it, so, okay, 
It's getting close now. Held myself to a lovely sub, but I've got a better sub already. Just no more trouble. No more trouble. No more giant fish, please. And the path is blocked. So if only we had a bomb. Yeah. And... Okay, swimming. Think of something. I need to get back quick before my father scolds me. Maybe we can open the path by dropping a loose rock on it. Aha! So, okay. Well, I've seen these guys before. Maybe if we pull it out. Can you pull the stake out? Hurt my hands with the gloves I'm wearing. I could do it with gloves that are thicker and offer better grip. By any chance, in a hand diving gloves, my lab can help you. Okay, come back to the boats. Right. So fine. We'll need to come back to you later. I mean, there's also a exit thingy immediately. Yeah, there's convenient an exit thingy, which is fine. I'm happy to do a fairly uh, low, low fishing thing right here. If there happens to be anything good in this area, this is nothing but the UV lights. Just check the immediate surrounding area for anything of any note whatsoever, especially as I've got the the yes tranquilizer McJibble. Oh, hello. I see you, buddy. Hey, guys. No, 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 that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, guy. And you are now asleep. Can I just catch you straight away? Yeah! Three-star cookie cutter shark. Okay, you know what? Maybe I can deal with tranquilizers after all. And boom. Whatever that was. That was tranquilizer. Okay, everything's tranquilizer all of a sudden. I've got nothing but tranquilizer. But apparently that does nothing to you. Nothing. I mean, knocked someone. I, I just woke him up again. Oh no, now he's dead. Sorry. I knocked him unconscious. Then I then I woke him up. No. 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 That's that's dead again. Okay, I, I, I'd like you to be asleep. No, sleep. Can I catch you while you're asleep? Yeah. Three star. Three flippant star. Okay, you know what? No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. I'll be having a Blood Belly Cove Jellyfish rank 3. Thank you very, very much indeed. Okay, you know what? We can go back up to the surface and with our backpack full of high-quality jellyfish. Okay, I'm liking Tranquilizer. That's that's actually fun. I've come to appreciate the Trank and the Net today. That's definitely true. So, all right, hang on. The thing was just to this side. Uh, just boost way past this. These little... Scooters do not last long enough. It's slightly silly how little time they last. Okay, up to the top. We can turn those jellyfish in straight away, which is great. We can have, we can have a jellyfish special. We have nice. jellyfish special tonight at the restaurant because that's going to be so much jellyfish. All right, it's going to be great. So, okay. Up we go. Here comes bacon. Yeah, obviously diving gloves. And... Uh, all other objects too. Explain the details tomorrow. Fine. So that's my bit. That's my job tomorrow. Obviously, we're going to send over all the fish to the restaurant, and they say head over to the restaurant. I choose not to head over to the restaurant for the simple reason that I am going into the e into the McJibble. So okay, this is going to be a short service tonight. We're definitely going to make less money, but that's fine. Because we need a more AE. I forgot to change my cocky gun again. That's fine. I've got a net gun. The net gun's fine. Okay. And I mean, I guess if you choose to... If you need to serve fewer portions... Yeah. Then you can upgrade stuff more and sell it for more money. Yeah. That makes sense. All right. Go to here. Immediately have myself to this. So we're now... It's now night. And yeah, there's a triple axle. For murdering those guys. Now. The lights are on right from the get-go here. The question is, we just need to find a moray eel down below. Oh, hello, what's that? I see oxygen. Is that one of those? Okay, so those sharks just they did they just wander a bit more widely during this bit is of the night. Is that agar as well? Huh? Is that agar as well, like around the side? Where? You have to be a bit more specific than around the sides, Glad. Uh Basically, on the right-hand side of, like, that cliff where you go down. Uh, yeah, more common cat food. Nice. Right-hand side of the cliff where you go down. Oh, there's right. the shark, by the way. It could be. Actually, you know what? I don't think it is. 
Okay, avoid you. That's just a blue seashell. Keep upgrading the guns. If I can find some upgrader, that would be brilliant. That's actually the fish I need to kill. That's poison harpoon, which I will take over not you, buddy. My base harpoon is probably fast enough just to uh, finish you off right now. Yep, there we go. Nice and easy. Ah, and you're five out of five on those guys. Yeah. What I need to do really is I need to find a little cave. They live in like little side caves. So I just need to find an area where there's a small little side cave. Oh yeah, there's sharks everywhere this time of night apparently. So okay. So okay, he's about to charge. Okay, and bang. Bang. And then finish him off with the harpoon if we can. And oh, I kind of thought that would be enough to... Are they tougher at night? I think he had way more health than I've seen before previously. That felt like a lot more health than previously. No, that's it's black tip. That's a different shark. Okay, there's tougher sharks in that. Okay, this time of night, the sharks are different. All right, I just need to keep going around until I find myself these guys. And hey, guys. Bang. And oh, blimey. Okay. Get out of the way. Ow, ow, ow. You guys seem nastier. Okay. Need to find a... Just pop my spare oxygen straight away, apparently. That is Agar. Got some Agar. Hello there. Okay. Help myself to you guys. Just keep on killing ya. Alright. I've still not seen... I mean, maybe they're not... The whole point is they're not in the things anymore. Like, previously you just find them in little caves and whatnot. Yeah, maybe they're out now. Yeah, maybe they're out and about. That could be the entire flipping point. The oh, speak of the devil, I think I found one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there you go. Right, get out of the way of him. Out of the way. I don't know how much health he's got, but with this thing, I can kind of outspeed him. Okay. No one said it had to be good quality meat. Okay, it's rank one, but it's it's there. It's fine. It's We've got it. So, okay. I'm just going to have a little bit of a mosey round, because, well, one, if I can find myself some... All, all fish are apparently uh, tougher at night, like, as in, there'll be different creatures, but the creatures that come out at night will be uh, more hostile. Yeah. Uh, they said the fish that come out at night are ferocious. Ooh. Well, fair enough. Let's at the bare minimum just see what's going on at this. I'm not going down to the bottom. Not at night, not on my first trip out. But at bare minimum, I'd like to see what's going on in the mid tier. There's my oxygen. I mean, I feel like also there's more crafting materials. Like, to me, I look at this and think that's more crafting. Like, I, I swear I'm seeing more stuff just sitting around uh, that I've been seeing elsewhere. I think that's true. So, bare minimum, I'd like to have a bit of a loot here that now. Bang! Okay, and you are now poisoned. We'll get you down, buddy. You can only go down 120 meters at night, apparently. Oh. Okay, that is that the point where the game just says, nah. So you can't go down to, like, the sea people at night, for example. That makes sense. Okay. Crack you open. Ted, by the way, is just being a lapdog right now. He's yeah, being Ted's cuddled. Just draped himself into... into Claire is down... Claire sounds distant. She's down on the floor, cuddling a dog. Well, I'm down on the floor preventing the dog from licking himself raw mm -hmm. because he's got patches on his skin that are itchy and he's licking at them mm -hmm. to itch them and he's making it worse. All right, get you out of the way, buddy. Get you into... May as well help myself to a little bit of you guys. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you need another. Just one more should do the job. But maybe two more. Come on, buddy. There we go. The great barracuda is being caught. That is distinct from the barracuda I was supposed to be catching, I believe. So yeah, if I try and go down further, I'm down more than 120. Oh, ah. oh hang on, but if I try and go down any further, no. The restaurant's ah. the restaurant. Okay, so it's about, yeah, it's about 120, 130-ish. Basically, it's the, it's the lowest level. It's the lowest level of the game's like, nah. Don't go down there. But alright, I see what you mean. This is vicious. Uh, some of the creatures down here are... Nasty, nasty little gits, I will give ya. So, alright, watch out for all of them. 
And I've already got, actually, in all of this, I've already got a decent haul of fish. Including, yeah, some relatively uh, uncommon ones. So, one. That shoot fairly badly damaged. Just as bringing the Barracuda, honestly. Just, oh, that was the wrong way. Pete went the wrong way there. Sorry. My bad. And. Almost got you. Okay, fine. I'll move my hand into the roll. In the, it's the better rolling position to get it better. There we go. Another great barracuda. That one was way harder for some reason. Not sure why. All right. So we're already up to close to weight capacity. I will take the thing right out. And now we've got to go and do a short service. So do not prep as much. So okay. Up to the top. And do not forget to change the loadout of the guns. There we go. There we go. Everything's fine. It's up to the top. Don't go straight to the restaurant. Stay in the boat. Do not forget to change the loadout. I want to have my thing. The spin, the spinning mini game is yes, not my favourite. So okay, that's that. Send all that back to the restaurant. Go to here. Gun. Sniper two. There we go. Better. Remember to do that on this occasion. So now we go back to the sushi restaurant and now do yeah. That's in like a third of the evening. So we now get a shorter. A short service. So that's fine. I'm okay with that. This is good. So, oh. Hello. Someone else just showed up. Do we know you? I'm not sure if I know you. And it's a kid with a puppet. I heard you on time stop babbling. Okay, it's a kid with a rude puppet. Thought a, a therapy method involves letting traumatized kids speak their mind through dolls. You idiots don't deserve to live. <laughs> okay. Kombu and White Trevally Okazuke. I swear we've got that on the menu. I, I could have sworn we've got that on the menu already. Uh, hang on. Menu. Check the things that are the yes anything that's got its own special unique thing uh, that's salt grilled maybe we don't maybe we... no yes we do yes we do but i do not have the white trevally okay we've already got it i just don't have the fish for it so i'm sorry you're gonna have to wait because apparently i just don't have the white trevally uh which is unfortunate but we do have that we do, we do potentially have that the great barracuda which we've just started catching Obviously, we can start doing that. Yep, yeah, we've seen that one. That's fine. Uh, get that up to. Is it your research list, apparently? No, I've already I've already researched it. I've already researched it. I literally just don't have the fish to make it right now. Ah. Um, the red line fish can also be upgraded a little bit right now. Uh, but oh, there we go. The black tip reef. Uh, the black tip reek reef shark. We can get that straight up a little bit. So yeah, we're not expecting much tonight. You can have three of them. That's absolutely fine. That's four portions, apparently. Yeah, we shouldn't put up more. Yeah, we can leave this at like 12 or something. We really don't need much at all of this, actually. So, yeah, go for the um, the restaurants if you can. That's the Mediterranean parrotfish. We got the good stuff there. So, yeah, we got loads relatively to what we've got. Great Barracuda can go straight up to, honestly, whack it up to level, yeah, uh, level four. Yeah? Folks are saying that it's uh, it's easy to get confused, but there's two different things to, like, quest and research. Uh, so you need to learn and serve the eel. The learn and serve the eel. Ah, moray eel curry. Yep, you're correct. Yep, Thank fine. Thank you, Next Gen and Kaylin for yep. that. Yeah, excellent. Okay. We got the eel. Yep, that's fine. We've got that one. That one's nice and simple. I hope we've got the, I hope we've got the secondary ingredients for that. Otherwise, that's going to be very unfortunate. The menu, yes, definitely needs to contain the eel. There's the eel. Right. Put that in. Just one di one one serving will be fine. That's still that one dish is still four servings, so that's absolutely okay. So we're already up to yeah, we've got like fourteen dishes on the menu already. Honestly, just yeah, upgrade the Titan fish a tiny bit and put a bit of Titan fish on the menu, just like three portions. That's probably enough for that this much of a service. Like really. Well, Let's... if it's two-thirds of a normal service, then the normal service is just over 20. Yeah. 
Let's just upgrade the tiger fish a tiny bit and then like put like two servings of tiger fish. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That That's it. I'm going to see if that's enough. Because apparently we can like change it if need be down the line. So yeah, the moray will be ready. This should this should not be difficult to fulfill. So okay, everything's going to be fine. If people want drinks, the staff can deal with that by themselves. I will serve that thank you to the special person. And there we go. Oh, here we go. Special cutscene. I love the dumb cutscenes in this game. They're so dumb and I love them. Okay, he's very happy about that. And it brings back memories. A young man who lived with a sick mother in my village was bitten by a moray eel, uh, keeping them from going into the sea any longer. I was 12, I went back in the pitch black darkness and plunged a harpoon into his gills. Brought the dead eel, uh, the mother gave me the curry and thanks. There we flipping go. That was fantastic. We got ourselves... Oh, nearly forgot about that. Come and see me in the empty lot behind this building. So, okay, there might be an extra gift from him. Sounds real dodgy, but sure. Yeah, or he's planning to murder me. It's kind of... It, it's hard to say for certain, to be honest. Get you there. Everyone else has got all of this. Meanwhile, you guys are working on that. I'll just uh, make a little bit of wasabi. Beautiful. Restaurant seems to be running perfectly well. We've, yeah, run out of a couple of things. Yeah, we're still going to have a tiny bit of wastage, but honestly, not even that much. Like, I think I'm happy with that. We're going to have less wastage than last night. Like, it's fine. Just get over to you. Send you the special that we have uh, for tonight. Yeah, honestly, we're going to have, I think we've, we've come pretty close to the right amount of food tonight. I think that's actually, yeah, I'm happy with that. And we'll be ready to go straight up to gold under the circumstances because we've already got the tasty enough menu yet yeah, there we go but yeah we made way less money because obviously we were running a partial surface we still made a good profit though the profit's fine and do we go straight out to visit otto in his mysterious lot no no we do not so okay we just instead go Maybe straight we go in daylight to the lot behind and take the boat and come behind the restaurant Ooh. okay i will do that in a okay i've got no choice but to do that immediately i wanted to go and feed the cat first because you know priorities here obviously but apparently that was uh not acceptable so okay <gasps> well this is much more of a gift than i thought okay <laughs> I'm making a fish farm and I finished it in a single day. So you can just grow fish here. So, all right. Right environment for the fish. So, okay, that represents the depth they would naturally live in. I getcha. Fair if flipping enough. And then you can pay money to expand it. And yeah, you can look inside with a camera. Okay. That's super oh, it's an aquarium, basically. That's very cute. Add a few fish to start you off. And yeah, you can just, basically it's just a free aquarium out the back. Lovely. And then... It's not an aquarium, though. it's a fish farm. Surely you can like buy or harvest fish from there for the restaurant. Yeah. And then you can farm them by collecting fish eggs. If you capture fish alive, sometimes you get fish eggs. Okay, the reason to harpoon or trank, not murder. So okay, fair enough. And also fish can breed and multiply. <laughs> So, all right, fair enough. We've now got a fish farm. Very exciting. And go to you. There we go. Ah, no, he won't do any more today. But all right, we've now got a fish farm, which is very exciting. Over to the sushi restaurant, because uh, obviously we've got some very important stuff here. Hello, Ted. Which Hello, is <laughs> number one. Feed the cat food. Oh, yes. Good there tea. we go. Oh. Lovely. And more importantly, check the cookstagram and rank up. We should be A-OK -okay for, yep, gold. We've got the taste. We've got the followers. We've got the recipes. Here come the Twitter inspectors to make sure that I'm worthy. Why can't they generally come and inspect the place? <laughs> this dog They're examining the cat. 
and there we go. I am now gold. A whole bunch of new recipes for sea grapes, for pufferfish, for trout, and for big-eyed scab. So, okay. Very exciting. More kitchen staff, more menu slots, more wasabi, more interior, etc., etc. And we're going to be eating a lot more followers before we're ready for platinum, then diamond. Also, I don't think I've looked at Eco Watcher for a while. Yep, we've definitely been doing my fish genocide. Uh, though, to be honest, Eco Watcher these days is uh, so slow. There's no real point of, like, checking in on it on the regular. Like, it'll just, it'll be done when it's done, quite frankly. And can we craft it? Can we craft it? We've already crafted all of you, by the way, so that's absolutely fine. So, yeah, there we ah. go. Yes. A higher cook so rating results in both more people per night and a higher oper operating cost. Ah, no, that makes sense. And then, oh, even up to Magazine 4 with giant fins, opal ore fragments. Right, we're getting into big, advanced, ex ex sexy stuff there. But all right, we fed the cat. We've gone and visited that individual. We can go straight back to the fishy thing or take the fish out onto the water. So, all right. We've now got ourselves. Hang on. The next thing was... If we go out to the water, wasn't it? Yes, we were expecting a visit from Dr. Bacon because he needs to tell us uh, how to get the gloves or just hand them over, as it turns out. So, all right. There we go. We can enter the water if we so choose uh, to get that sorted out. But honestly, I feel like... Oh, I have no choice. I am tut uh -oh. I've been tutorialized. I literally can't even save the game right now. No, the game is the game is too busy tutorializing me at this exact moment in time. But yeah, we can presumably pick up the spiky things with the gloves at the bare minimum. So there we go. Also, there's some mysterious wooden planks that have not been there before. Show a button where to go near them. Try grabbing a pile of rocks and that yeah, pile of rocks and that's a weak wood. So okay, all of a sudden we're gonna grab rocks, drop rocks overboard. Okay, well that's. Proper physics say. There we go. Straight down. Obviously, we can pick spiky stuff. I'm assuming this anchor, given that's brand new, is also going to be something. Grab you up. Grab onto this. There we go. And you grab onto objects. or come in handy with places to be strong. I mean, you say that. I, I was only able to hold on for like a split second. So like, there we go. Straight through here. Grab the stick in front of you and pull. There we go. 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 Out it comes. A little mini game to do that. And grab the treasure up top before coming out. It's a tidy silver bowl. Oh, oh that's yeah. not even a proper session. It's and, just the introduction. Um, when you're doing the anchor, yeah. the reason it let go quickly is you didn't mash. Oh, it. it's supposed to be mashing A. Mash oh, okay, fine. Yeah. Uh, and let's see, shout out also to Den who gave us five dollars and says, John, I'm loving Tale of Two Wastelands. If you had to live somewhere in the Fallout universe, where would you choose and what would you do to earn yourself some caps? I feel like Westside in New Vegas because it's one of those places where it seems like it's, it's got decent shops, it's got a cooperative, it's got plenty of its own agriculture and nobody cares about it. Like, you know, the the worst thing a town can do in New Vegas is, like, have attention drawn to itself. Yeah, seriously. Like, because at that point, people start fighting over it and the Legion starts coming in. The NCR wants taxes and da 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 But, like, if you're Westside, nobody cares. No one cares about Westside. It's just, like, it's it's on the side of Vegas where, you know, it's the opposite side of Vegas from the Legion. You know, the NCR's down to the south. It just lives independently doing its own thing. It seems like a super chill place. You've got a friendly super mutant to protect you. You've got all the food you could want. Lovely cooperative. Uh, you've got nice countryside nearby to stroll in if you kind of avoid the castle doors. Uh, you know, it, it just feels like a good place to be. I feel like West Side's a nice place to be. What, what would you do to earn money, though? Uh, I thought there's plenty of shops, so I feel like I could definitely just work in a shop. I work yeah, in shops. Yeah, you could be a, you could be a, a good, uh, you could have a good patter. I was thinking, yeah, more like like con man, like, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. just just, just flog the amazing aqua cura on the on the yeah, west exactly. coast. It's fine. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear! Shout out to uh, Chiba Mech, who's been a member for forty. Uh, 54 months even, uh, and says if you get your IRL dive certification, I will lend you a spear gun. <laughs> Not sure that's uh, that's uh, anything happening oh, anytime yeah. imminently, I think. <laughs> 
Uh, and they also gave us uh, $10 as well and says, Cutscene Nirvana Achieved. Dance strike. Lol. There we go. I think you're all caught up in that. Uh, indeed I am. So in which case, rather conveniently on pretty much the exact same uh, screen that we started the screen and then had some technical difficulties, Warner. We are probably fair to you. Yep, there we go. Like, perfect. Perfect <laughs> right there. I'd say we're ready to wrap things up there so we can go and have ourselves some dinner and cuddle ourselves some dog. Now, as I was saying earlier, uh, next week... There is almost certainly not going to be a stream because we have to literally get up early on Friday to go to the airport. So we're not going to be streaming uh, next week. We'll be streaming in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're just going to be away in France for uh, for a few days. We're taking time off. We're taking some time off. Ted's going to be here with a house sitter. So he's not sad. He's not going in kennels. I don't feel like he's a kennel dog. Oh, definitely um, not. We don't for want the to As far as the channel's concerned, uh, no stream on Thursday. XCOM is normal on Friday, normal video on Saturday, special, maybe slightly shorter Fallout on Sunday. So after Tale of Two Wastelands this coming Sunday, after that it'll be two weeks till the next Tale of Two Wastelands, there'll be a little Fallout special on Sunday instead. That might be a bit shorter to put together because like the most time consuming video of the week is Tale of Two Wastelands. So we're going to do a short little Fallout holiday special on Sunday the 30th. But other than that, the only change will be, yeah, Fallout will be something a bit unconventional. Uh, and there won't be a live stream next Thursday. The live streams will, re will return at the very start of August. The, 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 the dog sitter and house sitter is not going to live stream, all right? And she's arriving uh, Friday morning. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, we're quite... We're very happy because we, uh, you know, we... We organised this, you know, we, we kind of... We didn't want to just leave Ted for for three days with a house sitter. No, we you know we, we met did, up we with her first, day, yeah. and we did a little trial day in the afternoon. Well, we just went out for the afternoon, and Ted did really well during that, suggesting yeah. he'll be happy if he's uh, you know here and has a house sitter, and he gets to like you know have his usual food and have his usual bed and all the rest of it. I think he'll be all right. So it's the best we can do for him because obviously he doesn't want to travel all the way to France. That'll be very stressful for him. So yes. this is the best we can do. Uh, beyond that, yeah, as I say, we've got, obviously, your usual XCOM. Your unusual not XCOM on Saturday. Let's see what that's all about. Uh, we've got a little guest. We'll have a little guest on the channel, uh, next Tuesday. And, uh, hopefully, we'll have a very exciting new release next Saturday while we're away that I can just release while we're out. Um, for community members and Patreon folks, uh, PatreonCast, the plan is we should be able to get the next PatreonCast out before we go next week. Uh, if that turns out to be a problem, I'll put an update on the Community Tavern Patreon. But it should be fine. It should be fine. So, uh, yes. Yes, and shout out, to, uh, a final shout out to, uh, Jipip, who gave us, uh, $10 and says, have a fun trip. And to Foster, who also gave us $10, uh, and says, enjoy your vacation. You deserve it. It's, yeah, it's been a long time since we've done a vacation. It's been a very long time since we've done a vacation, in fact. Very, very long time indeed. So, all right, we're going to have just a few days off in, uh, off in France visiting family. Then I'm going to come back and, and hang out with Ted. You're going to stay a tiny bit longer in France. You're going to meet, you're going to hang out with your family a bit longer. Well, yeah, we're going to see, uh, we're going on holiday with some of uh, John's family. And yeah. then I'm going to dip and see my family. Because yeah. I feel like if I went to France to hang out with John's family and didn't go see mine, that wouldn't go down so well. Meanwhile, we I mean, felt... also I want to see them, but you know. Meanwhile, we felt five days was a bit too long for Ted to be on his own yeah. for his first vacation. So I'm going to come back first and like it's just gonna be me and ted for a couple of days and i'm sure it's all going to be fine and then claire will join us later so yes then we'll try and get back to normal after that point so yes indeed we've got a few it is just matt by the way don't get excited <laughs> it's just matt like come on like that's an exciting it's not guess. that exciting really it's just matt so, that's Dave the Dive, a delightful game. Absolutely delightful game. Uh, we'll probably have, yeah, Jedi Survivor in a couple of weeks after nothing next week. Uh, so, yeah, and then we'll see. Might have a bit more Dave the Dive. Maybe we'll have a vote between Dave the Diver and more Zelda. Or, like, something else, given there'll be a few more games showing up. So, yes, all of that's coming up very, very soon. Indeed. Thank you very much for joining Thank you very, very much for the Super Donations. We had some huge donations this evening. So, thank you very, very much for that. And thank you very much to Ted who is doing the best he can with some slightly itchy hay fever skin at the moment. Mm. He's doing his best, bless him. So yes, thank you all for that. And uh, yeah, I, we will join you in uh, two weeks. Two weeks is the next stream, sorry about that. But yes, we, we can't go late 
on a Thursday when we're getting up super early to go to the airport on a Friday. That's not a good idea. Yeah, we're not doing like a dumb early flight, but we're still leaving the Enough house, that we you know, don't want to do like, enough yeah. don't want to do that. would be a bad idea. So yes, other than that, all your usual videos. The channel should look pretty normal. There might just be a couple of slightly missing or short things over the next week. So thank you all for that. Apologies for any of that in advance. And we'll be back to normal uh, when we get back starting at the very start of all this. Oh, and shout out to Billy who just showed up at the end. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Billy says, finally I'm... caught a stream. I've been watching you guys since John was killing everything. Uh, Insight in Fallout 3. I feel like that's happening again at this point. So it's all come full circle for you, Billy. So we're going to go hug the dog. Thank you very, very much for joining us. And yes, maybe some more David Dover in the future. We shall flip in see. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. There's been Ted over there. This has been many a true note. And this has been the wonderful Dave the Diver. It's me. Thank you very much. And have funk. You're supposed to say something, Claire. Have funk. There you go.